these people in here. All right, we're live. All right, the mics are hot, everybody. Okay, turn the TV on so we can see. Mm -hmm. Turn your, come on, good podcasting. Oh, that's fire. <laughs> Incredible edibles. With Nigga, that's a fire cover. You see that? You see the artwork? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. AI did me dirty. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's going to be fun. Your mustache did you dirty. <laughs> <laughs> we are doing hard drugs. Well, they're not hard, but, you know. Now your hair was wild today, though. Yeah. It's tripping. I need some. I'm going to start getting my hair braided. I think I'm going to go this weekend. You get your hair braided? Mm hmm You yeah. see my hair braided. Yeah. Can you cut that mustache off? I'm not think about it. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. I'm just trying to see when that could happen. You feel me? It's never going to happen. It should. It absolutely should. Where How many we at? Let me know when we're at our capita. We are not there. All right. Don't worry. So we'll get there soon enough. I got too many. I got. Don't say it. I know. Too many flows. There we go. Too many does. Too many 304s. Yep. <laughs> let's go. Like let's go. Let's go. Chat, you know what the deal is. When I you got... step in this room, you wipe your feet off. We don't want your dirty feet on the carpet. Oh, dirty ass. Feel me? Click that like button. Dirty. Type shit. We about to go up. We got a special guest in the building. We got some great music to make. And you know drugs to take. Oh, wait. Oh, Can that's... we say that yet? I think we were I waiting think. for that. Uh -huh. I mean, as you guys see the title, you know, the title. You know what TF Gunya? Incredible edibles. Incredible, it's the incredible edibles. Incredible edibles. You can just use your so, imagination. So yeah, you guys could kind of figure it out. I you think can... we're gonna uh, get these guys to take some edibles today. Ew. Don't tell nobody. You just told everybody. But we're gonna make them do drugs. You sound like you're about to tell a ghost story. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was a long time ago in a town called Transylvania. Face it. <laughs> Face ass. <laughs> are we close to our? We are almost at right. our mark. All right, let's get there. Let's go, chat. Click them like buttons. You know what it is. We got to start this show off right. We got the morning oh, give cup you, of dough tune coming give Esau, up. You can give Esau some headphones too, so he can listen yes, to the sir. show too. You hear what's going on, so he can have a clear understanding of what it is. The boy was like, I got too many rolls. Oh, is that another fat joke courtesy of YDB? It was it was funnier when I first thought about it like five minutes ago. You got to say it at the time. Huh? Yeah, I didn't want to interrupt y'all though. Yeah, yeah, you kind of missed the mark on that. You understand? Yeah. I didn't want it to slip away it's though. It's okay. It did. We hit our mark. Let's All right, here we go. Give me two more seconds. I'm going to send a couple more of these out. All right, while Doughboy's sending those... Uh... Links out. You guys go ahead and click that like button in the in the uh, chat. You're about you know to what see I'm Let's get everybody's participation in this. Let's run up these algorithms. I got F too YouTube many flows. in the algorithm. Oh, oh. Right, I'm saying three more. One, two, and now let me send four more. Three and actually I'm gonna send five more. Yeah, you gotta no. no, you gotta find the other ones. I think they're in there. No, that's the ones right there. He's the can you can see him. I am. All right, you guys ready? You ready to run this? Yeah. All right. Yeah, my bad, my bad. I was literally on my phone trying All to right. find you so I could go back to the live. All right, here we go. Okay. okay. All right, here we go. Morning Cup of Dough, Morning Show. Theme song produced by Jay Morris B. Charlie Funk on the vocals and East Short Sax on the saxophone. Let's go. Yeah, yo. Spark that. Shit, don't want this one live. Oh, yeah, yo. Oh, on caffeine. And you too. And fail. This your morning cup of dough. This will get you going when you're moving slow. Did it. Add shout and hit the chat. Tell me what you know. Did it. Back check it with the slaps. Can you be for real? I've been wildin' not to show you what the deal is. This your morning cup of dough. This will get you going when you're moving slow. slow. Where you add shout and hit the chat. Tell me what you know. No. Back check it with the slaps. 
can you be for real? I've been wildin' out, I'll tell you what the deal is. It's the morning cup of dough. Come on. Mod Squad. Thank God it's Friday. How's everybody feeling today, man? Feeling good. Are you doing all right? Great. I think it's I, Friday. I think I always feel better when it's we hear Friday. The, when we hear the theme song. Yeah, and we prayed before we started today too. You know, sometimes you know we had a couple episodes we didn't pray, man. The episode didn't go the good way that we want to. We got to have that you needed good, Jesus. Yeah, we got to have Jesus in this thing. You know what I'm saying? So Henry's always with me. There you go. Henry had it. You know, <laughs> the power of nougat compels you. Um, how's everybody doing today? It is Friday. Thank God, it is Friday. It was an eventful week. How is everybody feeling about going into the weekend? It's gonna I be feel lit. good. Yeah, I yeah. mean, I'm ready to sleep. I'm not. You're an old man. You know what's I this am. weekend? Is it? Huh? You know what's this weekend? <laughs> what? Rolling Loud. Is it? Yeah. I guess what hey, it is. Hey, South by Southwest this weekend? I think it is this weekend too. Yeah. Why would they South do both Southwest of those on the same going weekend? On. Yeah, I don't know. It's because people. I don't know. They don't clash. Because yeah, they don't clash. South by Southwest is industry. Rolling Loud is like. So what is band. Rolling Loud? Yeah, is band. it a is it a music festival as well? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> more for the fans. It's more like. You know, like um, popular so, artists, like people that are like, you know, like younger type. Mainstream artists. Mainstream, yeah, that's the word I was looking for, sorry. Oof. Gotcha. The mainstream artist. And, bro, it's down the street from the house. You want to go? Well, right down the street. We don't even have to go. Like, like I could literally key, walk. We could walk, we could walk and, and just watch, watch the, the concert from the, street, from the street. Just like standing right we there. We were walking why don't by we do it last get some, night. Why don't we do it and get some content out of it? Oh, pff, say less. We're doing it then. All right, sure. Uh, say less. I'm yeah. always saying shit like that. Then it was time to do it. Then I'm like, man, I'm tired, up. man. I know. I mean, it's down the street. Y'all get out there and get in the field. Just walk out the front door, walk. My young niggas, go get in the field. Y'all handle that. Handle my lightweight for me. Always, oh, my old niggas always say when they don't want to do it. Handle my I'm lightweight. Like, handle my lightweight for me. You just don't want to get your old ass up, sir. That's what <laughs> <laughs> man, handle my lightweight. Why can't you handle the lightweights, Pam? So, um, nah, man. This Pam? is, this is going to be, man. Uh, uh, I'm not even going to wait super long to bring Big Bro in, man. I'm, I'm super excited about the, uh, the guest that we got. Um, coming to the show today because I got somebody from the crib, man. So whenever, and not only is he from the crib, man, he's really, you know, instrumental in my career, really big bro, this shit for me. When I was first getting into comedy, like giving me a lot of tips and telling me a lot of games. So just know the 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 brother that we got coming today, man, it's near near dear friend of my heart, man. And uh, we're going to have a good time. And the nigga's super talented. So I know we're going to have a good time and rock out. But we'll bring him on in about 10, 15 minutes. But, but just know we have a definitely a, a, a special guest for you guys. But, fuck but, all that. But, fuck all that. Whoa. Fuck Ooh. it. Whoa. Uh -oh. Here we go. We're not monetized again. Fuck it, Friday. Fuck it, Fridays. Five minutes in. Fuck it, Friday. Fuck monetization. You know fuck it, man. I don't care, nigga. We, <laughs> we did a six hour stream, nigga. We monetize that we yesterday, we nigga. We definitely did a 140 six hour. 140 right. hours of that watch time been yesterday. I'm right. that, that tired. Been, that yesterday. That should count for two episodes exactly. of monetization. Exactly. So let us, let us so get our shit give off. Give us our one. So if you look fuck at the title, too. fuck all that shit. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Channel gone. There goes our channel. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Fuck you, dude, for real. Fuck It'll be the last shit you do. You understand that? We don't need no so, damn monetization. You see the the uh, title. The title. Bring back up the artwork. What I have. Oh, you just want everyone to be all on drugs uh, today. Just get, get everybody it. on drugs. It's gonna happen. Oh, we're gonna talk about. I got the other thing. Mm. Here. I'll put it somewhere. Put it okay. It. Okay. What is okay. the title? Read the title. Do drugs. What does the title say? Um, something about doing a whole lot of drugs. Incredible me. edibles. Jesus Christ. With Esau. Come back to the screen. Oh my God. So, you know edibles are dangerous. Go right? get the other ones. Go get the other ones. I don't give a go get the other ones, nigga. This is happening. It's happening. How you think I care? Nigga, mm. huh? We doing this now? Spoiler alert, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> we'll hey see. chat, you guys ready? Like, you want to do? These, so that's a whole cup of all these edibles. edibles. That's a whole cup of dog food. So what should we edibles. start with? Do you want to start with? Because we're gonna be doing the, this all episode. We gotta start with the nastiest first, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be these. These those crackers. <sighs> I don't. They look well, like you dog do not food. Want to eat these. 
Then Why do we have to start with the nastiest first? Because that's what we always do. You always eat the worst food first, and you, you work your way to the best, do what you want to eat. And that way, when you finish eating, you've eaten the best thing, and that's what's in your mouth, the flavor. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. All right, how many are we taking? How many of those crackers are we taking? A whole bunch. Yeah, a lot, I guess. Let's try one first. Let's try one. If they're like just Try un- one? Well, I mean, I just want to know what they Give me five. Like. Okay. There you go. Oh, nigga. My bad, my bad. Okay, I have there one. Championship <laughs> rounds. Come on. <laughs> this ain't no A. Hey, what happened to that energy? Oh, nah, okay, fuck give me one that. More. Give me one more. Give me we one doing one. this. Okay. Let's run it. Okay. All right. Chat, you ready for this? Are you guys ready? For this? <laughs> oh, this, no. this weed-infused stuff going on. Marijuana's, if you must. <laughs> I don't know why my, I, I, why I don't want to like them. They're not, like, disgusting, but. You don't want to like them off top? You're like, you nah, taste I don't like them. We can taste the weed. It's, it's strong. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> what are they? What flavored crackers? Sour are? cream and onion. Sour, Sour cream and onion. Oh, okay. So are Bro, they like a chip or are they like a cracker? Like a, cracker. Yeah. a sour cream and onion cracker. Nigga, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you. I've owned dogs. They taste like dog food. You eat dog food? I've. I mean, if I'm going to feed it to my animal. You're going to try it? I'm going I'm to taste it. I've tasted dog food before in my you're life. You're funny. you tasted dog food? I've tasted you're, dog food in my life. You're different. You're not just going to say that like that. that yeah, like you're everybody different. Does that. He, if Fuck I'm going to feed it to you. my dog, what the fuck? I'm going to eat it first. What's wrong with you? Fuck I'm going to do, give it to my dog. Eating dog biscuits? <laughs> Nigga, this tastes like a dog biscuit. I've eaten a dog biscuit. I'm not going to lie to you. You eat dog before? I don't say that I normally eat them, but I've had one before. I've Bruh. tasted a dog I biscuit I feel a before. lot of judgment coming from Clue. Hey, there's judgment. There's and this judgment. Just tastes judgment. like... Guys can get better snacks than dog That food? shit was nasty. Okay, let's go to the Bro, this is nasty as a... That's just nasty. I can't eat it. This is crazy. This like, is not good. Is okay. it not good because of the flavor? Is it not good because it's too weedy? It's the texture, the yeah. flavor. Uh, it's everything about this. Like, this is one of the most disgusting things I've ever put in my mouth. Oh, that's crazy, because I know you probably put some nasty things in your mouth. You do. You and I, dirty and I, bastard. Yeah, you. Trust, there's been some... Okay, so how are we going to do? Do you want to just split these? Yeah, we split those and then split the bar. Okay, so we just about to go in. How much are you? So these are Jolly Ranch. Come on, you guys got to let, no, let, well, let the crowd let know. Let me know. Let's let me know. Show what's going on there? How many mega milligrams is this? How many... What, what are we doing? What's going on? These are 600 milligram tropical unicorn oh, sharks. So they're 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 like dancing gummies. with the devil. Okay, they're like gummies. All right, well, and and they're jo- Jolly Ranchers. No, they're like um they're like gummy sharks. So here, take one, grab one. Oh, they're just two of them. Yeah. I'll just take the other one. Oh wow! So it's just three hundred in each. Yeah. What flavor you what you got? Damn, the blue nigga, wait before you just yeah, start eating even, shit. Oh my bad. No, no, nothing. You just went right in. All the right. orange and the green and the red and the blue. Okay. Right, here we go. Mm, that's weird. And it still has that weed, like, like palate to it. Like, this is an irresponsible. But does it taste but this good? Is way better. It's weed good. tastes you, better with sweet. You would recommend that to the to the no. audience? I would no. recommend this to anyone. They said y'all show, mixing and matching. Yeah, they they playing real dangerous right now. They the playing. Weed? I ain't you put the front. weed out. I'm gonna just watch. I had to. I need both my hands. <laughs> I'm old. I like tree. <laughs> I don't know if I'm like tripping, but high. I feel like I feel it already. I don't You're, know if I'm tripping. No, really. you do not. You're just high. It takes like 30 minutes. Oh, it takes like 30 minutes? Yeah. Shut your ass up, YDB. When you a big nigga, it's probably going to take a little bit longer. Why you keep saying I'm a big nigga, man? I'm in the process <laughs> of losing weight. You're six foot. So what? You right. <laughs> All right, this is what we're going to do. Let's, um, oh I don't want to wait too long to bring my nigga in, man. It's my I partner. like weed flavor. It's my partner, man. Um, so you can just slide right there when he comes in. Just leave those headphones right there. Um, and then you can take his headphones. Next dude I'm bringing to the stage, I mean, to the to the morning cup of dough morning show, um, I definitely look at him like as a big brother, a mentor. Um, I remember him, you know, we'll, we'll share some of the stories that we got from back in the day, but he was very, very instrumental in early Doughboy and teaching me about confidence and stage presence. He's one of the funniest dudes. You've seen him everywhere. He's had a, a long reign in Hollywood. He was the host of Chocolate Sundays for a long time. You've seen him in the movie with Outkast, Idlewild, and you've just seen him in a, just recently with the, um, with, I don't want to mis- mispronounce, with Marlon Wayne stand-up special. He's done a lot. He, we're going to talk about all that. And he has a magical voice the nigga can sing, too. Shout out to my brother, Sacramento's own Esau McGraw. Let's get a round of applause for my dog. There we go. Right there. That's side. You got a plug? Yeah, yeah, I got you. Let's get him plugged in. Can you just plug that in right there? Here's your headphones. No, it's up here. Up here. This one's to the right. Everybody looking, everybody watching me being 79 years old. <laughs> 
Can we? Uh, uh, how do you work this answering machine? What can I plug? How, which one? What can I unplug? That for oh, me. I'll put it on the floor. Over here, <laughs> I want to be able to keep his phone with him. He's, I didn't even plug it in because take that bottom one out. About this die. one? Yeah, because remember that's the iPhone charger. Because it's about okay. to die. <laughs> you know, I walk around with a phone that's about to die all the time. <laughs> me too. You and this. Yeah. There you go. I have the worst problem with you got porn plugging stash. it in. You got a porn old mustache. <laughs> Hell yeah. What's up, my guy? Right we are in the mix. What's up, my brother? You finally on? came through to be a part of Morning Cup of Dough Morning Show. We got to chop it up. First of all, let me just explain to you. We call it the Morning Cup of Dough Morning Show, but we don't start till 12 o'clock. You know why? Why? Because niggas wake up late. This is a, a morning show for niggas. Like, you know what I'm saying? We ain't up early in the morning. We ain't up at 5 o'clock. Niggas are sleeping and got other things to do. So we. this is for the, the entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs, the people that's at home, the stay-at-home moms. It's the I'd be up of... early. <laughs> what time you be getting up in the I'd morning? I'd be getting up at like 5 in the morning. To do what? To think. <laughs> <laughs> about what? It's about, five. about everything. <laughs> about who I'm becoming. <laughs> <laughs> I be trying to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning. It just never works out for me. Man, I'm a, I'm a zombie, dog. Yeah, I'm I a... sleep like three hours. See, that, You know that's terrible for you. I, I had to learn this the, the, like, the hard way. Like Sleep is damn near like a superpower for niggas. We got to have it, man. You got to get six to eight hours, bro. I go to sleep at like three in the morning, mm -hmm. and then I'll, I'll wake up at like eight in the morning. Let's go. Time to go. <laughs> Let's go. Like, I'm in there. I should have been a drill sergeant or no, some shit. Get, no, niggas man. Like, get up in the morning. What? You drunk? <laughs> Two hours ago? Guess I was. But I'm not no more. Get your ass up. We like, lit. I, hell yeah. I, I was born with an extra liver. <laughs> I carry around in a backpack. No, nah, I feel you, man. I had to stop with the drinking shit, man. I, I'm recent, like currently right now. I'm about to hit seven months sober. I'm oh. about to be. I'm about to be one day sober tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start tomorrow. <laughs> nah, man. But yeah, I had to. You know, I was doing it too much. I was just like, you know what? You I don't do this. I was. I was drinking by myself. Niggas listening. don't never just say what it was. Yeah, I was. <laughs> nigga was drinking by himself, listening to Fred Hammond. I'm like, this ain't normal behavior. <laughs> oh, don't nobody drink all the time for nothing. <laughs> nigga, daily. I People was gonna be like, you know, back when I used to drink all the time, it was like, remember back when you was depressed? That's what you're talking about. <laughs> nigga don't ever want to call it what it was. was. You know, I was just turning one on every yeah, night yeah. <laughs> alone. I didn't want to be here no more either. <laughs> <laughs> shit was I, real. Know, I know all about that shit. Shit was real. <laughs> so what's been going on with you big dog let's talk to him man because like i was telling the people man you definitely big bro of this shit man like you've been doing shit for for a long time but let's let's get let's get into some of your history man let people know like your origin story where you from all yeah. of that man what okay where you want me to start nigga young well, nigga so where you at? born man where you from siblings tell me about your early I childhood i was born in kansas city missouri and then my parents moved when i was two weeks old Okay. <laughs> so people are like, you from Kansas City? I was like, yeah, kind of. <laughs> yeah, ask me somebody's street they live on or something. Or even somebody's phone number. Nigga, I don't even know the area code. And then like, <laughs> so, you, so you moved at two weeks old. Yeah. Where did you guys move we to? We moved to Wichita, Kansas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my dad was my dad was a, uh, a minister in the Nation of Islam back in the day. Okay. Yeah, so he was like fifth from the top of the Nation of Islam. Nice. Like, okay. Crazy, right? So you guys were in Wichita, Kansas? Yeah. Is that like is there niggas out there? Goo goo gobs. There's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of niggas in Wichita? Hell yeah. <laughs> For real? Wichita don't sound like it has like a lot Omaha, of niggas. Nebraska. It's He's niggas like, there? Bruh. Oh. Well, hey, they man. did say niggas was banging in Little Rock. Hey, I remember that documentary. Was, slavery was everywhere. Tech, tech Nine. <laughs> tech Nine's from Kansas. Oh, okay. You think okay. they only, only had slave, slaves in D.C., nigga? In, <laughs> so, yeah, in slave, Atlanta? Slaves, <laughs> slaves was, was everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> slaves was everywhere. Niggas, they didn't do no work nowhere. <laughs> niggas did all the work. <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> yeah. So, so you moved to... You know where there ain't no niggas at? Where? Ain't no Mormon niggas. I ain't never met a Mormon nigga. That shit is too close to slavery. Damn, I ain't never met a Mormon nigga. Mormon live like it's still the Civil War. <laughs> <laughs> what nigga want to go back to the Civil War? <laughs> Niggas is going to the future. <laughs> ain't got none of us in that either. I ain't never met a black Mormon nigga. I guess, uh, do they let niggas in? If you meet a black Mormon, beat his ass. <laughs> Fire <laughs> off on a nigga? Fire on a nigga. What was that for? I don't know. Yeah, it had to happen. Nigga, you need to get a cell phone. <laughs> so you can know what's going on. You ain't got no Kanye in your Serato, nigga. Yeah, niggas they got no easy. technology. No, no Yeezy. <laughs> All right, so is is that where you spent the majority? Warm and you ain't never heard of Yeezy? <laughs> or where nor Yeezus is. <laughs> Kanye West is the best thing that happened in the entertainment industry in the last 25 years. Absolutely. Oh, All right, so tell me, so that. Wichita, Kansas, is that where you're coming up like the most of your childhood? No. We, when we left there when I was seven, but this was the thing about there. Mm -hmm. 
See, in Wichita, Kansas, they had R&B radio, but mm-hmm. wasn't no niggas on it. So it was just much yeah. of, it was just white R&B? It was Hall and Oates. <laughs> I swear to God, it was all in those <laughs> journey, like, and, and in Wichita, Kansas, back then, bro, soft rock was R and B. That's crazy. So I'm saying I'm dead serious. That's like they crazy. had, they had the boss, soft rock, the Bruce boss, Springsteen. Yeah, that was all the R and B I knew. Nigga. You thought that was R and B? Yeah, yeah, it was R and B station. That's crazy. That's crazy. So <laughs> Billy Idol. Yeah, you was hits. just believing that this was R and B. I didn't know shit. I was six. <laughs> Listening right. to George Michael. <laughs> so back in the day, back in the day, they was killing all these ministers, right? So oh, for real? Yeah. Damn. So it was the second time they didn't try to kill my dad, right? Shit. So they scooped us up in the middle of the night. We was in at the bed at your sleep. You're six years old. One of the security dudes come scoop you up in the middle of the night. Throw you, throw you in the car with your brothers and sisters. Your mama yelling and screaming, giving the furniture away to the next door neighbors and shit. In the middle of the night? In the middle of the night. And you six. Yeah, I'm six. <laughs> shit, it's real. <laughs> yeah, it's really, it's going down. Right. We go to the airport. We we, we uh, jump on an airplane, bro, and I'll, I'll wake up in California. This your first time in California? Hell obviously. yeah. Was it a culture shock? Was it a lot different than Wichita? And Hell those? yeah. So what was like? What was the most glaring difference? Because like, what was your childhood like then? Like, what did you have? Like, are you? Did you have like a bunch of brothers, sisters? Yeah, yeah. I'm the middle of eight kids. Middle right? of eight. I'm what's the, the oldest of, and what's the youngest? I don't know. Like, <laughs> we all two years apart. <laughs> okay, got or you. Or a year and a half. So got I'm, it. I got a brother who a year a year and two months older than me, mm-hmm. and on on the top end, and I got a sister that's eighteen months younger than me on the bottom end. Okay. Ain't none of us more than two years old. <laughs> so my dad was an insecure nigga, man. <laughs> that nigga he was kept working. my mom. He kept my mom <laughs> pregnant for sixteen Is years. You, you don't look pregnant. Okay. Come here. Yeah. Now your you, you, you stitches fall out yet? <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see what this will look like. <laughs> so you had a big family then. Yeah, that nigga. My dad didn't do no work. Got you. My dad came home from work and told niggas what to do. Take out the <laughs> He had eight of y'all. Yeah, go knock on the door and tell your sister. To come out the shower, <laughs> doing on use up all the hot water. So you live in, so you moved to Sacramento. So Sacramento, California. Well, when we first came, they took us off the plane, right? And uh-huh. so we was kind of scattered for a little bit. So I got an aunt. My mom's sister lived up in San Francisco, and my my cousin Lee was the only child. Okay, we six. I'm six months older than him, so basically we the same age. Mm-hmm. So they shot me up there. Okay, you know what I'm saying? To live with her, man. So the first night, first night I'm in there. I'm in San Francisco. I'm coming from. Wichita, Kansas, <laughs> to San Francisco, bro. Right, it's and way sick. different. I'm in Paris, France, nigga. Uh, it's blowing my mind already. What is all this shit? Yeah, I didn't know I had an auntie up here. I didn't know my mom had a sister. I got sisters. I got five sisters. My mom got sisters. My mom got eight sisters, nigga. I ain't no 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 nothing about no cousins or no aunties and so shit. This is- plus, plus. Plus, I was brother minister's son, so we went to Muslim school. Uh-huh. I used to wear a leisure suit and a bow tie to school. As a child? Yeah. Did you get ridiculed? Nigga. <laughs> it was normal for me, but when I got to California, I, did, I didn't know what capping on a nigga was. I didn't know what the nigga that these niggas let me have it daily. So you came out there, they roasted yeah, you? The kid next, the kid that lived in the, up, upstairs from me, uh-huh. as soon as I walked down the stairs to go get on the bus to go to school, this nigga bombed on me. <laughs> Every day I had to fight this nigga. Just stole on you? Stole on for me. What for what I none. <laughs> <laughs> fuck your suit. I used to have this powder blue suit. This nigga used to fuck my suit up every chance he got. He hated my suit, nigga. Nigga, for no reason. Just... No, and I had to wear that suit till I was in the fifth grade. I used to have to wear suits and shit to school. To school? Yep. I wore suits to school. You wore suits to school? Yep. Was, this nigga was in a cult. Man, you <laughs> he was. Yeah, my family was in a cult for a while. <laughs> this a, this he, was later on. Okay, so so you're yeah. out there now. As you're soon as I got around the corner, I took that bow tie off every day. So you at least would have that. Yeah, to, to, I so. Had to, yeah. So you take that off, but you're, you're going to school as a fully suited and booted fourth fifth grader. What's life like? So are you are you fighting? Start, so you you having to steal off on this because they playing with you. So we went from Wichita, Kansas, to like a lot of our family still was in the hood. So you know, I went from. To the project, so I, I had to learn how to fight. Like you know how you ever watch them wildlife shows mm-hmm. and like 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 uh, uh, a a, a wildebeest is born mm-hmm. in, in the Serengeti. <laughs> uh, that nigga got to learn not how to walk, but how to run fast. in like one minute, or it's over. Because the lions smell the birth. Oh, they yeah. smell all the blood and ass <laughs> in the air. They smell that new birth, nigga. They, they smell can, the birth in the ass. A lion can smell new birth, nigga. <laughs> 
for 10 miles. He got shit. Ooh, free food. It's like a buffet, bro. <laughs> right. I'm serious, nigga. They, they, like, they on the way. The hyenas and the jackals, too. Right. Yeah, so this nigga got to learn how to run in like 60 seconds. Nigga, right. Get the shit. fuck up out of here. They be like, ah, oh, you born. You better catch up, nigga. Ooh. These niggas is coming. Hell yeah, these lions smell my pussy. <laughs> I'm out of here. I can't protect you, I'm son. Bl I'm leaking blood. I'm I've out. done all I can yeah, do for you. Your own. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> you know how them parents be like, Absolutely. we did it. You we got to do, do it. it. You got to yeah, find yeah, your own yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you smell my ass, nigga. <laughs> Follow the leader. So you out of here, you scrapping a lot. So what's that? What's that? A kid, were you mostly though? Like, were you athletic? Were you just musical? Like, what kind of what, what type of shit were you into? Whatever. Okay. I was one of them kids that was just you know I was a middle kid, so you know my brother was my brother was busy fighting too. Okay. But he could fight. That was the difference. <laughs> Your hands yeah, wasn't really. My hands wasn't. <laughs> my hands wasn't developed. My brother was a psychopath. My my brother was nasty with it. <laughs> and he's younger he's or older? He's a natural born killer. And he's younger or older? He's a year, he was 14 months older than me. And so he was nice with it, but... Natural born. And, but and you, he didn't talk either. See, I used to have that problem too, but I have an older sister. She could fight. Oh. I couldn't fight. So, but I used to get in the fights. I used to get beat up. She used to pull up fight niggas for me. You know how embarrassing that is mm -hmm. to have your older sister taking fades? But she was nice with this shit. I had to figure my head Man, down. by the time by the time I was in the sixth grade, my brother was already a second degree black belt. That's right. <laughs> Knock the yeah, shit out. He was teaching the karate school. He was at the karate school teaching the kids classes. So he doing that. So y'all fighting. So you're a fighter. But are you getting into trouble outside of that? Like, what type of student were you? I was a board student. A board student. Because the, the curriculum in other states are ahead of California. So okay. literally, when I'm in the sixth, like if I'm when I'm in fourth grade, mm -hmm. I had that book, that same book last year. That's crazy. So you were grade. you were steps ahead of the curve. Yeah. Okay. So you're a yeah. good student then. Yeah. Okay. And so, I was a good student and a good kid. Gotcha. I just couldn't fight that good. So. <laughs> Me too. But I hated fighting. Like, and I and I realized that I lacked. The the uh, the killer edge needed in a fight. I'll never forget. I fought a dude named Michael Kahui, and I fought him Damn, in sixth grade. Like he Polynesian, nigga. I so I, I and I'm fighting him right, and I hit him. And when I hit him flush, like he kind of like stopped, and like I felt bad, like oh, I just hit him shit. And so, but we in a fight. <laughs> This nigga two pieced me up so good and he hit me and it felt like somebody took my picture. I was just like, oh shit, I seen a flash of light. And I was just like, I don't have and the nigga beat the dog shit out of me. And I was just like, I got my ass beat because I didn't have the killer instinct to beat this nigga up when it was my turn. So I lacked in the hands as well. well so I was I used to get like this dude, Chris, he's like when I tell you I when I first moved to California. Uh -huh. Oh, let me finish the other story. I'm gotcha. gonna tell you when I became a black dude. Okay. <laughs> you weren't always a black I'm dude? Not, ah, I, I came from Kansas, nigga. <laughs> All the <arm> <laughs> All the R&B I knew was hauling out, nigga. I was a Sarah Smile ass nigga. I was. So my cousin, my cousin, my cousin Lee, he, he, he from Frisco. Right? Uh, so his mom, my aunt, she had a brand new stereo. Mm -hmm. So you know how kids be like, you know, in front of the thing like that. We was just mm -hmm. like that. So you know, we come in the house put my shit away. He's like, let me show you stereo. Let me show you stereo. So he showed me a stereo. And so they got a, a, a black radio station Ooh. in the Bay. Okay. So he, so he put on KBLX, right? Nigga. Blew your fucking mind, no? Blew. I became a nigga <laughs> instantly. <laughs> All of a sudden, the melanin started to hit you. <laughs> Man, let me tell you something. You know the first song I heard? Talk to me. The first song, the first song he heard was Bobby Caldwell, What You Won't Do. So I was kind of familiar with that. Wait, is that what you won't, won't do? What you won't do, do for the love. You've had it. Yeah. Yeah, that's that joke. So I kind of knew that one. Okay. Because, you know, I came from, you know. But walk me through that experience. And then, and then wait, wait. Right. So the, what you want to do? So I was kind of grooving with that. I kind of knew that. So mm -hmm. I was on point. Then, why this next song, Rick James, <laughs> Busting Out. It's called Busting Out. Busting Out? Yeah. I don't think I know. How's that go? I don't know. We're busting out on the funk. And that's funk. Busting out. We're busting out on the thief. When they get, when they get, na, 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 na. Oh, that, yes. So, bro, walk that, me through how much of a culture shock that was. It wasn't a culture shock. But because I'm saying, coming from Wichita, hearing all shy shit that don't sound like this, and now you hearing this, that had to be like, it yo, what like, the? It was just like, this is it. <laughs> <laughs> this is who what? I am. <laughs> Nigga, Rick James, I heard that Rick James, I was uh, six, bro. Wow. I was just like, 
boom. Changed everything. So then do you become an instant fan of the music right then? Because I know. <laughs> I never heard no black R&B. So shit just was up. I didn't that. know Rick James was a black dude. I was just hearing it on the radio, but I knew that that was it, though. <laughs> I, knew I knew I was home. Welcome home. That's got to be a, what's this for? Oh, my, thank you, big dog. So okay, so boom. So that's that's the so so now you're you're starting to become now I'm a, I'm starting to turn into a black dude. Okay. Hold on one second. Where can I plug this at? Hold on one second. I gotta plug in my charger. I wanna be able to Hold on. Can you plug me in right there? Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Hold on one second. Okay. Smooth. So <clears throat> smooth. So now so so walk me through life now. So so take me through to middle school, high school. What kind of kid are you? What's happening in life then? Well, I don't know what happened. I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 I was a kid, man. I was just one of them. See, when 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 I got snatched up out the bed mm-hmm. and threw it on this airplane, right? I did go through a culture shock because mm-hmm. I was separated from my brothers and sisters and stuff like that. Okay. So so and I was getting in fights all the time. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so I kind of became an introvert. Got it. So like literally, like my dad. One time, my mom and dad broke up for a year. Okay. Right, and so my dad moved out, and so I'm playing little league baseball, and I, I live in my head, nigga. I was a space cadet, bro. Uh, I'm serious. I I retreated inward. Right. I didn't even know my dad was gone. Wow, <laughs> that's how much you had mm-hmm. dove inside. Yep. Uh huh. Yep. I'll come home from I'll come home to school and go in my room and start reading a book. Damn. Yep. It was uh-huh. usually like a Playboy or something. <laughs> <laughs> but the nigga was reading. I, I, yeah. I was 12. I was, <laughs> I, I was all 12. Like I was reading some pornography. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, so between baseball practice, homework, and pornography, man, I didn't know my dad was gone. That was, and that my, was life. And, my, and, and, and then my homeboys and my brother. Uh-huh. See, my brother was a, a criminal when we was kids. Okay. Yeah, my brother just retired from the power company, man. Wow. Yeah, he's an engineer. Nice. When we was kids. He was he was with the shit. You know how my brother became an engineer? Yeah. From jail. <laughs> For, they they taught him a program? Juvenile Hall program. I love to hear stuff like that, Man. though. That's rehabilitation yeah, and that's finest. how he got to college. That's lit. I love hearing shit like that for real. My cousin, too. For real? At a juvenile hall. Damn. Yeah, you know why I didn't? I don't have a, a college degree? Because you didn't get in trouble? I didn't get caught. <laughs> <laughs> if I'd have got caught, I'd be a surgeon. <laughs> I never got caught. The opposite. Them motherfuckers was slow and couldn't jump a fence. <laughs> My brother used to get his ass beat. Man. He never told on me. He never was like, that motherfucker right there was with him. With him. He the one, he left us. That nigga never told on you? Well, I was fast. <laughs> you had wheels? And so you played baseball. Was there any other sports that you played, like, coming up? I played other sports, but... The baseball was your one. Baseball was the one. Okay, so then walk me through now. So what's happening after high school? Like, what what are you? What life decisions are you making about the person you want to be post high school? So you make it through high school. You took your phase, whatever. But when they didn't make it through high school, they got rid of me. <laughs> <laughs> so you was just doing. Were you fighting too much? No. What was happening? <laughs> See, I started watching comedy when I was eight. Let's go there. Okay. Yeah, so my brother used to sneak out of bed mm-hmm. to watch TV at night when we were supposed to be in bed. So. The nigga used to beat on me to make me get up with him. <laughs> get up. Uh, uh, yeah. Get your ass up. You know, he didn't talk like that. See, right now, if you talk to my brother, he's like the 40-year-old virgin, but a black dude. Hey, man, how you doing? <laughs> All right. Hey, bro, cool, man. That's, seriously, when you meet my brother, we look just alike. But then when he start talking, you be like, that's your brother? <laughs> it's like a bizarro world, he saw. <laughs> He looked just like Esau. He looked just like Esau. <laughs> but he don't sound like Esau. Hey, man. He's, yeah. yeah. But you know, nigga is a seventh degree black belt. Right. <laughs> With all of the shit. Yeah. All of the shit. All of the beat bop booms. <laughs> right? Uh, but he's, but when, he, when we were kids, though, he used to talk like a, like a villain. Mm-hmm. Hey, what the fuck, man? <laughs> fuck your ass up, So he used to go and wake you up with, with b- body shots. When we were little. Right. Yeah, yeah. So I, so if he, in case he got caught, he wouldn't get in trouble by himself. Got it. So it's my, so so we used to watch the Tonight Show and Benny Hill Show and all this, all them old-ass TV shows when I was little. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I understood all the comedy shit. Mm-hmm. So we used to sit up and watch Saturday Night Live and all these shows. And... uh there's, they used to do the stand-up part on the late night shows, and uh, I used to uh, I could uh, I could uh, decode it I could understand it as a young kid as a kid how old were you said eight I was eight and you're already watching this like I get this yeah at, I get it at eight years it old. it was fun to watch because I got it right right 
And then, you know, we was I was watching comedy for about a year, two years. You know, sneaking out the bed. It wasn't every night, but mm-hmm. you know, we sneaking out the bed. Who were some of your favorites early on? I like I you know, I used to be like because I was an introvert, I was in my head a lot, I used to like the comedians that did characters, and most of those comedians were women back then. Mm. So when I used to watch the Carol Burnett show, you know, mm-hmm. she did a whole bunch of characters. Everybody did a whole bunch of characters. So when I was a little boy, when I was super shy, I would talk to you in a character. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's dope. So uh so I used to like with Lily Tomlin and and, and, and Carol Burnett and, and those character driven you know, I didn't even know Richard Pryor when I was a little kid. I didn't even know Richard Pryor was a comedian. Wow. I used to see him do characters and shit. So you were more drawn to his character work back then. It was acting. <clears throat> it wasn't even stand-up back then. Mm-mm, his acting. Okay. So you're coming I down- wasn't allowed to watch his shit because his shit wasn't on TV. That shit was raw. So I, it was in movies and on, on CDs and stuff. Right. So I never saw that. I only right. saw the TV shit. You- so I saw Franklin and Jai when I was 10. The first black stand-up. I saw on TV. Do you see? And what did that do to you? It made me. It turned me into a comedian. At ten, I decided that's what I was going to do because the way he did it was different than the way everybody else did it. Was he? He was he? Was he less? It was smart. Okay. It was really smart. So cerebral. Because I could beat you to the punchline even when I was a kid, but his shit, it was different. Okay. It was real smart. It was real cerebral, and I was a cerebral. Mm. So I decided that's how I wanted to do it like that. <clears throat> so, and this is a 10-year-old Esau, like, this is what I want to do. Yeah, so I just started consuming, consuming, consuming comedy, consuming comedy, consuming comedy, consuming comedy. So I was just watching everything. And when was the first time you got on stage? How'd that happen? <clears throat> uh, I owned a barbershop. In so, yeah, get it. so talk yeah. to me how you got into cutting hair. Uh, man, I used to always cut, cut hair to make ends meet. Okay. You know, I, was, I was, you know, I had, I had twin twins when I was 19. Okay. You know, so I got married. And at 19? Yeah, I got married at 22. Young. No, I didn't have twins. She, no, I started dating her when I was 19. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> she got pregnant when I was 20, something like that. Okay, so and earlier on. kids was born like I was 21. And so did, did the cutting hair, did that just kind of come like out of... 19. But did that was, come out of necessity? Because I, I didn't yeah. have nobody to cut my hair too, but I tried it a couple times. It was trash. Well, I started cutting hair because... <laughs> I started cutting hair because I when cut. I was a kid, you know, you come from a kid's, kid's mentality, right? Mm-hmm. So when I'm 12, I'm thinking, mm. <clears throat> so what, you know, I know I'm, I'm going to be a comedian, but I know ain't no comedy in Sacramento. Right. So at 12 years old, I was like, what kind of job can I have that I could do anywhere, don't, no matter what? So when I was 12, I was like, I'm going to start cutting hair because I'm 12. So I'm thinking I can do that anywhere. And uh, barbers are always cool. Okay, we, okay, I have to ask you this then. What, what type of individuals were you around in your life to have you so progressive thinking so young? Because I didn't have shit like that figured out at 12. Like you're thinking, I know what I want to do and I know a logical profession that will allow me to do it. You're thinking that at 12. I didn't figure out what I wanted to do so I was like 26, 27. How were you figuring that out so young? Well, I had a whole bunch of <clears throat> shit I was going to do when I was young. I was also going to make it to the major leagues playing baseball. <laughs> I was the illest little second baseman you ever seen when I was 12. <laughs> right. On everything I love. It was nice with this shit? Nice. Got it. Okay. So you just more or less throwing things against the wall, seeing what sticks. And just no. Then. So, but so you knew that you was nice with the baseball. And them teammates in the dugout was my first audience. <laughs> <laughs> they was crying in the dugout. Don't let me catch. I was a catcher too. Sometimes, mm-hmm. man, I had a, the umpires cracking up laughing. Wow. Okay. So, 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 going through this. So I'm practicing though. So you're just learning because you know you want to be a comedian. So you're learning how to work audiences everywhere you go. Nah, I don't know nothing about stand up yet. Okay. I'm just acting like I'm just got like. I've been watching all the, sh- you know, all the Richard Pryor movies. Steve Martin. Mm-hmm. Steve Martin was a big influence on me. Okay. Huge influence on me. Mm-hmm. I didn't get into Eddie Murphy and them until I was in high school. But yeah. early on, when I was a little kid. It was mostly like Steve Martin was a big influence. So you're really a student of the craft. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying, just and you've been studying that. For years. Yeah. So now walk me through the first time that you do stand-up. So I know you're a barber, you're getting your money, you got some kids, but what gets you on that stage the first time? How'd it happen? Um, <clears throat> well, I, I opened a barbershop when I was... How was I when I opened that barbershop? 21? Where is it at? Because I'm, I'm from Sacramento, too. So where is your barbershop at? Uh, it's at. Uh, um, 
It's on 21st Street, 21st and Broadway. Gotcha. Okay, cool, 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 cool. There's a, there's a M on the corner. Is it you close? Is Pancake it Pancake Circus? Is it near where that tower used to be? Nah, that's up the street a little further. Got you. But I know the general area. That's okay, up towards CV Circle where my grandmama used to live. Got you. Okay, that, cool. That's cool. that's the project we moved into when I was six. Got you. My other siblings went to when I went to San Francisco. Mm -hmm. They went to SAC. Now, is when you start your barbershop, is this also where you're starting to to hone like your your roasting skills as well? Like, are you is that nah, the environment? Nah, me get honing my roasting skills was in high school. Okay. So in high school, it was basically, you know, the whole school against me every day. Mm -hmm. Every day. <laughs> Every day. I was, what high school did you go to? I was the same way. I went to Burbank. I went to Kennedy. I went to Burbank. Mm -hmm. Then I went to Kennedy. Well, I went to a few schools. Okay. So I went to Burbank. I went to Florence. I went to Kennedy first, and then I went to Florence. I went to Burbank, and then um, <clears throat> it was at, at lunch <coughs> at lunchtime. Sometimes it would be me, me against the whole school. Sometimes it would just be me against all the Mexicans. <laughs> Cause don't don't think that Mexicans ain't funny and they can't right. get on your ass. Oh, no, Cause they be know. jumping in and jumping in and jumping in. I got a lot of my homeboy. I got like I grew up on Section Eight, so that's mm -hmm. like United Nations. Right. So you know I got friends of all all the whole the whole right. spectrum of existence. Right. Right. So I, I understand different cultures a little bit too. Mm -hmm. So so I had Mexican homies. Too. <laughs> right. So right. you knew how so, to cook. Niggas. Oh, I know how to cook Mexican <laughs> Filipinos. I know how to cook <laughs> Filipinos. I know all the, the Filipino curse words and all that shit. Right. Right, so it, we cooking every day. My best friend's Filipino, mm -hmm. a Filipino dude named Ben. What's up, Ben Yunky? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. But see, so. that's the thing, too. But see, a lot of cats don't know, too. If you know your history in, in Sacramento, Burbank was the tough school. Yeah. You had to also know how to fight to if go to Bur Burbank. Bur <laughs> I Niggas was you. getting served at Burbank. Burbank like, and Grant was the, two, was the two You schools. had to know how to fight to go to them schools. So and, and the crazy part is our school colors was the same. Exactly. And Burbank was right by them train tracks. Because I used to play yeah. Pop Warner and we used to practice at Burbank. Like you yeah. had to be a tough nigga. Because to... on the other side, them train tracks was in apartments where all them Absolutely. gangbangers Exactly. On the 24th and the 29th Street yeah. niggas. Yeah, yeah. Cause Cause there shit was, was real. There was, there, was a, there, was a, there was a path that uh, go through the vacant lot. Oh, yeah. And you can cut. Because I used to take, I used to, because my grandmother used to live on the other side of them, them fucking apartments. Uh -huh. Right by the Church of Chicken. Right by the Church of Chicken on the corner. There used to be a, a path cut, a shortcut through them apartments. So uh -huh. I get to my grandma's house in like 15 minutes, nigga. I never took it a day in my life. <laughs> For real. Like I walked around in them apartments <laughs> every time. I, I shit never, was real. ever been in them apartments. It was shit that was real. Shit was real, nigga. Was I know real. the apartments you're talking about. My partner Ivory used to stay over there. That shit was real. Yeah. So, so walk me through the first time you do stand-up. Is, 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 is it in Sacramento? It like, in Sacramento. At the Where? Touch a class. Touch a class. Walk me through it, cause that's where I came up. You know what I'm saying? This I, is the crazy part about this, though. Okay. So I get so 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 I own this barbershop, right? Mm -hmm. And everybody got to pay their boot rent on Fridays. So uh, so every Friday, mm -hmm. you know, the guys at the at the barbershop will. It, and this is crazy because I just turned 21. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I own a barbershop, and so I'm the youngest guy in there. Right. Right. But I own the shop. It's your shit. So everybody pay me boot rent. And then, uh, and then, y'all pick a bar, and then at, on Friday we shut the shop down, and uh, we go to whatever wherever y'all want to go. And the first rounds on me. Damn, it's cool so, ass boss. Yeah, so so you pay me boot rent, but I I spend, immediately spend a little bit back on you. Right, that's the whole. Oh, some system. cool shit. It's because you know when I ran my shop, it's like I, I ran my shop like I got two sets of clients. Mm -hmm. I got a set of set of clients that come and get a service from me as in a haircut, mm -hmm. and I got another set of clients that rent a chair from me. I mm -hmm. provide a service for you, just like I provide a service for the people that I cut. I provide a service for you mm -hmm. by keeping the shop clean, keeping these mirrors clean, keeping everything right, keeping this chair working because you rent this chair from me. Mm -hmm. So you're my client. Wow. So these are my clients too. Mm -hmm. So you know how I treat my clients good? They come in the thing. Mm -hmm. I treat my clients good. Damn. You see what I'm saying? So we be having barbecues outside on Saturday Just sometimes. Chilling and shit. I sponsor the Little League team. Mm -hmm. Shit like that. Yeah. Right. Cool shit. Cool shit. Okay, so then when you do your so so is the touch of class the re, the the spot you guys went to? Nah, we went to all kinds of different spots. Uh huh. But um, you know, because the dude that owned the touch, he owned about a five or six different spots. Mm -hmm. And then and then, and somebody who in the shop was kind of related to him some kind of way. So we used to go to them spots. And then my brother was good because my brother used to work at Smud, so he used to hook up a lot of the black businesses and tell them how to you know save their money and shit. So he got gotcha. The dude kind of adopted my brother, so mm -hmm. I would go to his bars, and. uh couple of them in the neighborhood and mm -hmm. so 
these niggas uh, entered me into a talent show. At the touch? Yeah, and okay. didn't tell me. <laughs> Just took you up yeah, there? Yeah, because I'm in the barbershop all day <laughs> cooking niggas. <laughs> Cooking, 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 nigga. Right. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, so they put me in this in this talent show, and uh, uh, and and we counted every day for two months. Every single day, somebody said, "Nigga, you should be a fucking comedian." Every single day, right? Mm-hmm. Just in there cooking, niggas. Right. So they entered me in this uh, talent show at the Touch of Class, mm-hmm. and it was a comedian host. Okay. So I go up, and then I win the talent show. First right. time doing stand up. First time doing stand up. I did five minutes. Was it easy to you? Were you nervous? I had material up the ass. I think I've been writing material since I was twelve. So even though they dared you, you was just like, hell, I'm glad somebody's finally done no, this. No, they just didn't know that I was really into it like that. Got it. Okay. So the first time I went on stage, I ripped that bit. <laughs> <laughs> and first time. And that's a high like like none other. Like yeah. getting on stage and making a room full of strangers. Right. Laugh. And was it at that moment you were like, yeah, this is this is what well, I, I already, knew. I already knew it. Because you knew at 10. Yeah. So now this is just like, okay, now this is coming to fruition that this is happening. All right, all right, cool. Let's go. Right. So yeah. now, so then is yeah. that where it's go time? And Yeah, my brother knew it. Okay. So they said, well, well can you come back next week to defend your crowd? <laughs> <laughs> I said, all right. <laughs> yeah, all right. You niggas want me to buy y'all a drink again next week? Ain't up in here? I was like, yeah. So the second time I go up there, the place is packed. Because I own a barbershop. Right. So they've been talking about that shit all week. Everybody done amped it up. Nigga, they just said, nigga, I'm coming. I want to see this <laughs> I shit. I want to see what he's talking and about. The second time I come, that motherfucker's packed to the gills. Oh, shit. What happens this and time? And I win again. Uh-huh. Right? Uh-huh. So, the- <laughs> so now... <laughs> Because the host, the host is a comedian. Right. So now everybody, you know, they had been watching Uptown, Comedy Corner, and all this, you know. Mm. Dev Jam and all this shit hadn't even come out yet. Right. So they want the, me and the host mm. to go, you know, to do the dozens shit. Mm. I was like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> right. Nah. Right. And the was like, why, why, why? Because he was a vet. Okay. Why? Like, Scared nah, nigga. I'm good. I'm good, brother. <laughs> I'm good, big dog. You got it, dog. I'm trying to learn it. from this nigga. Right. You know what I'm saying? He don't know who he fucking with. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my inside voice was saying. Right. What the fuck is you doing? <laughs> Kill that motherfucker. <laughs> Kill, you know him. Kill him dead. Yeah, you against the whole school every day. This right. is just one nigga in an ugly suit. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. So I said, nigga, everybody else started going, you know, how niggas start chasing. But like, all the niggas, all the two people from the barbershop was there. So you had so, no, But bro, they, I, everybody in the crowd, mm-hmm. that's who I've been cooking. Mm-hmm. I've been cooked to all of them. <laughs> so they um, so they know, uh, they know what's up. No, they they do, always like, kill that nigga. Do that shit that you did. Man, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so I was like, all right, all right. This nigga, man, he come at me, man. <laughs> I cooked that. Thing, <laughs> Gave it to oh, him. Oh man, I told him he had ventriloquist dummy clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I'm punch you in your ass and tell you what to do. <laughs> I was like 22, bro. I cooked this nigga, man. Cooked this nigga. When I said I put all the punch you in your ass and tell you what to do. <laughs> Shut shit down. Shut that shit. And just to also give a little bit of history, Touch of Class is in a tough ass neighborhood. It's in the middle of Oak Park. It's in the middle of the hood. So much like Burbank, like, nigga, this is a place that, like, this is where, you know, BT ran a room there later that I came up. Like, nigga, you had to be funny in that motherfucker. Yeah. Because niggas wasn't playing. Like, they were serious. So you killing shit. So is this now the point you're like, okay. I grew up in Oak Park. Wow, that's like a- I used to live on Fourth Avenue, San Jose Way. When uh-huh. I was a little kid, so when I came back, I lived with my my aunt for a year in San Francisco. Then my mom got the little Section Eight shit kicked mm-hmm. in because she had eight kids. Right. Then we got a house in Oak Park. Yeah, I, I that motherfucker. I, I felt like I grew up in Oak Park because I went to church in in Oak Park. I went to Trinity Baptist Church on Twelfth, right up the street uh-huh. from Oak Park Market. So I was there yeah. my entire life, like you know what I'm saying. So you know what I'm saying. So you know, like it was a. It was, a, it was a tough place, like, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So so you're coming up, you're doing your thing. So when do you make the decision, like, okay, this is what I'm doing. I know I'm cutting the hair, but when does the, the shift go to be, like, full-time comedy with this shit now? Well, so I do the Touch of Class shows, the mm-hmm. two shows, right? 
Mm -hmm. So my brother was at the second one. Okay. <clears throat> so at this point, my brother had just started working at the power company. Mm -hmm. And uh, and he owned a karate school. Right. Right. So um, so one of his homeboys that owns a karate school, my brother at the time, my brother is now like a seventh degree. So at that time, my brother was like maybe a fourth or fifth degree black belt. Okay. But one of but so, one of his uh, instructors, name was Master Sims. Okay. And they used to do this comedy competition every year, the Sims Brothers Comedy Competition, and they used to have the finals at uh, at the Memo at the um, at the convention Memo center. Okay, downtown. Twenty five hundred seats, full. Oh yeah, I know you're you know talking about that type of shit, mm -hmm. right? So my brother, so my brother was at this uh, karate tournament, and he was talking shit to to Steve Sims. Say yeah, nigga, you gonna uh. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, dig he was turning into uh -huh. the forty-year-old version, but he was in between. Right, he was the, yeah, yeah, the, the, the transition, the criminal, <laughs> and the engineer who just retired. Got it. So he was like, you know, you know, but he was he was, he was still kind of grimy, right, a little mm -hmm. bit. So he was like, he was like, yeah, nigga, my, my brother funnier than all them niggas you got coming. Up. <laughs> he said, "Who's your brother?" He said, "My brother name is Esau, and he'll cook them niggas." <laughs> How long he been doing comedy? He said he been on. He been doing it two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> two shows under his belt, nigga. <laughs> so he says. So he says, okay, well we doing the, the preliminaries at Rancho Arroyo. Rancho fucking Arroyo. It was this, it was this fucking sports complex mm -hmm. that this multi-millionaire black dude opened up. Only nightclub used to stay up until four in the morning. It was it was a dope spot. Mm -hmm. And so they was doing that. It was packed up in there in that little club they had in there. Mm -hmm. That And that was my third time ever going on stage. I met Guy Tory, uh, Lunell, Damn. Rodney Perry. Damn. I was 21, 22. Mm -hmm. Rodney Perry. Uh, it was like, it was a bunch of comics I met. Uh, mm -hmm. D. Militant. Oh. I met all Legends. in the first round, right? Damn. So I get in the first round. I never done more than five minutes. Mm -hmm. But you, the first round was 12 minutes. Shit. So I go on stage and uh, I cook these niggas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of your life has been spent cooking niggas. <laughs> right? Mind you, I own a barbershop. Right. Who you think in the crowd? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> was, you know why I was packed to the gills? <laughs> the same, you might say I got there and it was packed. Yeah. But the same reason shit was packed last week. Mm -hmm. These niggas was trying to see what happened. Mm -hmm. So I get in there. I did a good set. I had a great set, mm -hmm. better than I did the other two times. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so I qualify to go to the the next round. They mm -hmm. warned me though because I ran the light. I had no concept of time. Gotcha. So I was supposed to do twelve minutes. I did twenty two minutes. Mm -hmm. Right. Because I practiced the jokes, but I never factored in. Twenty two. Yeah. You wasn't looking I, at the light, did it? I didn't know what the light was. <laughs> What's the light? I didn't know no terminology. I didn't know nothing about <laughs> what light. <laughs> you was clearly ready. Yeah, but got I don't have a watch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, my, I, I learned the niggas that wear watches be late. <laughs> <laughs> I wear a watch. The nigga I'm that don't wear late. no watches always on time. That's a fact. Ain't nobody more conscious of what the fuck time it is <laughs> like a motherfucker with no watch. That's a fact. Always on time. These are facts. Yeah, a watch is... <laughs> well, how are you late and you got to watch it? Huh? <laughs> don't even make no sense. Like Take it off. Fucking vegans Take walking around off. with leather shoes on. <laughs> fucking traitors. <laughs> I'm vegan. I look uh. right down that bitch feet. <laughs> you got Jimmy Choo's on, bitch. Bam. So now, nah, so you've been doing your thing. You've been killing. You've been doing, you know, murdering shows. Like, you're yeah, a legend in the game. You hosted Chocolate Sundays for years. Like, uh -huh. that was a legendary run. Like, people don't know. Like, that's just an esteemed title to have a run. People don't know you do your acting shit. You was in Idlewild. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so what now? I was in a bunch of shit. Talk to him, man. Let but these people Idlewild know what you came out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I got about 30 films, but Idlewild. <laughs> Go watch that. Idlewild. I came out. <laughs> I was in this one movie. <laughs> come out. 
And uh, Tiffany Haddish was in it with me. Uh, and then Tiffany blew up. That bitch came out. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they changed the cover. They got Tiffany on the cover. <laughs> nah, it'd be fucked yeah. up. They got no, Tiffany it, on the cover. I think that was, wasn't even there, it was the pose that she was in. The, in wasn't even in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. It should be going crazy, though, because I, I, I've had different situations like that happen. Like, I remember when I first came down here, I booked a Beast by Drake commercial. So I was uh-huh. like, nigga, man. I'm in a Beast by Drake commercial. Like, Nipsey Hussle was in it. It was a bunch of people. Uh-huh. Man, cut me smooth the fuck out that shit. I was, man, <laughs> I that, make that campaign. Crazy, so you know what? The craziest story like that? What up? Man, I'm really good friends with Guy Tory. Guy, when mm-hmm. I first moved to LA, remember I told you I met Guy Tory when the third time I was ever on stage? Uh uh-huh. So when I decided to move to LA, you know, it, it, was, it was one of them, th- you know, I got divorced. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then I, I was dating this other chick in the Oman Barber Shop. She went, she went and back to her other ex-boyfriends and they got a bunch of money, right? Mm-hmm. So I was double heart broke. <laughs> Damn. Damn. I said, fuck all y'all. <laughs> fuck. Yeah. <laughs> fuck all y'all. It's <laughs> surreal. Hell yeah. So they said, I have a Ford Expedition, right? I sold that bitch and bought a Honda Civic. That's right. And put my clothes and my big back booty TV in the back seat. The big back booty TV. Yeah. The big yeah. back booty, TV. Big back booty 32 inch. <laughs> TV had ass. <laughs> I had, <laughs> I had Magnavox the Stallion nigga, <laughs> in my back seat. <laughs> I didn't say Magnavox the Stallion. Yeah, big booty TV. Because the nigga had a PlayStation, so I knew I was going to be lonely. So I got to bring the TV and the PlayStation, nigga. Shit. Hell yeah. G- so GTA, you- G- G- Grand Theft Auto kept me in the game. <laughs> no matter how bad I felt, I can go on, on that bitch and kill up a bunch of motherfuckers. And go to- <laughs> <laughs> For real. So, man, so this is what a lot of people don't know. So this is the fun part. So I love the conversation. I love the energy. Let me get some of that transition music, Clue. Be- before we run into that, okay. are you taking part in the... Uh, Incredible edibles. Oh, you want some guy? edibles? We got to take some more drugs. No, I'm not. I'm smoking, but I'm not okay. doing no edibles because scary ass no, nigga. No, I'm not scared. <laughs> I have experience. Yeah, I don't play with those things. Shut those scary ass up, Clue. Hey, whatever you want to call me. I took some edible. I used to before I hosted Chocolate Sundays. I hosted Crack 'Em Up Thursdays for three years, mm. and then I hosted Chocolate Sundays for like almost five years, and then I went and hosted. Four ran the uh, the comedy store the, uh, main room for a year, and then I went back and hosted Crack 'Em Up for then, another two years. Yeah, mm. But I was hosting Crack 'Em Up one time, and uh, you got four? I had some edibles, cool. and yeah, I OD. And on the edibles on stage. Wow! I mean, it took too okay, many. Like when you're on edibles, bro. You know, once you took too much, it's too late. Yeah. <laughs> There's no you know going back. Bro, I was I like, that, that might be happening no right now. Higher. I couldn't get no higher. I thought, bro, I started arguing with my inside voice. <laughs> <laughs> I serious. I thought I was going to die. I was like, I ain't never going to underestimate these goddamn ginger snaps again. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey. Plus, I was, I was, I was drinking too. <laughs> so, so what happened was I had the ginger snaps. My, my best one, my best friends in the world, Nichelle Murdoch. She had these ginger snaps. Shout out, Nichelle. I don't know what. Shout out, shout out, Nichelle Murdoch. Yes. Crack them up Thursdays. So many stars have come from that room and developed mm-hmm. in there. Um, so we had these ginger snaps that these people gave us. I don't know if there was one X, ten X. I didn't know nothing about no goddamn <laughs> edibles. So I was just like, so I ate one of them. And I was like, okay, I, I'll wait. I'll see what's up with this shit. You know what I'm saying? So I waited about 20, 30 minutes. That shit was so gradual. Mm-hmm. You know, plus I think, you know, my digestion is slow anyway. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I probably got IBS or some shit. I don't know. But I, I, <laughs> so I was like, oh man, this, fuck this shit. This shit's some dumb ass shit. And I, and I, I was like, hey, man, give me a drink. Give me, give me a Jack and Coke. So I'm hosting. I give get, me a Jack and Coke. Get Jack and Coke. Fuck these edibles and shit. <laughs> so so I'm drinking the Jack and Coke. So now I'm starting to get hungry. You want some so, wings? Nigga, this shit kicking in. I don't know it, though. My stupid ass is drunk and hot. So I'm thinking that these edibles are some bullshit, but I'm hungry, though. So I was like, damn, I'm hungry than the motherfucker, man. Give me a couple of them cookies. <laughs> I ate two more of them motherfuckers and ordered another drink. So so I ate two more of them and ordered another drink. Now I probably had two more drinks. And them other two started kicking in, bro. <laughs> Shit happened. Man. It was everything all at once, bro. That that night that night lasted all night. 
That night lasted all night long. That's how much that just slowed so down. Can't go to sleep. Bro, I had people in tears and don't remember what the fuck I said. Shit. But this is the crazy part. Towards the end of the night, I just had to I, I had to go standing in the corner because I thought if I sat down, I was gonna die. <laughs> Sit down, I'm gonna Why die. would you die for sitting down? Bro, that's what my inside voice was saying. Wait, you sit down, you're gonna die, motherfucker. Go stand in the corner. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna die if I sit down. Ooh, wee. Ooh, the room is spinning. Shit. So I gotta go stand in the corner because the room is spinning. So I gotta stand in the corner and stop the room from spinning. Fuck. So, in between comedians, nigga, I go back on stage and I say, hey, y'all, I'm sorry. I underestimated them edibles. <laughs> I fucked up. <laughs> and but I'm, I look up, man. People are falling out. <laughs> Nigga, it's like we knew. We've been watching your ass all night long. Listen, I just want to get fucked up, bro. They was watching me all night long, bro. And so now, unfortunately, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I knew because serious because you know when I moved out here when I moved out here was after I got divorced bro right 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 uh, and you know I was like you know I'm a cancer man mm -hmm. you know I wear my heart on my sleeve I'm a sensitive ass nigga <laughs> 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 uh, I'm a little sensitive ass motherfucker man so you right. know, I was all emotional and shit mm -hmm. and so I've never really drank before so you know I was drinking and doing comedy I mm -hmm. don't even drink when I don't do comedy but. A lot of motherfuckers be like, hey, Esau be drunk all the time. I'm like, <laughs> I do be drunk a lot. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I be drunk a lot. <laughs> you ever have a motherfucker tell you, I'm not drunk? You be like, I used to be the nigga saying that shit. <laughs> that's like them people, that's like them people, them sleep denying. <laughs> them, them some sons of bitches. You know what I'm saying? You be like, hey, 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 hey. And then you and then you be like, hey, and they're like, hey, they're like huh? and like, was you sleep? No, nah, I wasn't sleep. I wasn't sleep I wasn't at sleeping. all. Nigga, I was just looking. I was fucking with you for ten minutes. Your ass was knocked out. I wasn't sleep. I, I, I was I was just resting my eyes. Yeah. Shut your ass up, nigga. You was sleep. Hey, so Pete. We about to do this part. My Give me, daughter sleep That's with her cool. eyes open. That Let me get that good. transition good. music. It's 111, 111, 111, 111. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba the cook-up. What is the cook-up, Esau? The cook-up is my favorite part of this show. We come here, we have fun, we talk shit, you know what I'm saying? We do whatever we do. But we also have a component where... We cook up. My boy comes through. My guy, YDB, he gets on the keys. This is a fully functioning recording studio. He cooks up a beat, and we cook up a live original record together. A lot of people don't know you can sing. So I'm like, man, I got my bro in here. Like, he he got a real soulful voice, so <clears throat> we're going to cook some stuff up together. But before we do that, right. I just want you to hear we're a gonna couple. We're going to do some country music. We're going to do whatever we want to do. But before yeah. we do that, but before we do that though, I'm going to let you hear a couple of the songs that we've pl that we've created live here on the show. Okay. Cool? So, um, what do I want to start with today? Play the one from yesterday first. That's him. Okay. That's all right. All right. So this is what we did yesterday. So. I have a song. I have a song on a special that I shot, and it's about making uh, love to a woman while she's on her period. That's gross. Yeah. It's, it's called, it's called uh, Soldier for Love. Oh. <laughs> I know it's that time of the month. You serious? Your mood has been changing from day to day. Your desires are safe with me. Don't you worry about a thing. Cause I'm a soldier for love. We can put the towel down, girl, and still make love. We can make love. Cause I'm a soldier for love. Meet me in the shower, yeah. And we'll make love. We can make love, yeah. <laughs> Hold on. So you said you did it for your special Have You produced that song? Has that been like produced and that song is music that, underneath it? That song is written by, by T Nava. Nice. That's an amazing song. Yeah, Tina, I like it. Tina Nava from the Free Nationals. Wrote this. Well, what we gonna do is we gonna create some shit. Yesterday I was feeling real Drakeish, so mm -hmm. I sang. So if you want to pull up the artwork, because as we do this, my uh, my boy YDB he out. He also creates um, artwork too. I so. can't rap. If I start rapping, it'll sound we're like no. We gonna have you sing No, we are gonna, gonna have you sing. I'll do some rapping. So hold on. Where's the song? What was the song from yesterday called? Hide and seek. And YDB does not do the artwork. Who's R and B? Oh my bad. I mean, I mean, you know what I mean. Clue. Does the artwork. <laughs> Who's R and B shades are these? Huh? Who's Kenny Lattimore? I don't even know. Yo, where's the where's the thing from yesterday? I'm a 
<laughs> you look like some Kenny Lattimore shades. shades. You said what? I'm a, I'm you ever see people with, with big heads wear little ha- little glasses? Yeah, <laughs> I hate that. I'm like, get something to fit your face. They was fucking with your song. She said, that's natural, though, like not you're gross. you trying to be smart. That shit is gross to me. I'm sorry. Uh, it's gross. I don't do that. Use, use no. Some, use some small I ain't people. running woman, no red lights. I'm getting woman's glasses. Got my R&B shades on. So this is a song that we did. You got, the, you got the artwork from yesterday? Yes, sir. All right, this is a song that we did yesterday called Hide and Seek. This is your boy. Produced by this guy. Here we go. Hide and Seek. Yeah. What's that about? You're going to see right now. Finger banging? Nah. Here we go. <laughs> that's nasty. <laughs> See the artwork? <laughs> oh. Why am I even in this club? It's hoes in here, but I can't find no love. Somehow all these times just ain't the one. What am I in here for? This shit ain't that enough. Oh. Where the hell is my future wife? I hate dating in my forties. I got a number, she ignored me. There must be something better for me. Call me dope con, cause I'm lonely. Don't nobody really want me. But there is something about Tony. Hey, all my life, I've been playing hide and seek. I've been playing hide and seek. I've been playing hide and seek. I've been playing all my life, all my life, I've been playing hide and seek. I've been playing hide and seek. Yeah. Trying to put this jersey in retirement and make an exit out this player life environment. Looking for love somehow, I'm never finding it. I'm emotionally beat down and in my mind and shit. But I'm still looking for a day. The feeling that I'm feeling, it won't go away. And I know this sounds crazy, but believe me. When I'm with other women, it feels like I'm cheating. Let's pull a red thunder. Literally like red I'm thunder. Cheating. No longer find a joy in it, I'm low key avoiding it. Love life, feel like somebody poisoned it. Walk around this club with all this noise in it Turn that motherfucking music down, I wanna talk I am toxic as a bitch, but it ain't my fault But you probably toxic too, so whatever Fuck it, let's be toxic together All my life, I've been playing hide and seek I've been playing hide and seek I've been playing hide and seek I've been playing all my life All my life, I've been playing hide and seek Here we go, one, playing two, hide and seek. one, two, three, red thunder Look, it's Del Boy. Got my bro Jack in this motherfucker. Just a question. We got the answer, bitch. Look. <laughs> Streets is asking where you at. I'm hearing all black and rocking this Raider cat. They saying they gangster, but me, I say it's cat. I'm one of the biggest that made it out of sack. When I say I'm the illest, trust me, I'm stating facts. If they ain't talking no money, what do I say to that? Them been to hell hella time, somehow I made it back. Go electrifying lines off the top like it was Raiden's hat. With sweating on the Peloton, I really hated that. But for 186 pounds, I really weighed it that. YD beat and laid the track, every time he make it slap. Raising the bar, morning cup of dough, I created that. Facts. Uh, married to the king without a wedding ring. Before I give mom. up anything, I let it ring. Got him addicted to the flow, methamphetamine. Stomping in these Nikes, nigga, I'm, I'm killing, killing everything. everything. Uh, married to the cane without a wedding ring Before I give up anything, I let it ring Got him addicted to the flow, methamphetamine Stomping in these Nikes, nigga, I'm Woo, killing every jam Pop like red thunder, got the rhythm in the can Jack and doe, jack and doe, we getting to the bag We killing on the track, you feel it when you rap The way I handle bars, it's hidden in the stash See me in a beanie, you can miss me with the cap Working for a track till I get it Is that the porno mustache? Nah, I said right there, Jack the Oh, Jack, yes. oh, <laughs> the, the other the porno mustache I was destined for this path he made the beat though. What I'm supposed to be doing. I'm chosen to do this. Leave him frozen and clueless. Every time I'm stacking dough, jacking dough, going stupid. I'm doing this for jokes and amusement. I sold my soul to the music. That's why I'm all about the C-notes. Jack a made man when I'm mobbing the casinos. You ain't seen nothing yet. This is just a pre war You can try to add it up. You still won't be my equal. Don't talk to these people. Uh, uh. Married to the cane without a wedding ring. Before I give up anything, I, I let, let it ring. ring. Got him addicted to the flow. Nothing better than your mom. Stomping in these Nikes, nigga, I'm killing right, everything. Gonna be the last one we play. Uh, uh, here we go. Married to the cane without a wedding yeah. ring. Before I give up anything, I let mom. it ring. Here we go. One, Got him addicted to the flow. Two, Nothing better than me. Stomping in these two, Nikes, nigga, three, I'm killing four. everything. Ah, uh, I mean, 
I feel real melancholy today, but I turn up. That's what Big Bro said. Look, I'ma come like this. Look, I cannot afford this housekeeping. I got black Jesus on the couch sleeping, and he won't wake up. Look, look, uh. Motion picture type vibes at this current time. Fat Drake in the future, what a time to be alive. Studio owner, that's on my resume. Curated the bomb and it's been to detonate. Kaboom and smoke fills up the room. I get in and get out. I figured it out. I'ma touch a hundred million after taxes. Is there been a bracket for that? I don't care though. I don't even mess with these niggas. Most of them weirdos. No nickname alert. My mind clear though. I got a rare flow. I'm out of my mind. Since 79, I was destined to shine. Stay on my grind from the morning to the night time. Learned early on there's no such thing as the right time. So do it right now, not now, right now. And if you hating on a nigga, you should pipe down. Nigga. Yo, sometimes I be thinking of your mom. Sometimes I be thinking of your mom Sometimes I be thinking of your mom Your mom is on my Shout mind one time Your mom is on my mind one time I be thinking of your mom I be thinking of your mom I'm the greatest and most creative Bitches try to come through with wild shit accusations and I fade them You can ask my nigga YDB The bitches wanna come through and ride on me Like the Salami Rocket Express I take them through the clouds in the stratosphere In a sundress And hit that little booty hole Slink nose, your motherfucking bitches got the duty rolls You better do your duty I wanna come through and rub lotion on your booty I'm the magnificent, super tall, gripping shit And I'm gripping shit You can ask my young nigga And I know his mom But I had, I didn't even take her ass to the after prom Living my Jeff life Living my best life I might come through and fuck on your best wife Sometimes I be thinking of your mom Sometimes I be thinking of your mom Sometimes I be thinking of your mom Your mom is on my mind one time Your mom is on my mind one time I be thinking of your mom I be thinking of your mom Sometimes slings love profanity I like to express myself this way Don't be mad at me People call it vanity But oh, they call it insanity In the L.A. County Court In the L.A. County Jail System I don't want to cuss no more But when I diss them I gotta let them know how I feel And sometimes four letter words Are the best appeal I'm the best And I come through and I like to feel on your mom's breast She's always impressed when I come through and I show her my girth She says, Slink, how much is that worth? I said, it's worth a whole lot She says, Slink, can I put it in my box? I said, of course not You don't even deserve You fuck with me, you be fucking with these nerds Sometimes I be thinking of your mom Sometimes I be thinking of your mom Sometimes I be thinking of your mom Your mom is on my mind one time Your mom is on my mind one time I be thinking of your mom I be thinking of your mom so that's what I'm saying, man. We just have fun in here, man. Dope. It's never no pressure, man. It's not like a competitive thing. Like, we have fun. The only rule that we have, we don't write shit down. We punching shit. Like, he going to come in, you know what I'm saying, create some dope shit, and then we're going we gonna to really cook. So let's do this real quick. Let me have you hop up and <coughs> grab that seat. Let me have you yeah. fly in right here. <clears throat> Ooh, I'm back in the green. <laughs> Back in the green, back in the green. And so this is what I was thinking for the vibe. This nigga is so, huh? It was in heat. Oh no, he's already charged up. I think. Are you? Are you, yeah, you still need charge? I'm just gonna throw it in my pocket. Okay. Um, this is what I'm thinking, right? Because this nigga is. The phone forgetter. This nigga is soulful as shit. Yep. So I can I'm hear thinking it Kanye. Like mm -hmm. I'm thinking. Think John Legend. Yep. Think. Think. Anthony Hamilton think I want to put him on Bill that vibe. Withers. You know, I want to put him on that vibe so he can get soulful. I'm not, I'm a rap. Like, you know what I'm saying? On some damn near on some common shit. Like, you know what I mean? I already mean? know where I'm going to take this. You know, was... heavy drums. Yep. You want to mm -hmm. give him a little sample of your, of your singing or you want to wait? No, we'll, we'll, we'll give him a little sample. I don't know what. I was going to say you can sing or, uh, Ordinary People. Because huh? he knows how to play it. Oh, really? Yeah, you want to play, play, play uh, Ordinary okay. People? <laughs> I, I said, that's like a, with the asterisk. Why are you going to put me all on the spot like that? Like, I know how to play it, but I don't know how to play it well. Like, oh, like, you said it was the first song you I ever learned. Yeah, well, exactly, so. and then I never we... learned how to play it. It's like... I'm 
I'm playing it in. Um... I think that's what I heard somebody say one time. But I mean, I think this is the proper way. To, this is All the proper right. key. I like to play an alternative for this. What you drinking? Red Bull. You want one? But something there, right? Like something, you know. Yeah. But but I, I but. I sing it good anyway, so if you don't play it good. Facts. Put that into it. Yeah. 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 Now, let me tell you a secret. Let's get uh, his chair uh, in position. We gotta slide your chair to the left as well. This way? Yeah, both. Why, Dizzle, could you uh, slide Doughboy's chair to the left? Everything is an ashtray here. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, here we go. Um, I'm officially high. Are you feeling these edibles yet or no? I was feeling them a second ago, but they kind of went away. Yeah. Yeah. Go. Cannabis and caffeine. Cannabis and caffeine. You just wide awake high. <laughs> you still high though. So usually what we let him do, I just let him cook, go wherever he's gonna go, cause he has an idea in his mind. And then once we get there, then we'll just start fucking around with some melodies, whatever you wanna do. We'll start cooking. here with Big Bro. <clears throat> One of my favorite stories, man. I don't know if I ever even... Uh, told you, man, one of my favorite memories, not just in L.A., but in life, is when you took me to uh, to the comedy show. Remember Jamie Foxx? Oh, right across oh, the street from the Staples Center? Yeah. And you oh, took uh, me there. Any given Monday? Did any I given, if, no, you introduced me. You got me in because they wasn't going to let me in. Yeah. You made them niggas let me in. Uh -huh. And then when I got in, because, nigga, I'm the biggest Jamie Foxx fan, then the nigga, I ended up getting on Did stage. I you to Jamie yeah, absolutely. Nigga, that was the, yeah. the, one of the biggest moments of my life, nigga. And then I got on stage and did his song. Remember, it took my shirt off and shit. Uh, shit went crazy, uh, nigga. That shit was one of the biggest. Uh, huh? Absolutely. Bro. That shit changed, bro. Hey, that shit man. changed everything, hey, bro. Bro, the first time, <laughs> the first time, yeah, the first time I, I booked Doughboy on the show, I used to come back to second headlining shows for years. Uh, 
<laughs> until until these niggas just soaked up all the comedy fans. <laughs> I was like, I've been going too long. Niggas is going to Lance Woods and them niggas is running sack now. <laughs> it's different now. Lance Woods and Andre Bailey and them was running sack, nigga. I, I, I ain't been sack in a minute. I've been performing yeah. sacks since like 2016. But I was about good eight years. I was selling out shows in sack, right? And I put you up on that show. And I that out on J Street. Uh, uh, Harlow. 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 You know, Harlow. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. bitch was thick, too. Bigger. That motherfucker was sold Bigger. out damn near. Shit was crazy. And Doughboy went on stage, man. First of all, uh, shout out to Patrick J. Yeah. The homie, homie. Yeah, Pat, Patrick J is a homie. I don't give a fuck what none of y'all say about yeah, my nigga. Patrick, nigga, Patrick J, J, J. is the bro. That's my homie right That's there. That's the homie. Back then, man, I ain't seen Patrick J do comedy in years. It's been a minute. But Patrick J used to go on stage, bro. And <laughs> I could watch grass grow and have a better time. <laughs> But you know what though? I call put, you, I, you, I call put that fool up every time I, I see him. Cause he's such a solid nigga. I don't give a fuck. I just get to watch him grow. I used to call him the Unabomber, man. Yeah. <laughs> you need a homie though. You gotta keep putting the homie up. Though, no matter what. Unabomber. Yeah. I put those glasses on right now. I look like Unabomber. Yeah. The Unabomber. He was my nigga though. He was always a cool yeah, nigga though. Patrick Still a cool J. nigga. Out. Ten thousand flyers. Nigga. Solid nigga. On that motorcycle. Solid nigga. Solid brother. I'll keep. I'll stay putting Patrick J. Up. Oh yeah, that's the homie. And then you went up uh, and destroyed that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and then on top of that, got naked. <laughs> and I came out there and just stood there for like three minutes without moving while these people just laughed their ass off. <laughs> yeah. That shit was crazy, man. I went in on your ass that Absolutely, night, Absolutely, but you I taught me so much about happened. comedy, man, and just how to do this shit, man. You gave me so much game, man. That's man. what I'm saying. Remember that? You remember that Stingray joke I did? Which one? Uh, I think I did that joke on on, on, on Martin Lawrence, thing. but I had that joke already in my hip pocket mm -hmm. about about my cousin who lost uh, uh, 158 pounds. Like only be in the pool and like had, a stingray. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I did that joke after you walked out stage, and man, I, that I had people running around, like running around. Running <laughs> You know how you know how back there you know how a lot of you when you in the hood and you doing hood shows man and, uh, and you throw a bomb out there man and everybody cry and laugh but sometimes it's so funny motherfucker get up and start running <laughs> nigga it looks like roaches when you turn the light on nigga that was the times nigga that was that's fire. when I was like nigga I'm going to L A fuck it like it was yeah. it was not too long after that I was like nigga I'm out nigga I'm I'm, I'm yeah. out of here nigga but nigga like we we had a cool little you know what show that was what's up man uh. I used to, uh, I used, to, I used to open for Damon Wayans, mm -hmm. and so when I was when I was featuring for him, uh, uh, that was when Damon Jr. had started doing stand. -up. I was just about to say that he came and did it way That's back what then. I was saying that because he had did like Bad Boys of Comedy show. back then. Not He's yet. hilarious. Not yet though. Uh, okay. This is when he first way way doing back, comedy. yeah. So so um, so I was like, okay, cool. I'm gonna so I took him on the road. Just to get on the road and see how the road is. Mm -hmm. And so the way we did it was Damon Jr. Damon Sr.'s name is such so iconic. Mm -hmm. You know, Harlow's whole we had like 275 people in Harlow's. Mm -hmm. Damon Jr. sold all them tickets. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? People say, Damon Wayans Jr. What? I remember being on that show. Boom. That shit sold out. That's when the was out. That was that night. Mm -hmm. That was that night. Damon Jr. sold out all them tickets, yo. It was crazy. It was crazy. Nigga, yo. shit was and so, mad. so I said, so I booked a few shows and then so Damon, so I hosted the show and Damon Jr. featured in Tony Roberts closed. Tony so, Roberts is such a yeah. Geez. And so that was that show when you yeah. got naked. I'm That's like, what I'm saying. You just put me on shit way back then. No, because any show that I do, like I used to run a show called, uh, I used to run a show in Phoenix mm -hmm. at Stand Up Live, 650 people, Damn. once a month, sold it out every month, right? Uh huh. Called the Soul Food Comedy Show. I ran that show for four years with Dave Chambers, HYB Entertainment, Phoenix, Inter uh, Phoenix, Arizona, right? Mm -hmm. And so every show I do in another city. I put the locals up mm -hmm. because number one is when it's, it might be the biggest show of that month hit the city. That's an urban show that they can, that they can go on. I always invite them to the show, give them tickets and shit. Because when all the locals are going to the show, they telling everybody where they're going and what they're doing that night. Uh huh. So it's free promotion, right? From the comedy community. Got it. And I always put comics from the community on stage because up in Sac, all we had was punchline at the time when I was coming up. 
And a lot of times when big name comics come, it'd be so packed, they wouldn't even let us in mm -hmm. to even watch. Right. We couldn't even go in. Mm -hmm. So that I used to feel, you know, and then I became a regular there and I started doing shows there. And I would always like let the comics in and put the comics up because I remember how I felt. Mm -hmm. Right. So, um, nigga, I'm not going to come to your city and, and, and sell out a comedy show. And I got two dope comics or one, two dope comics. One of them might be a girl, which I love having. Right. Especially locals when I go to another city, I put the chick up. Right. I put the, the, the dopest female up and the dopest guy up. Mm -hmm. Because that's their comedy community. They're right. the ones that's doing comedy in these bars and opening these shows and stuff like that and keeping that local comedy going in that community. So and that, it helps them too because they yeah. get to build with. And that's what you were doing for, you know, even cats like me back then. Like you introduced me to a lot of these cats that I know. So I knew a lot of people coming to LA because yeah. the shows you used to book me on. But then when I first got to LA, the only person I knew was Guy Tori. Right. And Guy Tori, like, welcomed me. Like, mm -hmm. come on, nigga, jump in. Right. So I, I, so I learned. To, you know, and that made me feel great. So right. I, I learned by, you know, how I was treated. Right. And no, what see, not to do by how I was treated. Right. CT was very instrumental when I first came out here. Yeah. Like it put me under his wing, like kind of taking me out, like just showing me a lot. Because it, it you damn near need like a tour guide uh -huh. when you come out here. Because it can be a little intimidating. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I like where you're going with this. I'm already feeling where you're going. Watching this nigga yeah, but there's a lot of guys, man, that are that are doing really well. Yeah. That that you know, and because I remember like because Tony Rock does really well with like uh -huh. you know supporting the comedy community. Yeah, he shoots his podcast here. Shout oh, out to oh, Tony Rock. Really? Yeah, he shoots yeah, it right there. Yeah. Like you know, Joe Fox is on tour with him. Yeah, they are. Shout him. out to Joe Fox. All three of them. Yeah. They have a, it's called Live from the Green Room. They shoot man, every Tuesday. I, yeah. I, I I used to put Joe Fox on all my shows because he would do my flyers. Yeah, Joe Fox such a cool nigga. Man. I love Joe, man. He's such a cool nigga. Every so flyer cool. you see me when I produce, that's a Joe Fox flyer. Yeah, yeah. All of them. Yeah. Solid yeah. dude. Tony, so too. I was yeah. like, I throw you on the show, Joe. I'll pay him for the spot and everything. Mm. But I was like, can you do this flyer? I was like, I only got $75. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right, I'll do it. Yeah, Joe, Joe, Joe. <laughs> yep, so, you know, Joe's, Joe's a talented guy, man. Yeah. Good dude. Solid man. dude, man. Yeah, so. I remember it was Sydney, Sydney Castile. Shout out to Sydney. Sydney Castile had first started doing comedy, right? And Sydney Castile was like an all around just a nice guy, right? Yes. And Sydney went on, Sydney used to feature for Tony Rock. And I remember when Sydney first started going on the road with Tony, right? And for about a year, then I saw Sydney again. He was a totally different comic. Mm -hmm. He was a totally different comic. So I. Tony Rock, man. Tony Rock is so cool, bro. Yeah, he be showing love. Oh, man. Always been like that. Yeah. I'm at him I, I remember him. Sydney's growth. Like, right. I remember watching him from, you know, seeing him and crack him up all the time. And then he started going on the road featured for Tony Rock and really watching and learning. And I know, like, and then I seen him again and Sydney was like the beginning of who he is now. Beast. Dope with the pen, too. That's a, that's super, super talented. Yeah. I think with just his confidence. Yeah. I think when he but got he down, his, down that road, and he Tony, puts his he puts his reps up. He kind of found his voice a little more, and it's kind. Of, when I seen him again, Oops. he was much, much. He was he was like, I was like, oh okay, okay, yeah. okay. Nigga be putting in them reps though, like he yeah. put that work in. Yeah. Got you. The edible just started edibling. You get a gummy edible. I took a lot. Huh? One edible. We ate them all. You, I mean, you can have some of those crackers. They're nasty, though. Yeah. But go ahead. Oh, the dog food? You said they, the I mean, dog? Yeah, but they just... I had some dog food before. They just don't taste good. You but know yeah. why I ate it? God. Because I used to, when I was a kid, I used to love making nachos. Ah, and every time I used to use them canned chili beans, you know when you, you pour use them dog out. food for some, no, not the oh. wet food. no, 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 oh. no, oh, okay. no. But the canned chili beans, like you know, mm -hmm. that you get in the store. Yeah. I, I will when before I heat them up. When you pour them at the can, I'd be like, this should look just like dog food. <laughs> <laughs> just like dog food. <laughs> I tried a dog biscuit so before. It wasn't one, so bad. One day I, I, I did a taste test on the, on some dog food. Yeah. How did you feel about it? 
it didn't taste a whole lot different than the chili. <laughs> <laughs> it really didn't, man. Either that's some high end dog food or some shitty Bro, chili. If somebody, <laughs> if somebody made you some chili with dog food and just put like some taco seasoning and shit in there, you would not know you eating dog food. <laughs> we should do that shit. <laughs> yeah. Y'all wanna, y'all wanna have, you wanna serve up, so you have a comedy show and give out free dog food nachos. <laughs> We have an open bar, get everybody real drunk, and then serve up them dog food nachos. <laughs> and just watch everybody eat that dog food. Dog food nachos. Yeah. That's I bet you if we was in a zombie apocalypse, nigga, and we ran out of food and I ate some dog food nachos, y'all fuck that shit up. I bet you would. You'd be like, you would come in late and your mustache would be turned into a whole scraggly ass beard. You'd be like, yo, ain't all the dog food. You'd think, this is your Time you ain't all goddamn dog food for me. Fuck! Bitch, goddamn! Say, man, shit. Say me some fucking dog food next time. Y'all didn't even tell me I was having dog food tonight. And dog food is the best shit on the market. During the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> So what's the vibe, man? If you had to to describe a vibe for how you feeling today, how you feel, like just in a word, just to describe it. Well, you know, Doughboy, I like to write love songs. <laughs> okay. And love songs. Um, you there we know, go. I think you know that's where you know my my true my true skill and soul lies is in the uh, wordsmanship and. Uh, so just uh, just love songs. You want to talk about love? Yeah. There we go. Love. So how about this? I got to, okay, go with me here, uh, uh, YDB. So he wants to talk about love, right? That's how he feels, right? Why not? No, no, no. Go here, yeah, got you. So I'm on the other end of it, like chaos. So what I'm saying is, what about we bridge it, lovely chaos? Like, you, he could, you know, talk about the love. Talk about, you know what I'm saying? My, my flip side of it is just, so that's the, the 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 undertones that I want the beat to be like. I want this to feel like lovely chaos. You see what okay, I'm saying? Okay, so how about so I'll sing something and then what you rapping is the answer to that. There we go. So like so just um and then but it sounds like it's gonna be a love song. Okay. But it's not. Right. There we go. It's a I fucking hate you. You fucking don't take accountability for Lovely Chaos. Self. There we go. Yeah. Lovely so, Chaos. I like that. It sounds all all melodic and sweet at first. And then I'll come you in there and talk that shit. All the reasons why you ain't fucking with this bitch. No there we go. Boom. Come on. There we go. Lovely Chaos. I like it. You you ready for the you you, you got what you need for the artwork, uh, Clue? <clears throat> Um, I need some uh, pictures. Pictures, but yeah. All right, can you hop out real quick, uh, Esau, so you can take a picture of you? <clears throat> I'm interested to see how this uh, artwork's gonna look. I need a new picture. That picture I took earlier. Not it. No. I hate when I don't know where the the effects are right off hand. Let me see. <laughs> Wild. Yeah. 
This shit is cold, bro. I like this. Oh, Jesse, race for you again? Yeah, I don't know. It's been doing weird stuff. Yeah, we're going to have to fire on it. So tell the people uh, what you're working on exactly right now. Why Dizzle? I had to. I had to. I don't have a mic. Yeah. I'll I'll do it in a second. Is this one live? All right, cool. So essentially, I had to re. I'm a little bit backtracking because the uh, FL studio crashed. Which it you know does from time to time, so I'm just going back and redoing that lead uh, synthesizer that I had in there a second ago. do is clone it clone the melody and then shoot it up an octave clone it again
Some reason. And you know what? During the pandemic, I was on this app, but it don't exist anymore. That's crazy. It's called Voice. Mm -hmm. did, did you ever hear that? No. It was all over the world. We had producers on there and everything. And there was this. There's this songwriter from London. This mm -hmm. this young this young kid from London. Mm -hmm. Pen is bananas. So I was listening to a couple of his songs, and then I flipped them, mm -hmm. and I added to them. You know what I mean? And then I put them on the thing, and like he loved it, mm -hmm. right? So, but he's like, I'm a songwriter, and I was like, well, some of the people I know, I was like, well, if I could record like some of these joints, so I get some people on them. But he's like, he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. So I was like, okay, cool. So I probably got a half a dozen. Some they're dope though too. Oh, so so it's like not this one, but right. you know. No, I'm saying we got a studio here. You you man, you family, so you know. Yeah, as long as we list yeah. him on the writers. It's all lit. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, we do. Eddie Pop. Yeah, shout out to Eddie Pop. You can start playing with, so, hey, if he starts playing with melodies, is he going to throw you, or you, you want us to just not throw melodies right now? No, nah, not right now. Wait till, okay. we, wait till we get, wait till the, yeah. wait till the finished product, the Picasso. Yeah. Mirka the Picasso. Mirka the Picasso. We got brownie bites. What's that? Regular that's right. Okay. About the only reason I'll eat some brownie bites is if it got some witty weed in it. <laughs> <laughs> the edibles are doing their thing. Y'all ate all the good tasting one time. Yeah. You don't feel this shit, Whitey B? Let me see the dog biscuits. Let me no. see the dog biscuits. I don't feel it. They nasty? Yeah, they're no. disgusting. Oh, yeah, those are. They taste like shoes. I, yeah, they taste like the worst type of anything that could be made into an edible substance. But I got a Red Bull. I've been drinking too much Red Bull. I need to chill out. <laughs> I've been watching the show. I'm like, nigga, uh, chill. <laughs> yeah. Ah. That's nasty. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You see? This ain't that good either. You know what this tastes like? Shoes. This space like space shuttle food. <laughs> <laughs> this is what them motherfuckers got. I bet you they shit tastes way better. Oh, I ain't gonna lie they probably got them packages because they done spent so much money on the space shuttle. They probably got them little packages that just look like a ball of clay. This shit tastes exactly like steak and potatoes. I bet. I'm not gonna lie though. I've always been curious. Here, about... you can take this. You can take this. <laughs> you know what? I ain't gonna lie. You know what I've always wanted to taste? I'm about to ask. You know what? Like, I, bro, I, is this dog food though? I think that's real oh. dog food. Like, you know, they got, they're like, fucking with us. 
They no. got edible food for your dogs. Nigga, he would not give me no dog food. But maybe mm-hmm. it was on accident. No, he no. was just a thing. He gave us some These dog shits are gross. Biscuit, bro. That's why they're free. <laughs> That's why he Even gave, if they are, be yeah, that as it may. He didn't, he didn't give them to you. He got rid of them motherfuckers. <laughs> he said, oh, fine. That's the difference. When you give somebody something, it's something that, you know, she's going to cherish. That's yeah, wild. You're like, you're like, I get it, I get it. You know what I'm saying? It's like hooking your homeboy up with a bitch who you know got problems. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you're like, oh, man, you know, I was just trying to do you a bit. Really, bro? <laughs> you know she's fighting her sleep. I don't get rid of that shit. That ringing? Yeah, like extra ring. You know what I've always been curious about? What? You know how the military, they got those prepackaged meals that they could eat mm-hmm. in combat? Mm hmm. Oh, you want to try one? Really? They be having like spaghetti and different types of stuff, like pot roast, I think. Mm hmm. I just be wanting to try it. Why? To see if it's good. I'd be afraid to eat military food. <laughs> no, I'm talking about the stuff. All food is military food. I know, but you know, they, they got to have stuff that, where they got to maybe be out, you know, for a long time. All food is military food. Is it? Yeah, it's USDA. Okay. Government regulated But you can't, we can't, all, we can't all preserve, cause I'm talking about the, the food that has to be preserved for a very long time. They they yeah. Put some hamburger, right. put some hamburger buns in your refrigerator and see how long it takes to mold. Tell this nigga that goofy nigga, situation. Nigga, they won't mold. Tell me if you ever done this. This goofy nigga keep trying to tell me to do this shit. Tell that nigga the goofy shit you keep trying to get eat with hamburger patties. You, you like Kawhi food? Hawaiian food? Yeah. Like, like pineapples on pizza? No, 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 no. like, like, um. I like pineapples on Like, you ever go to a Hawaiian restaurant? I don't know. I've been high a lot of Like, it'd be like the Hawaiian barbecue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 right? Yeah. You ever get this thing called Locomoco? No. Okay. I remember shit on the menu. So what it is, is it's white rice mm-hmm. with a hamburger patty. Okay. Eggs. Yeah. Smothered in gravy. Okay. What I do is, I just omit the eggs because I don't like... Why? I don't know. Sometimes I just don't even want eggs. Like, I don't know. It's just like... You know, so he just puts hamburger. So I just put with hamburger gravy. on rice with gravy. And he thinks it's Man, like there's th- a lot of names for that. What they call it? Dirty rice in Jamaica. Uh, well, no, the, the... ain't nothing but ra- it's, it's poor people food. <laughs> <laughs> you take you some rice me? and you take some rice. You take some, some white rice. Beef. You take some ground <laughs> beef. Put that shit in the rice and eat it. You eat it. Is that dirty rice? Is that that's that what just busting, yeah, basically. <laughs> Well, not I mean dirty rice, like you know, like this nigga takes an actual hamburger patty and puts gravy on it. I put gravy on it when no, I eat it. No, call him weird with me. People put gravy on their rice, mm-hmm. and it got meat in it. It's just, it's just yeah, crunched up. Yeah, it's just crunched up. So instead of crunching, I just got the whole thing, the whole patty. I put, put gravy on their steak. I put gravy on my steak all the time. Just like rice. We making steaks next week. You definitely. Here. You don't want to yep. have a steak make cook-off? I'm down. I'll, 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 I'll rook. You I'll don't know how to. I'll whoop your ass on the steak. Hey, man, all right. How you going to tell a motherfucker who done lost 100 pounds <laughs> he can't cook? <laughs> Nigga, he probably know how to make human meat delicious. <laughs> he probably cook both of us and tell people and put us in nachos. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Nigga yeah. nachos? Nigga nachos. <laughs> you know what I used to call nigga nachos? The nachos that at black people house be having all different kind of meat except for what Mexican meat put in it. So Mexicans put like either chorizo or ground beef or something on the Mexican menu for nachos. But no, nah, niggas want to put lamb <laughs> Mm-hmm. Short ribs. It's like Wag short you. ribs ain't supposed to go on nachos, motherfucker. You don't need nachos with short ribs. They're already short ribs. Nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Who's like, let's have beef brisket nachos. <laughs> Nigga. You don't need nachos with beef brisket. It's already beef brisket, bitch. Beef brisket nachos, you disrespecting the beef brisket, and you got the nachos is like, I'm supposed to be an Uber XL. What y'all doing picking me up in the black? I'm a prostitute. I'm, I'm low in food. Beef brisket nachos? Nigga, that doesn't sound like nigga some nachos. Shit. Yeah, like nigga tacos. <laughs> beef brisket tacos. Beef brisket tacos. <laughs> I love it. You know the shit I just ate at uh, KFC? Shit called a pizza. You ever had it? Wow, no, I ain't ate a KFC in about 15 years. It's, I had it two days ago. It's two chicken breasts fried 
with marinara sauce, cheese, and pepperoni. Your, your weight loss is like a game of tennis. <laughs> <laughs> you work out and then go to KFC. <laughs> work out and go to KFC. Work out and go to KFC. I break it even. I was like, nigga, this is, you on a treadmill right now. <laughs> you going fast and nowhere. <laughs> Oh, man. But you look great, man. Thanks, man. Man, when I met you when you was getting naked, you was twice that size. Absolutely. I'm not damn near five. He was. Months. He knocked the fuck. That's still trying to knock a bitch, though. That's the crazy day, man. Doughboy. And I should be like, it's the confidence. <laughs> this nigga is way more confident than me. That time when I told you last up after you took your shirt off, I was jealous. <laughs> I've never been that confident a day in my life. I'm the shy kid nigga, I was that, that 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 retreated in inward. Nigga, I was, so watching you take your shirt off, I'm like, man, nigga, I, this I was nigga coming out like, that. I was coming out that shirt like I was supposed Bro, to. <laughs> we should go on tour and call it Braver Than You, nigga. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah, hell yeah. Let's do it. We, we got a, we got a, 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 we got a 290 pound stripper in the, in the crew. <laughs> and bitches love you. My stripper name will be Paperweight. Paperweight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this ain't gonna be hard. Yeah. My, 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 if I was a stripper, my stripper name would be Who Knew. <laughs> who Knew? Yeah, that's what the bitches would say. Ooh, who knew? <laughs> <laughs> my stripper name would be Who Knew. What do you mean Who Knew? That's what the bitches say when I get naked. Ooh. <laughs> who Knew? Doom, 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 doo, doo, doom, doom, doo, doom. You don't have to stay glued to that idea that we had. Oh, you can okay. do it wherever you want with it. Because the beat's changing as he's making it.
liking what I'm hearing, play up. Where you at, Clo? Is it weed in there or not? Nah, I'm working on the uh, album cover. You want me to roll the blunt? I'm putting in drums. I wanted you to talk that to the people so they know what's going on. We got quiet time right now. I know, right? Well, no, no, no. This, we, we post this as it's is, but, but a lot of times he's explaining to the oh, audience at home. It's live, yeah. Everything is live, yeah. <laughs> Poppy should have told you that. <laughs> See what it says? Some crazy shit. Fuck yeah. all these niggas. I, I, went, back, back. I, I, I went back inside. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all was watching me, I was like, I done zoned out. <laughs> Man, oh, been live the whole I mean, what? Been the whole, nigga, this, that's why it's, this is the screen. This, the live yeah, you, well, they was about to watch me take a nap in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm leaving to the only slow jam sitting here with two grown ass <laughs> men. Yeah. I, I was about to retreat. I thought you do the whole time. Yeah, we got a live audience today. If oh, y'all got man. any questions for Esau, put him in the chat. Hey, man, he didn't tell me that I, I we thought, had a. I man. thought you watched the show before. I sent it to you. I man. did. It's a live show. <laughs> Yeah, you sent me a recording of a live show. No, the show is live. Oh. Yeah. But I probably should have explained that better. Man, but you know it's all good. Yeah. Ooh. At least I didn't fall asleep. Tell you something. <laughs> Doughboy is the host of the show. I have the host of the show. I gotta sit up and say something. Yeah. So, um, what you got going this weekend? It's the drums. Playing? It's the drums. The drums take you back to Africa. You know what I'm saying? Let me fuck around and hypnotize a motherfucker. How long you been singing? That's how you, um, <clears throat> I don't know. They just don't know. You got, a, you got an amazing voice. I've been uh, doing impersonations of singers my whole life. When I was a little boy, I could do all Michael Jackson songs. 
That sound like just like Michael Jackson. <laughs> Do you ever have a voice that you like when you sing like that's your shit? Like like you like yeah. your own style? That's my own regular voice. Gotcha. Okay. But the crazy thing is like, you know, I I never had no voice lessons or no, been in no choir or nothing like that. So and to a probably a professional singer, it probably sound like that to them. But you know, hey, you who's a hit. professional singer? Yeah, you got an amazing voice. Thank you, brother. We're gonna make a hit right now, live in front of the people. Motherfuckers don't be seeing shit like this. This is different. Shit. Yeah, this is like that. Uh, what's the dude with the um, uh, uh, Masago? Masaggio? Masago? I, I don't want to fuck his name. Up, you know what I'm saying? He might be. He might have anger management issues. <laughs> Find that little motherfucker. That's right, motherfucker. Keep fucking my name. Up. <laughs> Next thing I know, I'm getting stole on. <laughs> I come off stage. You remember me, motherfucker? Who? Is it's me. Yeah, it's Masaggio. <laughs> I say, whoa. He went to juvenile hall like my brother. <laughs> yeah. He's dope though. When they when they made the video and they made the song up as they was playing it and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Eight oh eight bass. What was the first eight oh eight song that you had with like a cold ass eight oh eight bass line in the first song you ever heard? Freaky Tales, I think. Freaky Tales? Ugh. Uh, you wanna hear a crazy ass story? I bought a Freaky Tales cassette tape. The white tape with the black letters with the Freaky Tales on there? I bought that at Lake Merritt. Um, what's the thing they used to have at Lake Merritt every year? Was it a fish fry or some shit? Like no, that? like it was this big thing where they used to have side shows with old school cars oh, doing shit. donuts. That was in the 90s. I remember back the, back in the day when they used to sell E-40 tapes. They used to right. sell the federal tapes. Yeah. You guys like, no nigga, like, you can buy the federal tape. Bro, I, I like bought the tape from Too Short. At, at the trunk of his Seville. Them niggas really started that independent hustle shit. Yeah. 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 So yeah, you from sack, like you a sack rapper. Yeah, you know that. Yeah, yeah. You know, you remember like Brother Lynch hung in there? Absolutely. I had him in math class. For real? Wow, yeah, I that's used to, crazy. I used to drop him off at the school. Brother Lynch. Yeah. Brother Lynch is, is a talented motherfucker. That's Kev. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had Kev in a couple of classes. Yeah. I was in high school with Brother Lynch hung. So I like, you know, Mac Dre and all them dudes was from the Bay, but they was all like in that whole little thing. So like, I remember them dudes from like when I was 15, 14, before anybody was like famous or anything. You know what I mean, I used to, I used to, I used to promote a nightclub in Sac with four of my friends called Brandon's, downtown Sac, across the street from the Capitol. And uh, we, uh, one year before this dude was like big and famous and everything. Uh, we booked our talent for New Year's. Guess who it was? It was Tupac, nigga. Fuck. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. So we, we was like young. Yeah. We was Pac back in the day. Yep. And he had a and he had a he had a group. And I don't know who these kids are, but they're grown men now. They're probably in their thirties, at least. But he had this kid group with him. And remember back in the day? Remember when Bell, when uh, Michael Bivens had um, ABC? Tupac had a kid group from Oakland called XYZ. And he brought them with him. Where they are? Yeah! And I don't know whatever happened to them kids, but what's up, XYZ? Nigga, that's from crazy. the Bay. That's crazy. Come on, let me, let me hear this song. Let me say
start putting together uh, melodies in your head or lyrics in your head, whatever you want to do. You can do a verse, a hook, whatever you want to do. Already knows where he's going before this shit happens. I, I, I mean, not even know. Honestly, I made the, as soon as you said John Legend, Kanye West, I had already made the beat in my head. It's it's always an honor to watch you work, man. Cause I I, I don't be no I don't be seeing this when you be starting. I be excited. That's what, oh, oh, let me leave you alone. I know you just need to know, guys. I'll shut. Nah, this is the moment where no, this oh, is one of those like I be needing space to talk because I'm right. doing something that doesn't require active like sound playing. You fuck with the shit so far. I right, keep so? forgetting that we live. I'm just ah, like I'm lies. watching. I know. Yeah. I, I really like this sample. Yeah, sample's fire. Because you know what sample I really like? I don't know if you heard this song, but that, ooh, what you say? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you know, what you say? You know the skit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's just so funny. My God, I'm getting shot. That's one of the things that's never really that gonna, funny. I can really, always watch that. We're the like, same person. Years. I love that shit. Ooh, what time. you say? Ooh, what yeah. you say? Ooh, what you say? That shit is. We gonna watch that shit. That's after, a different type. After we after this live, we're gonna watch oh, it. Man. You ever be that person who don't know what they're talking about? Hey, I'm, that's me. I'm with yeah. you right now too. We gotta show them. I have no I idea. Look and I'm like, we gonna cry. I'm, I'm like, I'm like, I'm, I'm like, shit right now, bro. <laughs> I feel the edibles, but it's a good high. It's a great high. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, they don't have any. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eat them all. Give me the dog biscuits. Don't nobody want. I don't want the dog biscuits. You can never get high enough to enjoy those. I mean, you sometimes you get man. You might get drunk enough. But. No, never. You eat them and you're drunk. You gonna throw up everything else in your stomach. Oh God. Yeah, that's not the gun, but it's definitely the trigger. Oh. <laughs> it's a trigger to the bad a bad night. Hey, oh, you eat one of those, you be like, oh, it's over. I don't know if they have like. Oh no, I'm good. Gotcha. They drinking ain't for me, man. I'm a vampire when it comes out. That's why I had to stop drinking because I was day drinking. Now. I'm a vam I'm a vampire, and instead of eating niggas, I drink whiskey. That's the only reason why I don't bite people and drink their blood. I said, you know that. Give me a Jack Daniels. And go. People be talking to their computers like it's a lie. You motherfucker! Again! Again, bitch! This is what you want to do? You want to make me do this to you? A new hard drive. Nah, it's something with the FL. Like, I don't want to talk about it. Okay. 
I don't know what you're talking about anyways. We wouldn't have understood. Yeah. I really like that sample, though. Yeah. The sample's fire. It takes it to a totally different place. You ever had somebody pour their heart out to you in another language that you don't understand? You just be like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 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 like, yeah, man. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to listen. Sometimes you just got to be an ear. Yeah. I, like I got a homeboy, an African man. He would like have anxiety, and he would get all worked up, and his motherfucker would start yelling and screaming in his native tongue. And he don't realize it. <laughs> like I don't know what you just said. Dog. <laughs> we yeah. laugh about that all the time. I seen Michael Blackson playing Madden one time, and somebody was smacking him, and he got he was getting real mad, man. I th- did you play Michael? And he started cussing him out. In, uh, in a different language? Yeah. It was hilarious. <laughs> did you bring Michael Blackson to the city back then? Somebody brought him. Did I bring Michael Blackson? It was either you or Kwame. I don't know. I don't think it was me. I, I worked with Michael Blackson several times. Yeah. I, I don't think I ever brought him to SAC, though. Yeah. He, he I might have brought him to Phoenix. I was on a show with him. Phoenix, I was on a show with him. It's okay, now that wasn't my show. It was super long ago, yeah. Really? Super long ago. Michael Blackson, hella fun to work with. Uh, funny nigga. Man. The beast done. You ever, you, no, I had to. I gotta do people, something. People don't know if that's a real accent or not. Is it? It's real. I don't know. Huh? I said, that's dope. Yeah, this is a real accent. He really speaks with the accent. He can speak without it, though. Yeah. And you won't even be able to tell. He could trick you if you want. I be watching people like work different programs like sound editing and film editing and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Maybe going through that stuff you, so can fast. You, can you hand me this? Uh, why do we? I don't want to reach out between this cord. Oh, this right here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Let me see. You know what I'm, I'm saying? Better. You can tell when somebody good or something. Yeah, this nigga's good. When they've been doing it a long time. He ain't, good. he ain't good at much else, though. Uh, hey, sometimes if you're good at the right thing, you ain't got to be good at no, shit he else. He can't chew gum and walk. Yeah. That nigga either stop or bite his tongue. I, I bet LeBron James would make a horrible cashier. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> can you imagine you have a barber who's 6'8"? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I used to own a barbershop, man. Niggas would be like, man, you know, if I was 6'8", I'd be in the league. I'm like, no, if you were 6'8", you'd be a taller version of the nigga that you is right now. <laughs> <laughs> you'd be a 6'8", male man. <laughs> That's it. Nigga, <laughs> 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 if I was 7' tall, I'd be in the league. No, nigga. <laughs> you'd be a 7' tall Uber driver. That's what you would be, bro. Uber XL, face You know what I mean? 7' tall motherfuckers that can't play a lick of basketball. Yeah. And they, and they, they be talking about, man, you know, I just did play basketball because I was never interested in it. Shut your ass up. You couldn't do it. Stop lying, motherfucker. You, you, you got three left feet. I was always bad. People thought I would play football. I was trash. Yeah. Never good. Four play you Johnny. Put your ass on the line. Yeah, huh? four play Johnny and uh, Pop Warner. Hey, man. <laughs> not all, not just because big, do big don't mean he mean. Uh, they used to be this kid on my block. Well, he didn't live on my block. He lived about at the corner. So, like, when I was in the ninth grade, this motherfucker used to try to punk me all the time. Mm-hmm. I, I I went through hell, man. When, when when I was in eighth grade, this dude, he was already, like, 6'3". Were you still wearing grade. the suit in eighth grade? Nah. I got to ditch the suit in the sixth grade. <laughs> got so you in regular clothes now. I got, man, I got, like, when I was in the, in the sixth grade, the, well, there was this a, the teacher that was known for abuse, right? Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> Mr. Ramirez. Damn. So I had my hands on my desk, and I knew he saw me, so I already knew I was busted. So my homeboy, Arthur, was sitting next to me. He was like, here he come, here he come. So I know he was notorious. He had this yardstick. He would hit the thing, the thing, and the, the, the heavy-ass desktop would slam on your motherfucking hands, right? He was allowed to do this? I don't know. I, it's man, a different time. I'm 11 years old, man. No, I don't know what the right, fuck yeah, was allowed. Fuck, TF going on goddamn here. Goddamn school district mm-hmm. rules and shit. I'm a kid. But I knew I'd heard about him being crazy, right? So he hit the thing, I pulled my hands out, that slam, I said, ah, like that. I was, you know what I mean? I was a stuntman when I was a kid. I was like, ah, like that, <laughs> So he pulls the pin out of his thing and pokes me in the chest. He's like, you think you're so smart? Poked me in the chest, right? 
and I stood there. I was like, I was like, I ain't gonna cry in front of this motherfucker. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I just stood up and walked to the principal's office and told him, call my dad. <laughs> call my dad. <laughs> Brother Minister about to come up here. Shit got real? Shit got really real. Pops pulled up? Pops pulled up. Did he, did he check Mr. Ramirez? I don't know what happened in that office. But, but never... I went to a different school the next day. <laughs> he had to clean him up? I don't know. My dad went in that office and he was in there talking for about 30 minutes. And all I heard was my dad talking. It's a conversation. And one sided conversation. All my brothers still went. All my sisters. Oh, no, you might not be able to have this one. Oh, nah, nigga. <laughs> this is crazy. All my brothers and sisters still went to that school. Um, and I went to a different school. And the okay. bus came and picked me up at the corner every day. Hold on one second. Hold on. Hold that thought. So let's let's get music mode. Okay, start from the top. No, no, no. Let's, let me let me hear this, man. I still need like I'm still in. Like, oh, ah, yeah, okay. Go ahead. Almost, Keep going. I'm there. Almost there. I'm almost yeah, there. I, I, yeah, I'm yeah, hearing yeah. what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So then, so I used to get bused to a different school when I was in the sixth grade. So I went to a different school than my brothers and sisters, and so I didn't have to wear the suit. You said what? I didn't have to wear the suit no more. There you go. Right. So I was already. I made All Stars already twice on the Little League baseball team at Oak Park Little League. Okay. Right. So I was, I, 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 my, my team that was on was the Pirates. We took first place. We was undefeated for three years. Mm -hmm. I, and so my coach was the All Star team coach, and I played second base for three years, but I never played second base during All Star. I was a little phenom, right? Mm -hmm. So then, the, my mom's section eight kicked in. We moved to the South area from Oak Park. Mm -hmm. So I get to the ninth grade. The dude. Well, the bully lived at the corner and so he used to try to get me and choke me out and shit like that he's a big old motherfucker named dave right mm -hmm. so the way i got around him was he didn't know i played baseball i was just this new little motherfucker that lived around there so i used to find these dirt clots in the in the vacant lot i used to light his motherfucking ass up <laughs> from a man them dirt clots hit different they bust too they when bust they hit, hit you. Your ass. yeah i used to light his motherfucking ass up with dirt clots bro until he left me the fuck alone it took about a week Damn. i used to throw them dirt clots from about a block about a half the block away and it don't man i had to aim like a goddamn sniper with them motherfuckers and them motherfuckers was coming hard fast i played outfield nigga <laughs> Nigga, this shit is this crazy. Shit started. Nigga, this, this beat is crazy, my nigga. So when you're not talking that much, not that okay, all right. So, so they can hear everything as, as it was being made. Sure. So yeah, just start coming up with whatever melodies. I think I think you're clear to start fucking with melodies now. You can start fucking with it, YDB. Hell yeah. Okay, you can start fucking with your melodies for what we want to do for the hook. I want you to do a hook and a verse. You mind? Boy, I know he about to fire this joint up. I don't. Well, I'll try. Nah, come on. We go. We gonna we go clean this I'll shit up. Try. We gonna clean shit up in here. A hook and a verse. Hook and a verse. You write the verse. I'll sing it. We don't write nothing. We just gonna punch line for line. We just gonna come up line for line. Yeah, we're not. Yeah, we're okay, not. We're not okay. writing shit. Yeah. We about to fire this up. Free form improv. Mm -hmm. Yes, and never deny. It's some different shit. So what about this? So now we're just throwing concepts. Now we're just bouncing ideas. So mm -hmm. what you feel about this, YDB and Clue and audience? You ever look at life metaphorically? So think about me and bro, right? Because me and, uh, we're going to make this an exclusive song where we can talk about personal experiences, right? Shit that we that we see, right? Mm -hmm. So I know, you know, both of, you know, you and, uh, how long have you been doing comedy now? 20? Then a motherfucker. A long time, right? Yeah. A bunch of time, right? So I've been doing comedy now. 18 years. I moved to LA in 02. I moved to here in 09. And. You know what's crazy? I moved to LA in 02. I was on TV. 
TV in 04, and I was in a movie that dropped in 06. I was, I came out, came out like 06, so I didn't really realize how fast. I came out 09, I got, I started. I got Wildin' Out 2012, and then you I started You came here when? 09, three okay. years, yeah. did that, and then did the all deaf shit like 2014. Mm -hmm. So yeah. But no, so what I'm saying is Remember when man, I when I did Def Jam, I got I got Def the Jam. I did the uh reunion season. Yeah, yeah. But that was my first time on Def Jam. On the reunion season. Was that in 2016, 2017? When they brought it back. Yeah, I was there. Like the first when they first brought it back. When what, what year is that? Um Was that when we when, when Dave Chappelle, Cat was there, everybody? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was there. And I, I was no I was I was I did it when uh, Mike Epps hosted it when they first brought it back. And then they did another season and D.L. Hughley hosted No, you're second. talking about like 09 or 010 back then, man. That was yeah, like, nah, long time bro, ago. That was, yeah. Maybe 07 or 08. Like, that's yeah, that was like, oh, shit. So, so here's what I'm thinking about the concept for this. Something like that. Where we kind of both like, you know, career-wise, like niggas, like niggas is almost home. Like niggas is is damn near there where, we, you know, where, you know, where we trying to be at. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Niggas been after this shit for, you know what I'm saying? But uh -huh. niggas is, and it's just always proverbially like, nigga, Hard work paying off, getting mm -hmm. to this level, like you know what I'm saying. So that's the vibe I'm feeling. What you think, YDB? You you, you feel it, that? Love it, love it. Just for the energy of what that feels. So however you feel that lyric wise, or all we all we do is try to come up with one line at a time. So mm -hmm. I'm thinking some 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 almost home type of, you know, we both Sacramento's finest, like straight from Sacramento, like, you know. And there's so many talented people in Sac is ridiculous. Oh come on, man! Very very talented city. Shout out to Amber Bennett. She from Sacramento. I'm trying to think of just outlandish stuff now. You got me in my actual bag. This is my real bag. Man. The real bag. You are a bag. I got a bag on my face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm high as fuck. I know. Me too. I was like, you ain't feeling this shit? We are off a lot of drugs. <laughs> I, I didn't partake in the edible. I did. Why well, one little piece of that dog food bitch? Clue, how come you ain't said shit in 40 minutes? I'm doing graphics. Oh, so you can't talk and graph? Mm, not exotic. <laughs> hey, let's have this quick. Uh, I have a quick think piece. Okay, cool. Arguably, Bobby Brown's debut album. Mm hmm. Whatever it was called. What was it? What was the name of the album? Bobby Brown's? Was it Don't Be Cruel? What was it? It was Don't Be Cruel, wasn't it? Whatever was it was just called. A song? It was my prerogative. My prerogative. Oh, no, whatever it was. But arguably, mm -hmm. greatest RB album of all time. What would you say to that? What would you say to that? Because he had nothing but hits on it. Can you get. Um, conclusion. Yeah. Can you make a quick pause and can you pull up Bobby Brown well, first you know, album? It just depends on how you see music. No, no, no. I just want to tell you. I don't think we be realizing how many hits he had on there. Watch this. But you can't say of all time. Watch. P watch. So of all time, Clue. really, bro? Clue. Can you pull up the track of listing? Of all time. So you pull it up. Hold on. Of all time. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Of all time. So pull it up. Can you pull it up and put it on the graphics, please? On the on the on the thing. Of all I'm, time, yes, a, nigga. Of all time, oh, it ain't man. no other time to make he it about. Not the eighties. R&B while he was while he was in his heyday. I'm just saying he might have made the greatest R&B album of uh, all time. No. Okay, what would you say would constitute the greatest R&B album of all time? Come on, man. What are the requirements? Really? Bobby Brown. What are the requirements? Really? Fuck the requirements. No, there's got to be requirements so we can so we can. Ain't no numbers. But I'm just saying, what are the requirements? Does it have to what have... What that shit sound good? So does it have As to have... Single, does it have to have... Bobby does, Brown had a dope-ass debut album, but it wasn't. It wasn't okay, like did, you find, did, you find up, a, did you find a clue? Nah, probably bringing up someone else. Hold on. You ain't even old enough to be talking about You know about how to spell that. Bobby? B-O-B-B-Y. You, B -O -B -B you ain't old enough to be talking that reckless, bro. <laughs> that nigga said yes, bro. Nigga, you should have taken the edibles with us so you'll know how we you know, feel. I know. You on the edibles, now you're just being reckless. Nah, I'm not. Talking about Bobby Brown's first yeah, album crazy. was the best R&B <laughs> album of all time. Pull that shit up, nigga. Oh, man. You, you, you still can't find it? Was his first album called The Enlightenment? No, it's showing no, no, some white no, boy. No, no, no. Yeah, God I don't damn. know why I keep that bringing this up. That was Bobby Brown. Jesus. That was Robert Brown. This nigga over there spelling it B O B B I E. Yeah. Like, nigga, that's not no, how you spell it. That was my mama's name. <laughs> Hold on, man. Bobby Brown album. 
All right, here we go. Bless. Oh, you got it? So okay, pull it up. Here we go. First one is Girlfriend. Girlfriend, okay. Second song is You Ain't Been Loved. Okay, I don't think that's the album either. What's, okay, what's the third I think song? He, he might have had King an album Stage. out before. No, no, that's the third album then. Hold on, man. Let's take it. Hold on. I put first oh, okay, Debut on. album is King of Stage. Bam. No, hold on. Album. I think he did have an album. Uh, he might have had an album on. that went for Micah. Don't Be Cruel was the album. Jeez. Okay. Yeah, but that wasn't his first one. Okay, so. That yeah, was his don't first be, one. Yeah, Don't Be Cruel. But his first one was not the best okay. album of all time. Okay, okay. Really? this album. This he album. Just, what's this that, album. the second one? Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah, Teddy, don't Teddy, be, Riley, yeah. Teddy Riley came, had, Teddy Riley to the rescue? Yes, yeah, yeah, Don't Be Cruel. Uh-huh. My prerogative. Uh huh. Two. That's dude, dope songs too. He had Roni. Roni was a shit. Okay. Now he had. Hold on a second. I thought this had, is the king of R and B, Bobby Brown. He had Rock with you. Rock with you was the shit. He had Every Little Step. Every Little Step was one of the best songs okay. of the year. Wait, he has I'll Be Good to You. Would I you don't s- remember that one. Take it slow all day now. Wait. And then I think in between albums, between this album and the next album is when he came out with the Ghostbusters uh, soundtrack joint. Okay, maybe I overrated it and it wasn't the greatest album of all time. Uh, but he had a lot but of you hits know it though, it. But you know it He though. had a lot of but hits you, on But you it. didn't open your mouth though. Yeah. I, I mean, you can't be talking reckless and then take the shit back after you fact check yourself. Nah, man. He, he had a lot of oh, he had a lot of hits your on that motherfucker. Your game is weak. <laughs> <laughs> You pull out game is weak, motherfucker. <laughs> you can't be stroking and he'd be like, oh, oh, wait a minute. I don't want to correct it. <laughs> whoa, 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 what whoa, whoa. Oh. Clue, what's up, man? what I do? I'm trying to get you engaged with us, man. What do you got to say about things? I don't think Bobby Brown is anywhere near the I top. I love that, that album. That album was fire. That's what I think was uh, at that time, maybe uh, Keith Sweat had a better... I no, know. I don't know if Keith Sweat Nobody. debut album was, but right. first no, of all, he was always album. singing. First he was always singing album. like the he was old, scared. First, not that first album. Of all, no, he was always singing like he was scared. The but old you know, Keith nope. Sweat. Well, you got to think about it. This too, though, like wow, wow, Bobby Brown's wow. first album, like some of those songs was was produced by Teddy Riley, right? Right. And then, so by the time Teddy Riley got to Keith Sweat, he was probably a much more seasoned producer. The okay. same producer. That's Teddy Riley on Keith Sweat stuff too. I think, right? Yeah. Is Thriller the greatest R&B I album of all time? Had, you know how they... I was going to say that, but it's okay pop. So. It is kind of pop. Yeah. Hey, you know, Keith, Keith Sweat... Well, if you want to argue it. Keith Sweat and his song was telling girls that they might be young, but they ready. A lot of niggas what said a lot... What about? A lot of niggas were saying a lot of shit back then. Not there. a little girl, you a woman. Yeah. yeah. What? No, it was a lot of That's reckless... The no, there was you a lot of shit. You may be young, but you're ready. Girl, you are warm. And they said backstage, oh underage, man. adolescent. Uh, How you doing? Right. Fine. What was, She's what was going high. On in the 90s, like to do the bro. wild thing. What was going on in the 90s? Nigga, that nigga was wild. That's yeah. a wild lyric, man. Yeah. That was BBD. I know. That was wild. Man. No accusations, <laughs> just observations. Nice no, observations. That was a no, wild. These are just observations. It's a wild lyric. Yeah. I just think that that was just a different time, I guess. I don't know. I mean, wow. I don't know if the laws are any different. I don't know. Me either. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, no, nobody be getting mad at nobody neither. You comedians just be having conversations and making observations and stuff. And the next thing you know, the whole world mad at you. You know what I mean? Shout out to Jameson with the 999 super chat. Bang, bang, bang. Please place a word or a sl- or a slogan or a name in the chat, and it will be put in the song personally by Jabeta, me. Jameson, put something, put something in the chat that you want said. It could be a person, it could be a shout out, shout out, it could be a situation, whatever. I got you. This is what we do here, Esau. Got a lot of love for you, bro. Real I'm shit. Proud of you, brother. Come on, you know how we rocking. Sacramento love, you heard? You know how people be having. Um, oh, we could call this Sacramento love. We, yeah, you call it whatever you want to, man. Ooh, you, you Sacramento love. Hey, hey, you know how like people be having these rags to riches stories? Yeah. Like they be like damn near billionaire, you know? But they be like, you know what? I was coming up. Sacramento you know, love. I would eat for a week. Sacramento <laughs> love. So hey, shout so- outs to Ashley. She said Jameson is her dog. So speaking of which. Uh, in the artwork, we know we have a dog in there, so Jameson could be used Bang. 
asked for the dog's name. Tell her to send a picture of her dog. <laughs> if you want to send a picture of your dog, we'll put it in the artwork. <laughs> Can you make that happen, Clue? Uh, or is that too impossible? I mean, it, it, it could be possible, but... I mean, what do you think? I mean, What I don't kind want... of dog is that that's right there? Do you guys know dogs like that? It's like a doodle. Uh, doodle. Oh, that's Bobby the dog. Just rip it. That's Bobby the dog. Any way you could snap and grab it? Perfect. Yeah. Will it fit with the yeah, we got to. Yeah, we trust me. My niggas is dope, bro. Oh, what the? My niggas is cooks, bro. <laughs> I'm rolling with the best team in the game, bro. Like these two niggas. Niggas <laughs> crazy, bro. Yeah. It's a, and can we call it Sacramento Love instead of the other shit? You can still do whatever you want with the artwork. You ain't got to change that. But just call it Sacramento Love if that's you know what I'm saying. It's a golden doodle. Okay, that's what I needed. Sacramento love. So Sacramento hey man, love. So, 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 you're a comedian, right? You do yep. stand up. So, you know is there anybody like in your past high school, whatever, like when it come to Jonah or whatever, like this motherfucker, like you know? I know I didn't cook a lot of people, but is there anybody who you just every time you went up against this dude, like or this girl or whatever, you didn't have nothing for him? Yes, yes. This nigga, his name was Lamar, and he was a fat nigga. Uh -huh. But, like, he was like an invincible fat nigga, though. Mm -hmm. Like, nobody could get jokes off on him because he right. would shoot the jokes at himself. Right. He was cool, the bitches liked him. Like, mm -hmm. the nigga was my role model for real. And you, it, it, that nigga was a god out there. Like, the nigga was just, he was a fat nigga, but he was cool. And that's what, it taught me a lot about life, because I was like, oh, I could be a cool nigga, too. Mm -hmm. But when I used to, I used to try, though, Used to fall on my face, face all the time. When I was a kid, my next door neighbor Keith Keith Davis had sickle cell, right? Uh -huh. So he used to be sick all the time. So Keith used to like talk shit with reckless abandon. Mm -hmm. He was like, I don't give a fuck. I'm supposed to be dead anyway. So he was wild, mm -hmm. and I kind of learned that from Keith. Like, you better enjoy your shit while you got your shit. Come fuck on. this shit. And so Keith would talk so much shit. And kind of that's where I kind of came out of my shell a little bit. Keith lived right next door to me, mm -hmm. so I kind of, kind of Keith brought me out of my shell a little bit. So that's when, when I was in high school, it was like everybody against me. And then uh, I got shipped off to a, a continuation school. I went to American Legion for three months. Oh shit! So they say I was a distraction to the rest of the school. Hold on, hold off on that name. I still don't know what the name of this is. It's coming? I don't know yet. I don't oh. want to force it. I don't want to force it to be Sacramento Love though. Cause I don't just want to rap about yeah. Sacramento. So uh, they put me in them. You know how like they have those the, the special kids in the back of the school. Mm -hmm. So they put me back there for three months, and then they shipped me to American Legion, and then they sent me to Kennedy. Right. And I went then, to Kennedy my freshman year. Yeah. They sent me to Kennedy, and then I went back to uh, to Burbank, right? Mm -hmm. and, but while I was at Kennedy, there is this kid named Johnny Graham. Mm -hmm. I don't know where he is at now. Shout out to Johnny Graham. Cause I, I clicked into a group of friends that was friends with him. Mm -hmm. So I, I was kind of friends with him, but we had mutual friends. And when I tell you, bro, I, 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 will, I would cook everybody, but this nigga was Esau Kryptonite. Nigga, this nigga would kill me all the time. Bro. But I would be laughing too. No, the shit was so funny though. But I think sometimes I was like, damn, you know, I know like what kind of comedian I became. I wonder what kind of comedian this dude would have became if he, if you know, if he ever started doing stand up like I did. Wow. Wow. That's all it is. That dude Johnny Graham used to cook my shoes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I had no answer for him, for that dude. <laughs> Man, Nigga, this beat is crazy, my boy. All right, let's not even worry about it, hug. What we're gonna do is once we, once he finishes the beat. We just gonna turn on the mic and then you could just start just demoing shit out or just sing just whatever you feel. Oh, okay. It ain't gotta be nothing constructed or rehearsed or nothing. You ain't gotta write it down, just whatever the vibe is. And we'll catch it there. Cause I'm gonna just match your energy when I when I hop on the track. But nigga, I want you to go in that in that anthem. Well, I mean, definitely your Esau bag, but also grab some of that uh Anthony Hamilton and John uh, whoa, Legend bag. Whoa, Shut whoa, up. Nah. Anthony Hamilton and John Legend area of range. <laughs> so Jameson will be coming out in this artwork. It'll be yeah. a puppy Jameson, but it will be Jameson. 
That's what I drink sometimes. That's right. Jameson. Yeah, man, nobody rolling up no weed, huh? I'm out to right now. You know. You know. I cooked the beat. I'm good. Cook the weed. Can we get a round of applause for YDB? He did it again. He delivered again. So I just, hey, I just want you to put soul on this motherfucker, bro. Soul? Soul. I want you to go soulful, nigga. Stink, like. Make motherfuckers just twist their face when they hear that oh, shit. Okay, then let me... Let me. Yeah, getting that bad. You need water or anything? No. Okay. Water's always good. Okay. We, water. we shall get you some water. Give me two seconds. Yeah, that's fine. I've been smoking in here, so I gotta have me a motherfucker. Back in the day, I think like when I was a kid, remember when I was telling you that I like I went inward? Yeah. I didn't know, but I think I had like childhood depression. Okay. And so, Shout out to know Jameson with the super chat. With That's the super right. chat. She threw the $49.99 in the super chat. Jameson, Perfect. a.k.a. Ashley. Ashley! Is, this, is the GOAT. She threw $60 total. So Ashley gets to say whatever she wants on this track. Ashley, whatever you want to put on this track, let us know. We got you. This might be a track about Jameson now. <laughs> Hey man, you know, Jameson, Jameson was a seasoning for a, a, a lot of memories. <laughs> <laughs> All good memories. I'm a happy drunk. I'm, I'm not one of them violent motherfuckers. Me too. Be, you know, I'm a, I get goofy. Perfect. Perfect. Shout out Jameson. Shout out Jameson. Oh, that's love. Wow. Shout out Jameson. Oh, I'm going to talk about Jameson a lot. Give me a couple things about Jameson. Whiskey is Jameson. Okay, Jameson rapper, make your day. Ja okay. Jameson is a golden doodle. Golden doodle, okay. That's the type of dog Jameson is, a golden doodle. Right, hey, man, gonna, you know what? We're going to make this special for Jameson, you all right? Special for Jameson? So uh, they're bringing up the dog food nachos you guys talked about earlier. Oh, they made some dog food nachos for okay. us. Well, you, you so we you can grab whatever it. we want oh. out of the chat. It could be as silly or stupid as we want, bro. Yeah, it can oh, sound got, dope. You, they're you talking take about the lyrics out of the chat. If you want to, sometimes you could do whatever you want. <laughs> so um, they're talking about dog food nachos and Jameson. But listen, let me let me <laughs> let me be clear though. Let me be hold on. That's let me, funny. Let me be clear. Let me be clear. We can make. I can definitely sing a, a love song to the alcohol. Okay. And the weed. Hold on, this is what I'm saying. We can make a real record, and you know, throw some of these lines in there, and you know, what I'm saying. So it don't got to be a silly record. We ain't got to be that unless we want to. So I'm with whatever, whatever you want to, you know, whatever direction you want to go is cool. But you know, we don't have to be incumbent to anything. Yes, YDB. I was just gonna say that. Um, what were you gonna just say? The sample is talking. The about sample is talking about what? Some like. It's definitely talking about some you and me, so we can flip that to being like, you know, with the dog, with you and me. Me and my dog? Yeah. Okay. Damn, flip it both ways. That's a double entendre. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It could be whoa. a triple entendre yeah, with the, uh... Yeah, you're that's wild. Because the dog's hey, name's well, Jameson. Me about, if you're talking so about you how... Me, so how this is where the cooking if happens. You're talking about, so if you're talking about how your dog holds you down... Your dog. Right. And your dog could be as whatever. Long as, you, as long as you... As long as we make... As long as we make the, um... As long as we make the the wording yeah. word choice ambiguous, yeah. About so the dog, your dog could be anything. Can, but dog your dog can be your girlfriend, but see, your homeboy. Your dog could be. Your you home, can be married. Your home girl. You can be married and in the closet, and and this song is about your gay lover. Whoa. Well, I mean, they also uh, that yeah, exists. Yeah. That's real world yeah, shit. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, it might yeah. sound like like why you got to go there, Aries? Because the dog's because name there Jameson. It, is. it could also be. You know, man, of a Jamie. lot of people have significant others that is only to them. Mm -hmm. You know, people be poly and don't know it <laughs> all the time. All the time. See, the conversation get real. And everybody right. want to get quiet. No, my, ah. I was just saying whose phone. We just talking about the human experience. I was just saying whose phone is that. Yeah, I'm high. That's probably mine. Yeah, yeah. silence that. Baby. I'm way too high. I'm just Man. high, nigga. We took hella edibles, nigga. Hella edibles. Hella edibles. Hella edibles. 
I'm we, glad. I, I'm glad I didn't go to the edible. Can thing. we put more weed in the air, or is it gonna bother you? You can put as much weed in there as you want to. Just okay. don't put it in my bloodstream. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Got I can smoke all day because you know what? You can always be like, you know what? I'm good. That last inhale did it. Mm. But you know, when you got it in your stomach, you be like, ooh, I'm too high. But you don't know. You got half a candy bar left to digest, nigga. You know what I'm thinking about You're doing? You're saying like, ooh, I can't take no more. Would you, would you, would you call yourself a, 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 a professional smoker like of weed? No. Okay. But I smoke with real iron lung dudes. So, so people, But I'm not dumb, though. So, I'm not stupid. So what I, I man, I hang out with Slink Johnson, one of the homies. That's the nigga he be up there I all the time. I can't go in a cipher puff for puff with them. No, I niggas. smoke with that. Nigga. I'm part of. I'm part of smoke yours. I'm not. I, I'll Facetime him right now. He'll smoke, tell you. I'm not a smoke yours. I am. I am. No. I am. I got time today. Hey, so listen. I just had a genius idea. I'm I don't Uncle know. Saul, man. I just, I'm Uncle Saul. I just. I'm, I'm, I'm Uncle Saul. I just had always a, been in the street, but ain't never been out the street. I just had a genius idea. I'm gonna say it here live on the air, cause I don't care. Okay, so. See how I'm most, gonna put, genius, most geniuses are, are conceited. I'm not. No, I'm not conceited. I'm just how I'm, I'm the most humble person I know. <laughs> I just had a genius idea. Compared to what? I'm yeah, the most humble nigga in the world. Let, give us the idea. <laughs> let us decide if it's genius or not. Nah, so Talk listen. About, I got to scam up with a genius idea. Listen, I ain't told nobody yet. Listen, you got to say it first for motherfuckers to know it's genius. This. <laughs> the Studio 26 first annual smoke off. We're going to get some weed sponsors involved, and we're going to get some of the homies that smoke weed, and we're going to just have a competition and see who can smoke the worst. Smoke until you pass out. Hella weed. Hella edibles, nigga. Hella dabs. I love taking dabs. Yeah. You on your own. You showing up. You could be one of the judges. I ain't going to even be. Just be a judge. I I can't do it. Just be a judge. We'll give you a gas mask. Mm Mm-mm. All right, give me a gas mask. I got you, bro. Uh-uh. <laughs> and we're live streaming. Would y'all watch? If we live streaming, would y'all watch? I'm, I'm a, I'm, I just got I just got to the age where my brain cells ain't coming back. Mine oh, too. I'm close. I'm coming back. I'm 44. I'm Man, getting up there. Uh, my brain cells be like, all right, then. I guess you just, all right, well, that's what it is then. <laughs> And then off when memories from the fourth grade. What about those of y'all that don't smoke? Uh, no, more, no more eight-year-old memories. Y'all can still watch. Somebody's phone is loud. You know, I, I can't do it. I'm too old enough to be. I'm too your old to be having smoke offs. Whose phone is that? Yours. I'm at least going to be the one responsible motherfucker. That's your phone. Whose phone is that? Yours. Whose? You, though. Yeah. I'm high. A smoke off. But it could be digital. Amber, you can watch it. And those who are trying to quit smoking, you can still watch it. I don't, we can't do no smoke off. I Why not? No smoke off. We gotta have a, a, for a reason though. It gotta be a reason if to I get high. high. Just to have a no. <laughs> no, it gotta be more prolific than that. Uh, Doe, they're saying you uh, check your doing, DMs. You just can't be doing stuff just to be doing stuff. She paid you to check your DM. Oh wow. Let's, let's uh, <laughs> shout us to Jameson. Jameson's less uh, business. Uh. Man, let's do a show. I agree with that. Let's do a show. Down. We could do all that. Yeah, I'm still doing yeah. the smoke off, but let's yeah, do, that's let's fine. Do a two grand minimum. Huh? Is you right. have two drink minimum? Yeah, that's fine. Let's do a two grand minimum. Two drink, two gram minimum. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you got to roll up two, at least two grams, and once you once once everybody once everybody at the table's lit up, then the like show starts. Start the show. Got to be like two eighths, two eighths minimum. Two grams ain't shit, nigga. Just two grams right here. <laughs> Nigga, we smoke for real. Uh, that's a two gram minimum. All right, fair enough. You can smoke an eighth if you want, motherfucker. Nah, we smoke big weed. We be smoking it's not, like. But it's a two. It's a, it's a two gram minimum. You got some people who ain't going you know, they roll. I just want. I'm, my whole thing is, I just want to just have a party with the homies and we just smoke a bunch of weed, talk some shit. It's not really even deeper than that. The vibe. I want to do some stand up. Okay. We'll, we'll be high, nigga, if you do the stand-up. That'll be it. That'll be lit. Hey. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do a two grand minimum comedy show. I got you, Jameson. Who's down to come to the two grand minimum comedy show? It's a two grand minimum. Two man. grand minimum. You know That's that? the name of the show. Yeah, two grand minimum. Two grand minimum. Yeah. Is that the name of our song? You don't have to smoke at the show. Is either. that the name of the song, two grand minimum? No. Two grand minimum. Well, where are we going with the song, YDB? Because you so ain't saying no a lot, nigga. My bad. 
Shit, it's cool. But what you thinking? Nah. Nigga just, nah, 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 nah. Well, what then? I don't know. <laughs> Type shit. Shout outs to the chat. Shout outs to everybody uh-huh. in the chat. Everybody okay. that's new Perfect. to the show, this is the cook up. Like, I don't have an opinion. They said this is YDB's blunt rolling podcast where sometimes they make music. (laughs) (laughs) I've been rolling them way better. So, Jameson, I see you have to log off. We will be having the song up once the live is done. An hour after the live is cut off, the song will be put up, and we will be talking about Jameson in the song. So, we'll have that your way. Oh, this beat is crazy. Thank you, Jameson. Jameson. Shout outs to Tacoma. Oh. So this is what we're going to do for the record. I'm going to throw a shout out to Jameson. You know what I'm saying? In the beginning of the record. And then we're going to throw Jameson in the artwork. And I'm going to throw a line or two about Jameson. That's how we're going to do that. You know what I'm saying? But Jameson whatever direction creatively else you want to go, that's fine. But that's what I'm going to do to throw that in there. You know what I'm saying? This shit is crazy. Can you turn my headphones up a little bit? My shit feel low. Yeah, that's banging. Yeah, there we go. You can go whatever direction you want to go on this shit. Wherever you want to go. Ah. Uh, oh, so it's, it's recording voices on everything already? Not yet. Not yet. Oh, okay. We're about to switch mics right now. Okay. And then it'll be recording. Can you start it over? Soul. I need soul. Soul? Mm-hmm. Nigga said soul. I need soul. Okay, wherever, Barry wherever, Gordy. Wherever you want to go. All right. All right. I'm gonna follow your direction. Oh, I'm supposed to be starting right now? No, no. just, oh, just I, oh, start okay. to just fuck with your vibe. I'm yeah. a little high too, so yeah, you know. yeah. Just no, just start to come with a you can start to like, you know, hum out melodies or if you got a if you got a line you got, I can help with, you know. We can just do it one line at a time, you know? Okay, let's do it one line at a time. All right. I'll figure out how to start it. Yeah. Oh, we got the uh, we got the Motown mic. Yeah, shit we call that, We call that the Smokey Robinson mic. Yeah. I wonder if he used to sell weed. Absolutely. Smokey. I call it the Smokey. New nickname alert: Doki Robinson. Yeah. <laughs> Doki. Doki. Yeah. And I'm Marvin Cray Cray. <laughs> Nigga, this beat is wild. Clearly one of my favorites. YDB is one of the most talented niggas I've ever met in my life. And I've met a lot of talented niggas. This nigga's crazy, bro. This beat didn't exist 30 minutes ago. That's what this show is about, creating a vibe, you know? And creating dope shit with my friends. Perfect. Perfect. So how you guys feeling on the metaphor? Hey, timestamp right now. Timestamp right now. Whatever time it is, timestamp it from... I might have, I might have something just happened that you got to go right back. But, huh? No, I just want them to know something. Light that up, my boy. Yeah, is the bathroom? Yeah. Oh. No shedding here. This. Wherever you want to go with it, just it's all good. I think I have an idea. Right. But I don't want to spoil it, so I ain't going to do it yet. It might be a reveal. You 
stage? Where it'd be R and B and it'd be comedy? I think you booked me on that shit. Yeah. Yeah. You always been a solid nigga with me, bro. I mean, you know. Day one, bro. Real shit. Can't do it by yourself. So always introduce me to niggas and shit. Why not? Yeah, man. You'd be surprised. Everybody don't do that shit. Well, you know. Everybody ain't cool. Well, it's easy to introduce you to people because you're cool. You ain't gonna make a nigga look bad. You can't just introduce everybody to everybody. You know what I mean? You ever be introduced to somebody by the wrong person? And now they think you a crackhead? And you had no idea? You're like, damn, man. Perfect. They got the double stuff, Scooby Snack Rolls. Yup. And now they finna go. I didn't get the Scooby Snack Roll though. I was, they was eating the edibles before I came in. They ate up all the edibles. I wasn't going to eat and then I got to the point where I was like, oh, I'll try one. And it was like, too late. <laughs> uh, let's cook, my boy. Uh, it's that time. All right, now we going. We're going. You don't like it, man? Huh? I'm going to let it right now. Like that. Okay, okay. Like that. Don't, don't start and then light it. Light it and then start it. Yeah, back. Everybody, we inside a donut. I ain't gonna lie, this is one of my favorite beats. <laughs> we in a donut. Boy. It's my bag. This, this like, is the type of beats. Like I've been, that up, let him hit the Okay, so check this out though. So check this out though. So like we heard, like we heard a couple of songs that y'all did with everybody else. So you know, whoever coming here and sit in this chair in the studio, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, all right, let's do it then. Exactly. Let's see what That's come right. out. Exactly. But you know how nigga, we from Sacramento, so you know we we nigga we compete on a different type of level, nigga. Yeah, you so know it's crazy, man. We, you already know what we finna do. <laughs> I don't be competing. No, we just gonna try to make the dopest shit though. I know I am every time. Yeah. I'm trying to make the dopest shit that I can make with you. By proxy, that's gonna be the dopest shit. Yeah, that mixtape your ass been talking about for a decade. Mm. Oh, let me put those shit. Oh, oh decade. Me... That's what he fuck, said fuck, a decade fuck. ago. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> no boy, I called no boy. You have been pushed to voicemail. You know when a nigga, you know when it, 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 it ring four times and then you go to voicemail. You know you got, you know you got the thumb. Voicemail. You know you got the thumb. Not you know you got pushed. Voicemail. You think they come in? No. Dude, X your ass. If it goes straight to voicemail, like go straight to voicemail with no ring, no, or maybe one it. ring, I'll say, okay, okay, cool. I know his phone is off or something, but if that motherfucker yeah. ring like four, five times, you know what it is. It's a nigga looked at him was like, nah, though. Now, if it rings like 12 times, you could be like, okay, that motherfucker just don't see his phone or something. But if it rings like four times, they saw it, they saw your name pop up, and, and they said, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk to this motherfucker. You don't like that weed up, y'all? Or... My body is really good. He don't, he don't, don't edit the game. Give him the weed. Nigga, man. Nobody want to sit here and watch you chew brownies, nigga. Hey, man. He got, Nerd ass nigga. You got that, that weed yeah. up. His inside it's voice got it. His, his like, inside boy. voice got the munchies. Yeah. This nigga wild as shit. You know what I'm saying? He got totally so distracted by the weed. Hey, that's a high motherfucker. He just was in a conversation and he got distracted by some brownies and went in. Forgot all about us. My God. Man, see, this is like drink champs, but it's called fake champs. Here we go. Smoke instead of drink. Come on. And then I get to tell you about my childhood. People be like, no wonder this motherfucker. You know, I I, I got the Oak Park um, a tire jumping record on a dirt bike. Hell yeah. I was a stuntman when I was a little boy. I, I rode my bike off a roof. I jumped out a two-story window. Just like coats. Yeah. How would you do those things? I was a stuntman right. when I was a little boy. I was a stuntman. I'm afraid. Oh, man. Hell yeah. You know them little kids that can ride a really cool pole all the way around the enemy? Let's go. Cool. We used to pile up the tires and make a ramp and jump the tires. One day I jumped 16 tires. Like, okay. Get that ramp. Ooh. Man. That's how I got the scar on my lip. Jumping tires. Yeah, I didn't do that shit. I jumped, I jumped about 10 tires and landed in a wheelie and then, and then thought I was cold. So I rode the wheelie for a little while and ran to a fence. <laughs> you know what you know told me up? This yeah, that gate hit me face motherfucker first. This shit told me up. Me and my boy, we was visiting Sacramento in Land Park. Uh -huh. Like, you know, right I was playing Land Park Little League. Huh? I was playing the baseball down. That's why my mom used to be an uh, English teacher at Sacramento City College. So I used to get out of baseball practice and go and wait for her to get off work. I used to go to John Cabrillo. You know where John Cabrillo was? Yeah. Right next door to Sam Ray? Yeah. So if you go past that and you keep going straight down, what is that? Three point hey, hey, hey. When I went to element, when I went to junior high school, so if, if you went to John Cabrillo, when I was a kid, the rumor was if you went to John Cabrillo, you could fight. So motherfuckers be like, about, if we be in elementary school, be like I'm up in 
John Gorillo. You're like, what? Yeah, oh, you better think twice about you find that motherfucker. He was John Gorillo. That's all I went to. No, it was, it was a bunch of tough niggas. I think it's because of the tough dudes that went to John Camillo. You think everybody that went there could fight. I guess somebody at your school had to be getting beat up, so everybody couldn't fight. I couldn't fight like that, but I mean, I had to, though, so I was fighting. I wasn't always winning, but I was fighting. By the time I got to high school, my brother was the karate school teacher, so I got a lot of passes because, you know, that's that's the Lawrence brother. People you know. used to think we was twins because my brother was a childhood criminal. And so when he was in junior high school, he got held back. The one who's the engineer now. <laughs> he got held back, so I caught up to him. So we was in the same grade when we hit the ninth grade, so everybody thought we was twins. But really, we was the same size, but he was a little stronger than me. And he could fight. And by the time we got to high school, everybody knew that. <laughs> Where the ashtray at? Shit. Shout out to my brother, LC. We tried one. We gotta figure this out. You understand me? We gotta hit up Kim and Dom get some We gotta do something. We out here looking crazy, bro. We looking crazy, YB. I think the mic stand with the ashtray attached to it is a, is a brilliant idea. There we go. Thank you. You got Thank it going over there? Yeah. All right, let me hit it. <laughs> Share it with me. I'm off that fried chicken and Red Bull. I don't know how I feel. There you go. Oh, we. Oh, yeah. DJ Mudbutt. Yeah. Remember how, like, earlier... I was in like the green room and he was like, you want some chicken? Mm -hmm. And I was like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm good, you know. Mm -hmm. I played that old shit like that. I looked at that chicken for like one more minute and I grabbed a, a wing at that motherfucker. I see what happened. You, you ever see Roots when you was a little kid? You remember when Kunta Kinte ran away? <laughs> and he ain't had no food for like a week or two <laughs> and he got a hold of that chicken? Mm -hmm. That's how I ate that. I saw you. I was, I was gonna start you out. I was oh, gonna say man. that. <laughs> I ate I that like, motherfucker like I was Diamond Hansu. <laughs> yo, yo, I'm crazy. a star. Yo, YDB, crazy shit, bro. I said, hey, you want some chicken? He was like, nah, no, I'm nah. I was trying to be. He was like, nah. He was like, I'll be. You know the motherfucker who ain't never. The nigga almost looked up. Yeah, the nigga good. almost looked at me like he was a bugger. Like, yeah, I'll be eating that shit. I said, all right, bro. And my inside, my inside, and my inside boys have been smoking weed since I got here. So, I think he thought I was going to be gone for a minute because I came right back. No. <laughs> I said, you know what? This is what I did. You remember this is what I said? I said, no, I don't want no chicken, but I'm going to eat some of the skin. He said, let's go. I said, I'm going to eat some of the skin. I'm like that. That first bite was all chicken. That motherfucker wasn't no skin. I ate that chicken like the zombie apocalypse. <coughs> when I was a kid, I would only eat the chicken skin. And then, and then, you would just then, eat the skin? What type of weird thing is you? Yeah, skin is good. The best part. But you would just not That's eat the, the extra chicken? Crisp, extra extra crispy? crispy the extra crispy skin was fire and low key. But you would just eat the rotisserie. You the skin would just eat it? Because like it'd be crunchy skin. though. You would just eat it without the. You would just eat the skin first. But you would leave the meat there? Yeah. You would eat the meat later. He said he wouldn't eat the meat. He just eat the skin. I would eat the meat, but I would eat the skin too. He said he just eat the skin. I would eat the skin as like the. Appetizer. I eat the chicken skin of this turkey. Like the skin is the appetizer. You're supposed to eat it all together. I peel that shit off and eat it with some rice like an appetizer. This is madness. And oh, you put the I rice eat, inside the chicken skin? Eat, man. Man. Wait, what the fuck did this you just say? I don't know you how could, to eat. You put the rice inside the yeah. chicken skin. He got, and he got fat gravy. for nothing. Wild. What you don't the even know fuck how to eat. Some really? delicious ass shit. You take the chicken skin off you and you put some rice in it, roll it and eat it. You roll it up. You dip it in gravy. Yeah, you can do it with mashed potatoes too. How y'all skinny fat niggas? I don't know. That's some crazy <laughs> shit. Genetics? I don't know. I used to have this a joke. fried chicken skin I taco? The, I used to take the skin off and then make chicken salad out of the meat. You niggas sound like cereal bros. I love a good chicken salad. Hey man, you know what my dad used to do? What's he, what he my dad used to take a honey bun. Here we go. Cut that motherfucker in half. That's wild. Butter both sides. Fry <laughs> that motherfucker in a pan. Mm, fry some delicious. bologna. Scramble oh my God. an egg. Okay. Right? Put the egg and the bologna, fried bologna, on the, and make a honey bun, egg, and bologna sandwich. And he called it sweetened meat. <laughs> wait, wait. That was that the nickname wild. in middle school. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Good damn a motherfucker. Wait, you said honey bun, cook a it honey both bun. sides. Yeah. With butter. So we're going to do this when we Not a honey bun. bun like a hostess honey bun. I mean like a cinnamon roll. What do you okay. mean by cinnamon roll? Yeah, like a like a, I mean, I know like cinnamon a fresh roll. cinnamon roll. Like your mom be making them cinnamon roll. Way. Open that bitch up. A croissant? No, a cinnamon roll. A cinnamon, oh, cinnamon roll, roll like a donut? Like a cinnamon roll, yeah. 
But which one? Like the one from the can? Or like the honey bun. Hold like on, the, hold on. Not the, one, not the honey bun. Out he's the talking about on. a real oh, one okay. like your mom be making. Like, mm. like, like, the, the one the, from the house out the can? No. Like, yeah. Is that's it like the, the one, one from the donut shop? That's what I'm asking. Yeah. Okay, I was trying to make sure. I was trying to make sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like a cinnamon roll. It's got to be like okay. that thing. You mean cut that in half? Cut it in half to flat. That's bread. crazy. And what would he do? Butter both sides. Butter inside. Butter both sides? Butter both sides. Fry that shit. Fry that shit. Why? Okay. Put it up. Boom. Boom. Scramble the egg. Eggs. Scramble. Some cheese. Cheese. Put it on one edge of the bread that's uh, right fry a bologna slip that bitch when it bubble up mm. turn it on the other side put that on that joint put that sandwich together and bite that motherfucker we making that the sweet and the salty and the salt yeah called it sweet and meat. hey we gonna make that so clip did you this see the, did you see the uh the face he made this. he said the sweet and the salt he go you see that yeah, when yeah. it hit him really see that's yeah. that's 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 his food demon we're gonna get you to come back <laughs> next week he got week. a food demon you want to come the back food demon said you want to come back next week and we're going to make that live and eat it on the air? You make it. Wow. I want you to come back. Yeah, I'll eat it. Okay. Wow. My, dad, I want you to my sh- dad passed at 89 years old. Rest in peace. Rest, Rest in, in peace. peace. He passed during the pandemic, during the lockdown. Okay. And uh, so, yeah, we're going to make that. You can come and coach us so you can make sure that we make it right. I never made one. I just used to watch them. He used to make it for us. Oh, you ain't. Mm. Oh, okay. Well, but now so we we gonna make it I know what, how to do it. We're going to make it for you. I know how to, yeah. And no, see how yeah. close we can get it to um, how your pops made it. Because, nigga, I feel a certain type of way about cinnamon rolls. I love mm-hmm. cinnamon rolls. The middle of a cinnamon roll, niggas would fight back in the day. Why? Niggas would take phase because we was all staying in the, in the house. And nigga, I used to, to steal. It would be a big-ass box of donuts, and niggas would split them up. I used to steal in the middle of niggas cinnamon rolls, and niggas would take fades over the middle of cinnamon You're rolls. You're wild. Niggas would, niggas would, niggas would niggas like, oh, oh, I don't gotta, know why. Niggas would be like, out. I need that. Niggas would be like, I need that. You put the like, fun out? I have no idea why I put it. You put the fun out? That's fine. Hey. You, you eat know, the middle of a nigga cinnamon hey, roll, nigga, hey, and be like, I need that. Hey, That's know, a wild I, statement. I, I got five sisters, right? Mm-hmm. And I, got, I never I, ate the middle I, I got, of a nigga cinnamon roll. You ever roll got before. jumped by all your sisters? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, I only got one. Bro, they got a pact in the house. Like, if you fuck with one of them, you fucking with all of them. Damn. And they're not asking no questions what happened, whose fault it is. Is Boom you wasn't supposed to be putting your hands on them girls. So if you get into it with one of them, the other one is coming over the counter. You got one that's gonna low bridge you. Damn. My sister Josie busts my fucking nose with a can opener. You know the big can opener. She boom, 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 like so. But the last time I got into it with my sisters when I got jumped, you know what it was over? It was over the motherfucking cake batter bowl. Damn. What? What happened? My older now, get sister. Get ready to kill the beat, nigga. Said we. My older late. sister was it's making. Uh-huh. My older sister was making a cake, uh-huh. and the little kids. Get the cake batter bowl, and when they mix the cake with the mixer, mm-hmm. they take the mixing things off and get them to the, the kids, and they yeah, lick the yeah. and they lick the spoon right, crazy. and they lick the bowl right. Uh-huh. That's a delicacy for a kid. Right? Yeah, it's crazy. You know, so I'm like, you Everybody's know, I'm, having a good yeah, time. I'm 11, 12 years old. You know, Everybody's I got a couple young, I got four younger siblings and shit. They waiting on that cake batter bowl. Mm-hmm. You know, I walk through the kitchen, <coughs> take that cake batter bowl. <laughs> I just, I just kill it. That motherfucker out in about ten zoops, and these kids was on me. I'm eating that motherfucker. They crying and shit. Think about his older sister that gave him that cake batter bowl. Came back in that thing. Next thing I know, what? I got whopped, bro. And when I, and when I, when I got, you? When I, yeah, I got whopped, and then I got you got whopped. dope fiend. Yeah, when I got <laughs> when I got whopped, that then when the big sister came in and she whopped me. Now the little kids are strong now. They emboldened, right? So I got by whopped by I got whopped by my older sister. I get kicked the fuck out of by my little sister who crying. But she got my big sister, man. I got jumped by all. Then my next thing you know, my other sister come around the corner. They yeah. wouldn't know what's going on or nothing. Fire on. Just boom bop. That's wild. Hell yeah, my sister. <laughs> all right, let's get this going, man. Let's play the beat. You got you got an idea for something? You said you had a reveal. Hold on, let's start it. Start it over and hit record.
Yeah, I just wanted to hear it for a little bit. Oh, no, no, just play it. Okay. This is your best work, though, bro. Yeah, this is my bag. This is the real Jeez, bag. Nigga. Perfect. I have an idea in my head, but I'm trying to get the, And I got a tone in my head, but I'm trying to match it. You can sing it out loud, or you, know, you want to wait and just whatever you want to do, dude. Whatever Man, you gotta do to get it out. You gotta feel right? restricted to hold it and then reveal it. Just... I'm working it out in my head. Okay, whatever your process is. Cause I, I could do this in a falsetto, I think. Okay. Let's go. Let's do it. But I'm gonna do it without the falsetto first. Okay, we layer got, it up. That's got, fire. Got, I don't know tune. about layering, but I just gotta find it. We got auto tune first. too, so okay. whatever you wanna do. Oh. Perfect. Like I'm singing with a vagina right here in my face. Bro. That's right. Nice one. Okay. <laughs> I was glad. Oh, you was gonna record? Oh, well, let me do one more then. I recorded. I was recording. Yeah. That's the studio. We just, we That's cook. The studio. But let's hear My it, son's a studio engineer. No way. Right. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. He's inside. Okay. You got a really talented family. Hey, he did all that on his own. I mean, just you know, it's in the genetics. It's in the genetics. It's gotta be in the genes. Like, I, yeah, my son is super dope, bro. That's dope, man. My daughter, my daughter's at. Did I tell you, Kiara's at Howard, nigga. Yeah, you did. Freshman. I remember you couldn't get a babysitter, nigga. <laughs> nigga, real shit. Come on, that man, come through, man. <laughs> I can't get no babysitter. You could get a babysitter. Yeah. We couldn't afford a babysitter, nigga. That shit was crazy. Jeez. A couple of times I couldn't go to a show because I couldn't get couldn't afford it. I was crazy back there, man. But man, but you know, out, we do what we got. But it's do. hardest when they're little. If yeah. y'all got little kids and you're having a hard time with little kids, just know that it gets easier. It's the hardest when they're little. Yeah, yeah. Cause now she, I miss her so much now that she's gone. Like this is like the first time I've been hey, man, so long away from her. You know, it's crazy. It's like you you have kids and then when they get older, they ain't got time for your ass. Man, that's the most humbling feeling ever. Back in the day, you was trying to get somebody to watch them and shit and all that other stuff, and now you try to be like, when you so gonna, watch come, this when this? gonna come visit? No, look, so this is gonna throw you off. So you remember Kiara, little, small, I just only remember your daughter when she was little itty bitty. Super small. Because yeah. you remember when I was first doing comedy for real, she was like three, four. Yeah, she was like three. But then back in LA, she was five. She was like, five. So the last time I, I remember her, she this was is, five this years is, old. This is now she in college. This is freshman Kiara at Howard. Wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
baby. I don't know how you made a little girl that pretty. <laughs> you a goon. <laughs> how the fuck a goblin make a, a beautiful young lady like that? That's wild. God damn. You know what? If you follow a beautiful young lady at home, I bet you one of her parents is a goon. That's just how the law of averages work. It is, for real. If you got two real fine people, that baby is nigga. I'm telling you. If you if you if you if 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 if, if you follow a a, 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 a a monkey mouth motherfucker home, they probably got supermodel parents. <laughs> It'd be wild. It'd be crazy like that. You the, the, the pick of the, you don't know what you're gonna get. You know, Genetics be a special kid, wild having way. A is like, having a kid is like a box of chocolates. <laughs> Genetics be crazy when they pop up though, right? Cause yeah, find out mom, find out you a dead ringer for your granddaddy's brother. Watch this, my pops. Five six, right? Well, like five seven. Uh -huh. My mom's five feet. Mm -hmm. Sophomore year in high school, I'm five one, two hundred pounds. Wow. Like I'm gonna be a short nigga. Then summer hit, shoot up. Now I'm six feet because my grandpa tall. Right. <laughs> so genetics. <laughs> Cause I was just like, fuck, I'm gonna be a short nigga. It's, this is what it is. My dad was five six. Nigga, I thought I was, my dad five seven. I was like, if I'm like, I was like, if I'm shorter than this nigga. Oh, I can't do it. Like, nigga. my dad, you know who reminds me of my dad? Rock Kim. Damn, Rock Kim is smooth, nigga. My dad is like 5'6, five, like, I'm shredded. Uh -huh. I'm five, six. My mom, five foot. Wow, okay, got I'm it. I'm six foot. Yeah, so you did. Like, I'm the tallest of my siblings. My, my brothers used to call me mama's baby daddy's yeah, baby. I'm taller than everybody. My, right, my, yeah. my mom's five foot. I'm yeah. towering over shit. Right. <laughs> they used to call me the mailman boy. I'm like, fuck y'all, I look just like daddy too. Nigga, this shit is crazy right here. I want you to know just how I feel. That shit already cold. This shit about to go crazy. <clears throat> I'm gonna lean on you for this. Can you maybe help out with a melody or I got one? you. I, I, I was low-key just like leaning deep. back. Yeah, I, I was leaning deep. back. I ain't want to... I ain't <laughs> Yeah, like at least once. Hey, Clue. And hey, we yes, go sir. figure. Are you, are you, what you, what you on right now? Uh, trying to. Now that I got a little bit more of the lyrics, I'm trying to go back to the artwork. Okay. Is there, you got any weed rolled up or not? I got you. I got you. I got you. I was gonna do one. Let me record that one more time. For sure. You want to do it again? Yeah. Or like later? Listen to it though. Let me. I know, but I want to give you one more. Okay. Can okay. We, yeah. Can, no. we save, can we save that one? Yes. Yeah, okay. That, save of course. Save. Can so, we? Just give me a different one. Okay. I'm gonna put you in right after it. Scott back a little bit further though. You know how you be. Well, no, it's because like it's he's gonna hear the first. He's gonna oh, hear. Okay, yeah, yeah. Are you gonna keep it in there? Yeah. Okay. Pause. Uh, you want him? Can you, can you direct him? What you want him to do? Is he supposed to be? Perfect. Can you, direct, uh, can you direct him? I thought he way? said he had something already. No, no, no. Oh, no. He but wants to redo what he did. What I did, I just want to give you just a, another option it. for that. My bad. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, but can you keep that one, though? Yeah. yeah. Keep that one. And just give him another <clears> one. <throat> mm-hmm. Okay. Do you want him to play this one while you sing it or just mute it out? Just play it while I, I'm going to sing it to the beat. Right, but do you want to hear nah, the one I'm you did or do you want to No, I don't it? need to hear the one I okay, did. Nah, so I, I muted it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. I was confused. My bad.
That's it. That's that shit is nasty. What I'm going to do is. And then I could sing that in a different octave of falsetto. Yeah. But I'm Harmonize that motherfucker, layer it up. Yeah. What's going on with it? The perfect. Perfect. What's the perfect? What is it? It's from the a video sample. game. Yeah. I got to say. I think I they might be talking about games. the name of the song. No, because it's all oh, called it perfect. perfect. Oh, no, no, no. He, they're saying that the... um. It, it's it's landed a lot of moments when our conversation has like gotten to the pinnacle moment and we stop talking and then the ad that will punch in like perfect like as in like just like a punctuation at the end of like the statements that we made. I get I get what you're saying. Oh, it's done that several times. Yeah. Do you want to call the call? Do you want to call the song perfect? No 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 no. no. Uh, I, I, it, it's just funny that it keeps happening. What do you want to call the song? Or do we'll, we still not know that yet? We'll get there. I feel like we're inside we're... of a donut. <laughs> <laughs> This room is the inside of a donut. It's because people like to hear range of vocals. Like, mm -hmm. that's the number one instrument that's pleasing to the ears. Mm -hmm. And that's why that one beat that we made, which is mostly vocals. Which one? It ha it's the one with Jack. The one that's well, mostly vocals is well, so impactful. On, um, I, do, I do a show with a band, right? Mm -hmm. And it first started off with me doing this John Legend impression. That's fun. And then I did a show with a band and then did the John Legend impression while they were doing the music. And then I, and then I started pro producing a show with a live band. And I would just, I would start the show off by singing half of a song. Mm -hmm. So I would come out and like sing, I, so I'd probably sing 20 or 30 different songs over the course of doing the show for a year. That's good. And so inside the band, so the band, because I have the similar pitch and tone to a lot of singers that are like uh, John Legend yeah. has that pitch and tone, Bob Marley and all his kids got that pitch and mm. tone, like Carl Thomas has that pitch and tone, you know. Carl like, Thomas. Yeah. Um, uh, there's a, a Leon, uh, what's his name? Leon Bridges. He has that that tone. You know what I mean? So there's you ever a heard of, of uh, you ever heard of Raheem Devon? Yeah, that's my cousin. Really? Dead ass. Wow. It's like no no no. It's my um, it's my grandma's. It's like my cousin or yeah. uncle or something I, I, like that. I, I can't remember exactly. A long time ago, one time. I was yeah. Yeah. From a mutual friend. He's super dope. Yeah, man. He's I, super, I should get in contact with him. I should definitely get in contact with him. Yeah, he's super dope. Yeah, man. Dope R and B. Singers, a lot of them come from that area in Virginia. There's a lot of dope mm -hmm. R&B artists from out that area where I'm from. Yeah, yeah. So if you if you go if you go on YouTube and put in Esau McGraw, you'll see me with this band at the Comedy Store. I did that show on Tuesday nights for a year, but that's just like one night when I was. Uh, that's dope. With the band. I think that's on YouTube. It's called okay. Super Tuesdays. Look it up. I'll be ready. <laughs> Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll fetch up, fetch up, fetch up. Let me do it real fast. Um, All right, bro. Yeah, because we don't name If, if, if we don't keep that little part. Like yeah, no, I like it. But I'll put your time. <clears throat> You know, have you know whoever you know whoever's you, who else is uh, uh, got dope ass vocals? Ooh. Nate Jackson is a hell yeah, beast, bro. Hell yeah, Nate Jackson is. A Shout beast. out Nate Jackson. He's touring the world right now. That nigga selling out theaters and shit. Nate Jackson is crazy. Shout out and he Nate. works hard though, bro. Man. If any, he's one of them dudes that work for it. 
Nigga owns like his own, owns his own uh, comedy he, club. He deserves every bit of his success. Good nigga, man. Good nigga. No, I actually, I don't you know. like that. Oh, play what do you again? think? What do you, you think? You, you so switched we, it around? Yeah, we switched okay, it around. Okay, I didn't hear it. I didn't hear that one. Page. Yeah. Let me hear it. Let me hear it. I, I switched it around because he was like, switch it around. I, I, I like you it. You like it better switched around? Yeah, I, I do. <laughs> okay. Yeah. How we feeling about the vocal effects? It's not, it's not it. too much. Alright, it's making sure. I just want to. Because I know niggas will be like, I no, no, no. Like, you can just turn them up a little bit. It just, yep. just felt a little low. Like, can you turn my headphones up, Clue? Yep. Can you take a little bit of the distortion out? No, I just want to see what it's done. This is my favorite beat you ever did, nigga. It's the normal chain I usually use, R-Vox to, um, there's an auto tune, which is technically wave tune, because it sounds the same. And then, um... What does it sound I, like with no effects? You want to hear it dry? The, the, not dry, but just... Less? Less, okay, yeah. Okay. Just you to know, see what it sounds like. We can, yeah, we can check, see what it sounds like. I, I love where it's at now, but I'm open no, to that. wherever it can go. Here's what it sounds like with no effects. Let me see what else do I have up there. Oh, well, no, nah, I'll keep that up there just because that has the like chorus effect. But. Ooh. That effect is hard. I want you to know just how I feel oh, about you and me. Ooh. I want you to know just how I feel about you. I like it with minimal effects. Like that's, that? that's me making that noise. Like that? I want you to know just how I feel about you and me. I want you to know just how I feel about you and me. You like it? Perfect. You like it, Whitey B? I like it. Well, the other way is I like it too, but. You know, it's the thing where Esau likes it. If I could sing this shit for real, why not? Sing yeah. It for real? yeah. No, no, this is this is this is this is the show. This is what we do. We create the vibe. We don't, Let's hear it again. We don't have to have effects. Yeah, we don't have to. No, that's like having a, a suitcase with props. Exactly. Yeah, we can also get props. We can do our shit. Stupid. I didn't. I didn't know that that was your voice. I thought that th that was auto tune. Well, that's my voice. That's crazy. That's a, is this a, oh, that shit is a little mean. Mm -hmm. oh, you hear that shit? Mm -hmm. Can you sample that, baby? The, oh. mm -hmm. I would love to. Let's watch my hair. I want never. you to know just how I feel about you and me. Ooh. I want you to know just how I feel about you and me. Perfect. That's the hook. I'm good with that as the hook. You want to do a verse? You can go wherever you want as a, as go as a verse. You cook this shit like you, bitch. 
this rap. It's up to you. No pressure. But you can go wherever you want to go. You, you can sing about it. I, I was in a whole different space right now. Perfect. I got ADHD, bro. I be like, I be listening to this song. I be having a whole other song playing in the background. Okay. He went to space. What you want to do? I want you to rap it. I think he should, yeah, I think you should, Doe should come in and rap a verse. Let's go. On some rap shit, like spit bars. Not heavy bars, but chill bars. Yeah, like partially melodic, right, right. not full melodic, but partial N melodic. N NOTC maybe, or is that too much? Oh, well, I was just trying to figure out what you meant by that. I was like, huh? That song's not melodic. I guess it is melodic yeah, in the background. I think you should say the lead more Magic melodic. Magic Boy a brownie bite. Thanks, my boy. Nigga, this, this, this hook is crazy. Just... Can we get a round of applause for Esau? Yeah, this is my inside boy. Yeah, they give a give a round of applause. I don't know, you know, brownies. I mean, apples. Make your mouth water. Okay. Make your voice not dry out. Brownies do the same thing though. <laughs> they clash though. Ooh. That's all I do. I want you to know just how. I feel about you and me. Ooh. I want you to know just how I feel about you and me. What's the direction you think, bro? Perfect. Ride out with me? I mean, yeah. You want to or you feel like just chilling? I'm chilling. I'm high. I got you. I'll land the plane. <laughs> you scary ass nigga. Get in the car, nigga. I mean, I'm down. I'm down. I'm never not down. I just I just feel like you should take the lead, though. On the, you see on how the... you feel after I go in. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I want to... I, 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 I have an idea for like how it should land structure-wise, but just get the bars out and we'll figure all that out. You know what I mean? Because well, it needs rap. And he's like, and he's like, uh, uh. You can, man, it, it, it's hella shit. Like, okay. Let's dedicate this to like soul music, like this heart and soul. And me. Uh, so, yeah. So, let's dedicate it to DMX. I want you to DMX. Yeah, DMX is soul brother number one in the rap world. If you think about it, DMX <laughs> and James Brown had a lot of comments. It really was. It really yeah, was. Absolutely. They even sounded alike. Mm -hmm. You got a cadence, nigga? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I forgot it because I was listening to him talk. I feel about you and me. Let you know I'm feeling 
on the ground to shoot. Probably get to this one. Alright, right. Uh, yeah, uh, uh. Finally get to let you know how I'm feeling about you. Just run the form of some chillin' about you. Bunch of points of chillin' for town juice. Uh, finally get to let you know how I'm feeling about you. Let me see if I can get the first one out. You fuck with it or not? I feel <coughs> about you and me. Uh, perfect. Finally get to let you know how I'm feeling about you. It, it recorded. Let's see. I'll fire up. You need me to tap into your inner dough? Okay, where's my inner dough? There we go. This is where the magic happens, dog. It's where the magic happens. Songs sound, like, song sound more like a breakup song, though. I feel it be. about you and me. Uh, perfect. Finally get to let you know how I'm feeling about you. Just from the moments of feelings about you. Get to the, finally get to let you know how I'm feeling about you. Been procrastinating with something I got it. I've been procrastinating with something I got Been procrastinating with something I got to do. Let's get it. Finally get to let you know how I'm feeling about you. Been procrastinating, but <laughs> well, mm. you hitting this clue? What? Uh, yeah. You ever, you ever, you ever, you ever have somebody go through your phone and then question you about everything that's in your phone? Mm-hmm. What? Are, but that happens on both sides. <laughs> so please ask about like. You ever just get about you? You ever just get 30 screenshots in a row? No, nah, nigga. You ever do this shit? Here we go. You ever be dating a motherfucker? You ever be dating a motherfucker? But you keep getting caught up with your phone and shit? So you say, fuck it. I don't got shit to hide. You want to fucking see the phone? And you unlock the phone and you hand it to a motherfucker. And they take it in the bathroom for like 45 minutes. And you're like, they going to see everything. What they going to see? Everything. That's what the verse is. What's in your phone? Mm. Hold on. That's mm. not all the door. Mm. Hold on. <laughs> that, I don't know. That, hold on, let me see. I was just saying, uh, hold on, let me see, hold on. <laughs> Five home pornos and ain't none of them you. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Finally get to let you know how I'm feeling about you. Been procrastinating, but... <laughs> Oh yeah, hold on, let me stay. Let me finally get to let you know how I'm feeling about I you. Right, Been procrastinating, but it's something I gotta do. Been procrastinating, but it's something. Been procrastinating, but it's something I got. But it's something that I got. Been procrastinating, but it's something that I gotta do. Let's get it. Be by bark. Finally get to let you know how I'm feeling about you. Been procrastinating, but it's something that I gotta do. One more time. You gotta let it. I, I think. I think. Yeah. I think it might be a word you have to yeah. switch or something. Been procrastinating. It's something I gotta do. That might work. Because it gets the same effect, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Been I'm pretty sure. Procrastinating is something I gotta do. Finally get to let you know how I'm feeling about you. Been procrastinating is something I gotta do. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take a, I'll take a more serious walk. That's what you know what I'm saying? Like, I think that's. I never more. told. No, 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 no. I'm saying, I think oh, the, uh, the di creative direction. direction. Yeah. yeah. Cause it's fun. It doesn't have to be serious, like sad or nothing. No, no, no. I go But just saying. more composed, more somber. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Just like yeah. Cause I mean, he's like, I'm trying to let you. So whatever or whoever or however I'm explaining it, I'm talking about something or somebody. So, and we just try to embody that. Okay, let's go. I want you to know just how I feel about you and me. I want you to know just how I feel. Get to let you know how I'm feeling about you. Been procrastinating, it's something I gotta do. Get away with no lies, so it's time to be tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> you want, want auto-tune your boy? 
I'm down with the Toonski. I, I looked it on the next I like the Toonski on my verse too, though, too. I right. don't like it. I love it. Finally get to let you know how I'm feeling. I want you to know just how I feel. Oh, turn the wrong thing on. I want you to know just how I feel about you and me. <coughs> This how I feel about We're about to record, you nigga. And me. Uh. Perfect. Finally get to let you know how I'm feeling about you. Been procrastinating, it's something I gotta do. Can't waste time with a lie, it's some of the kind of. Can't waste time with a lie, we gotta face up. To, ain't got time for the lie, we gotta face up. To, ain't got time to deal with lies, we gotta face up. Ain't got time to deal with lies, gotta be stuck to the truth. Ain't got time to deal with lies, gotta be signed. Okay, let me hear, let me hear back. Let me hear back. Not record this. Let me hear back. Give me two seconds. I can get my bad. I forgot that we were my, that blunt hit me crazy. Oh shit! I forgot what we were doing. Two seconds. I want you to know just how I feel about you and me. Uh, perfect. Finally get to let you know how I'm feeling about you. Been procrastinating, it's something I gotta do. Oh, you didn't hear that last one. Let me just hear back, let me hear back them last two. I'm high as fuck. Finally get to let I you know how bitch. I'm feeling about you. Been procrastinating, it's something I gotta do. Ain't got time to deal with lies, so good for Ain't got time to deal with lies, gotta focus on. Ain't got time to deal with lies, gotta rely on the truth. Ain't got time to deal with lies, gotta rely on the truth. Let's try that. Finally get to let you know how I'm feeling about you. Been procrastinating, it's something I gotta do. Ain't got time to deal with lies, gotta rely on the truth. One more time, cleaner, cleaner. Finally get to let you know how I'm feeling about you. Been procrastinating, it's something I gotta do. Ain't got time to deal with lies, gotta rely on the truth. You see what I'm trying to say, but I'm trying. I'm not saying it right. Huh? You gotta, it's a, you gotta do a space. Ain't got time um, to deal with lies. Space, gotta rely on the truth. Ain't got time to. Ain't got time, but to realize. Gotta rely, rely on, on the, the truth. truth. Okay. Yeah. But, but but you could just walk the second part out. So it's like, I ain't got time to realize. I'm just dealing with the truth, or something like. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with the truth. Let's hear, let me hear it again. I'm just looking. For well, it. Well, I think he's trying. To, I think he's trying to keep the couple. Just gotta rely on the truth. Mm -hmm. Ain't got time to deal with lies. Gotta rely on the truth. Let me hear what this. Tell me how you how you hear. finally get to let you know how I'm feeling about you. Been procrastinating. It's something I gotta do. Ain't got time to deal with lies. Relying on the truth. Ain't got time to finally get to you. let you know how I'm feeling about you. Been procrastinating. It's something I gotta do. Ain't got time to deal with lies. Gotta rely. Ain't got time to deal with lies, gotta rely on the truth. Let me try that. Finally get to let you know how I'm feeling about you. Been procrastinating, it's something I gotta do. Ain't got time to deal with lies, gotta rely on the truth. I like, I like, I, I like I, that sloppiness like of it, yeah. Cause it's almost like a walk, like you said, because like a walk the, down some even stairs. the intro melody is sloppy. Exactly, I like that. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Off exactly, yeah. yeah. So I'm almost matching that energy. Finally get to let you know how I'm feeling about you. Been procrastinating, it's something I gotta do. Ain't got time to deal with lies, gotta rely on the truth. I like. Ooh. Let me hear that. Ain't got time to eat no pies, and nigga gotta eat some fruit. You always gotta say some fat shit, you motherfucker. Let's hear it. Finally get to let though. you know how I'm feeling about you. Been procrastinating, it's something I gotta do. Ain't got time to deal with lies, gotta rely on the truth. Roll another one. Roll another one. Roll another one. Get out of my one. Get out of my life 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 one. How about in front of that? Um, I want to know if you know how I feel. How I'm not letting that work. So, uh, you remember that old song, Feelings? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's all that? Perfect. So that's. Finally get to let you know how I'm feeling about you. Been procrastinating, it's something I gotta do. Ain't got time to deal with lies, gotta rely on the truth. Finally 
get to let you know how I'm feeling about you. Been procrastinating, it's something I gotta do. Ain't got time to deal with lies, gotta rely on the truth. You got a lie for me, Bizzle? Let me hear back. Finally get to let you know how I'm feeling about you. Been procrastinating, it's something I gotta do. Ain't got time to deal with lies, gotta rely on the truth. I wanna do this, so play back. Mm. This is what I wanna do. Gotta I gotta fight. Question. Come on, sorry. Finally get to let you this know how I'm feeling do. about you. Been procrastinating, it's something I gotta do. Ain't got time to deal with lies, gotta rely on the truth. My time, better the time, but I'm gonna buy my phones. Okay, I got, I got, I got the final bar. Dude, ain't got time to deal with lies, gotta rely on the truth. Then I'm in the sun, I wanna, why when I move? Why when I move? Yeah, like some like. I gotta keep the jump something on the side when I move, like you know what I mean. Something on the side when I move. Yeah, like. Finally get to let you know how I'm feeling about you. Been procrastinating, it's something I gotta do. Ain't got time to deal with lies, gotta rely on the truth. Cause like, you know. I was waiting for the, the line you had. Mm, no I mean, get, 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 get to let you know how I'm feeling about you. Been procrastinating is something I gotta do. Ain't got time to I got ain't got time for liabilities. I need a wife when I move. Mm, let me hear that. Dude, ain't got time to deal with lies. Gotta rely on the truth. Ain't got time for liabilities. I need a wife when I move. It's not repetitive. Go right back to time. Dude, time been time. procrastinating. It's something I gotta do. Ain't got time to deal with lies. Gotta rely no. on the truth. You're saying time again. So you think that's cool? I ain't tripping. I'm just asking. I don't think that's repetitive. Because okay, so it's not the. It's not repetitive. I feel it's more repetitive when that's the bar you land on than when than this than when it's the build up. In between. Yeah. Let me hear it again. Finally get to let you know how I'm feeling about you. Been procrastinating, it's something I gotta do. Ain't got time to deal with lies, gotta rely on the truth. Ain't got time for liabilities, I need a wife when I move. Ain't got time for liabilities, I need Ain't got time for liabilities, I need a wife when I move. That just sounds like something you would say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what? Finally get to let you know how I'm feeling about you. Been procrastinating, it's something I gotta do. Ain't got time to deal with lies, gotta rely on the truth. Ain't got time for liabilities, I need a wife when I move. What's the next line? We're gonna go off of that pattern real quick and maybe we can hop back on it, but. Okay. No, 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 I feel Let like the four couple is smooth. Finally get to let you know how I'm feeling about you. Been procrastinating, it's something I gotta do. Ain't got time to deal with lies, gotta rely on the truth. Ain't got time for liabilities, I need a wife when I move. What? Dude. Dude. Ain't got time to deal with lies, gotta rely on the truth. Ain't got time for liabilities, I need a wife when I move. If you ain't on that type of time to move. So now it's really on some time, time shit. Mm -hmm. So now time is damn near a thing. Mm -hmm. So now it's not like it was just it, it was just accidental. Now it's the 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 focus becomes time. And so now in this conversation, I'm putting a preface on time. Right. Walk with me here. Walk with me here. If you hear anything, mm -hmm. with him, you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Clue, you hear? Yeah. He, crowds, you hear? So now when that becomes <clears throat> the meat and potatoes of the mm, meat and potatoes, mm -hmm. but it becomes the meat and potatoes of this verses. I'm talking to whoever, whatever about whatever but now really what i'm talking about is time now like time don't waste my fucking time it's time time, time is important time is serious because that really be the line i'll be present for real run it back from the beginning let me hear his shit too all the way from the beginning please finally get no, no, to no, let no, you... all the way from the beginning from the top of top top i want to hear everything this shit is cinematic my boy
Perfect. Finally get to let you know how I'm feeling about you. Been procrastinating, it's something I gotta do. Ain't got time to deal with lies, gotta rely on the truth. Ain't got time for liabilities, I need a wife when I move. If you ain't on that type of time to move. Pause it. Do you see that we've already developed a theme? All right, audience, crowd at home. Y'all see that we've already established a theme and we didn't even understand that? So now it's really me. We, we could double on times with this shit like... I'm nigga, this is my my conversation with time. Like nigga, I don't have time to waste. Mm -hmm. Like you, you know what, I mean? what you need to do because it's time to groove. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All of that. Like, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like all of that, like I ain't got time to lose, I ain't got time to spare. Like that's mm -hmm. that becomes the theme of the record now. But at the same time, it's I could be having this conversation with a person. Like I could be having this with you, but I'm also having it about time. Run yeah. it back from the all the way to the top one more time. I wanna keep catching this vibe one more time. All the way from the beginning. Fascinating is something I gotta do. Ain't got time to deal with lies, gotta rely on the truth. Ain't got time for liabilities, I need a wife when I move. If you ain't on that type of time, then move. Why you acting like I'm doing what you time? Why you acting like either of us got Why you acting like either of us got time to lose? Why you acting like either of us got time to lose? Why you acting like either of us got time to lose? Ain't got time for liabilities, I need a wife when I move If you ain't on that type of time, to move Why you acting like either one of us got time to lose? Uh, I like that landing You like it? Yeah, I like I thought it was off What do you think? I liked it I mean, Yeah, I feel like it was good I mean, We all I, ain't, I actually didn't think it was going to land it the first time I like the sloppiness of things sometimes Hey, though. hey, Wonder Twins activate <laughs> <clears throat> Like sometimes it doesn't have to be perfect for me Sometimes I don't like the beat quantized Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I understand Sometimes that. quantizing because me makes it robotic of course. You know? Perfect. Move. If you ain't on that type of time, then move. Why you acting like either one of us got time to lose? Ooh. Yeah, the landing like was it. yeah, the landing was good. It be, I feel like it sounds move. different when you perform if it you than when you hear it back. Time to move. Why you acting like either one of us got time to lose? If you ain't on that type of time to move, why you acting like either one of us got time to lose? I spent too much time with my mind on you. Move. If you ain't on that type of time to move, why you acting like either one of us got time to lose? I spent too much time with my mind on snooze. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let me hear that. Let me hear back from the top of the verse. Would it be weird if you said if you said uh, I spent too much time with my Nah, that sounds weird. Let me hear back from the top of the verse. What's up? Wait a minute, I'm paying all the bills, and you trying to choose? Oh, <laughs> okay. Let me give you the man. Hold on. Put a finally get hold to let second. you know how I'm feeling about you. Been procrastinating, it's something I gotta do. Ain't got time to deal with lies, gotta rely on the truth. Ain't got time for liabilities, I need a wife when I move. If you ain't on that type of time, then move. Why you acting like either one of us got time to lose? I spent too much time with my mind on snooze. Ooh, I like it. To let you know how I'm feeling about you Been procrastinating, it's something I gotta do Ain't got time to deal with lies, gotta rely on the truth Ain't got time for liabilities, I need a wife when I move If you ain't on that type of time, then move Why you acting like either one of us got time to lose? I spent too much time with my mind on snooze my mind on Now my mind don't move. Let me get the next line. Now my mind don't move. Let me get the 
next month. Finally you get to let you right move. If you ain't on that type of time to move, why you acting like either one of us got time to lose? I spent too much time with my mind on snooze. If you ain't on that type of time to move Why you acting like either one of us got time to lose? I spent too much time with my mind on snooze Now my mind don't move What you think? Wait, I wanna hear, I wanna see where you go with it Huh? I wanna see where you go with it you, Okay, you, I'm, you, step, you, I'm building you, you, you uprooted moving forward, time to groove Okay Move If you ain't on that type of time to move why you acting like either one of us got time to lose? I spent too much time with my mind on snooze. Now my mind don't move. I spent too much time with my mind on snooze. Now my mind don't move. I think. Or what about my now my time? Or maybe I should just keep it safe. My my time. What do you mean? Instead of, instead of saying my mind don't my move, my time. Maybe it should be my time. Now my mind don't move. I spent too much time with my mind on snooze. Now my mind don't move. Hold on. Go back. No. No, I don't, I don't think I like it. Take it out. Now my mind don't snooze. Now my mind don't move. What do you think? I feel like it sounds rushed. Yeah, so take it. I spent too much time on my mind on snooze. Now my mind. I, I don't. I don't even know if I like the bars. Let me take. Take it back to the. Take it back I to like the top of the song. I like your mind on snooze. I yeah, take, I, I like the bar. Right, but take it back to the top of the song again. I just want to keep catching the vibe of what I'm feeling. I got you. I got you. Thank you. Fascinating is something I gotta do. Ain't got time to deal with lies, gotta rely on the truth. Ain't got time for liabilities, I need a wife when I move. If you ain't on that type of time to move, why you acting like either one of us got time to lose? I spent too much time with my mind on snooze. I spent too much time to move. If you ain't on that type of time to move, why you acting like either one of us got time to lose? I spent too much time with my mind on snooze. I had some drama a time ago, but never mind those fools. What's that? Mm-hmm. Right, yeah. You hear back on the top of the verse? I'm buying shit. Huh? I'm buying some bitch. If you're Finally wondering, get to let you I'm know how I'm feeling about you. Like, Been procrastinating is something I gotta do. Ain't got time to deal with lies, gotta rely on the truth. Ain't got time for liabilities, I need a wife when I move. If you ain't on that type of time to move, why you acting like either one of us got time to lose? I spent too much time with my mind on snooze. I had some drama a time ago, but never mind those fools. You want to sing? Huh? Are you going to sing? You want me to? You going to put it I perfect think you should. right I there? think this is... Huh? Where it says, remember where it says perfect? No, no, no. I'm definitely going to do... I'm going to do a whole lot more stuff with you. Oh, I'm just going to sure. complete whatever I'm going to do. Then I'm going to bring it back to you and whatever you want Oh, no. Hey, no, 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 no. You, 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 too long in the park and the crew. Drama a time ago, but never mind. Take it back to the beginning. Got a song, please. Yeah, I can sing, though. I can do that. I need the tune ski, though. Perfect. 
Finally get to let you know how I'm feeling about you Been procrastinating, it's something I gotta do Ain't got time to deal with lies, gotta rely on the truth Ain't got time for liabilities, I need a wife when I move If you ain't on that type of time to move Why you acting like either one of us got time to lose? I spent too much time with my mind on snooze I had some drama a time ago, but never mind those fools Seems you got a melody or a cadence for me? Drama a time ago, but never mind those fools I spent too much time with my mind on snooze I had some drama a time ago, but never mind those fools Finally get to let you know how I'm feeling about you Been procrastinating, it's something you know I gotta what I wanna do say, Ain't got time to deal with lies, gotta rely on the truth Ain't got time for liabilities, I need a wife when I move If I was perverted, we talking to a chick why you I'd be like, I wanna marry you and be your husband, but I'm not waiting for I spent too much time with my mind so on snooze. I had some drama a time ago, but never mind no That's fools. That's the energy I want. Like, yeah, I love you. I wanna be your husband, but think I'm waiting forever if you want to. That's the energy. Now, you know, That's the energy. I get to let you know how I'm feeling about okay. you. That's the Whatever you feel. No, you. Huh? huh? The verse. No, 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 no. I'm gonna sing. No, 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 no. I'm gonna sing that, but I'm just saying. That's how I'm feeling because we saying, I want to let you know how I feel about you. I know you're gonna come up with something dope. No, no, no. I'm no, just, I'm just. Then, okay. No, 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 no. This is what I'm explaining. No, no. You get no, it. This is what I'm explaining. In the donut room, what we do is we just throw the vibe up. So I'm just saying, right. this the energy. That's I what I'm it. saying. Like, and whatever that feels. Well, whatever like, you're doing a minute ago, it goes right. Yeah. It knocks right in there. Yeah. And then, cause your your hook is so smooth, like it's crazy. So I'm gonna do this, and then them same lines that you was just tossing me. Right. Come in there and then lay them shits out. And right. then we'll do that, like have a bridge or some right. more shit, put a hook behind it. Right. Boom. Did we get the uh the art the pictures for the artwork? Yeah. Okay. I want you to know just how I feel. And I think we're gonna call this Jameson Flow. Jameson Flow. This is in uh in O to Jameson um, and Ginger. Jameson. Finally get to let you know how I'm feeling too. about you. Been procrastinating, it's something I gotta do. Ain't got time to deal with lies, gotta rely on the truth. Ain't got time for liabilities, I need a wife when I move. If you ain't on that type of time to move, why you acting like either one of us got time to lose? I spent too much time with my mind on snooze. I had some drama a time ago, but never mind those fools. Procrastinating is something like, I got to do. Or I never mind them rules. Rely, gotta rely on the truth. Ain't got time for like, liabilities. I need a watch. drama a time ago, but never mind those fools. Never since long, never mind those rules. Okay. Okay. Fuck the system, never mind those rules. But I don't know. Now I'm kind of going out of the context of what we're doing. Okay, so uh -huh. uh, you okay? Sing the verse. Come up with a, the ver a verse right there. Sing a verse, mm -hmm. and then I'll see if I can flip that verse. Okay. Gotcha. So, Doug, going back to word association. Can I hit that? Can I hit that? Yeah. Okay. Going back to word association. Yeah. Uh, maybe use a hourglass. Okay. Hourglass. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Finally get to let you know how I'm feeling about you. Been procrastinating, it's something I gotta do. Ain't got time to deal with lies, gotta rely on the truth. Ain't got time for liabilities, I need a wife when I move. If you ain't on that type of time to move, why you acting like either one of us got time to lose? I spent too much time with my mind on snooze. I had some drama a time ago, but never mind those fools. Should I stay rappy or should I go singy or? I want it. I, 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 I want it. I'm not waiting forever. Is the vibe? That's yeah. That's how I feel. I, 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 I think you should go singy. So what's the what's the what's the uh, melody? Finally get to let you. I spent too much time with my mind on snooze. I had some drama a time ago, but never mind those fools. Spent too much time with my mind on snooze. I had some drama a time ago, but never mind those fools. What you got? Mm -hmm. 
I spent too much time with my mind on snooze. I had some drama a time ago, but never mind those fools. I spent too much time I wasn't recording about okay. Move. If you ain't on that type of time to move. Why you acting like either one of us got time to lose? I spent too much time with my mind on snooze. I had some drama a time ago, but never mind those fools. I've loved you forever, but I can't wait forever. Yeah, or more singing. I've loved you Like that? Just do the, um... Just do it. How are you gonna do it? No, no, no. I'm gonna talk. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. It was just, it'd be like whatever. My I bad. And I don't be responding like, sometimes. Yeah, like, I just like, be in uh, my head. Help me, nigga. My <laughs> yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I wanna hear it. I spent too much time on my mind on snooze. I had some drama at time. Ooh. I spent too much time on my mind on snooze. I had some drama a time ago, but never mind those fools. I've loved you forever, I but I can't wait forever. I got told I love you. Do you even like it? Nah, not at all. <laughs> Why you gotta say it like that? Damn, man. Well, I mean, I feel like you I, already accepted that it that you needed to redo it. I don't know. Well, how should I not, say not like it? not at all, but more like uh. Well, how should I say it? Not I like that. It? Just more, you know. Oh, you just oh, so keep it, but do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I loved you forever. Not like that. Not like I didn't like that. I just didn't like that take. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, yeah. So that's so what I, I mean. Like how I just did right now. I loved you forever, and I can't do, wait do, for do the same singing, but like less vibrato. I've loved you forever. Yeah. Okay. I, I spent too much time with my mind on snooze. I had some drama a time ago, but never mind those fools. Oh, I've loved you forever, but I can't wait forever. Mm -hmm. Time and time, you waste my time. I spent too much time on my mind on snooze. I had some drama a time ago, but never mind those fools. Oh, I've loved you forever, but I can't wait forever. Time and time, you waste my time. Ooh, yeah. yeah, but just cleaner, cleaner, cleaner. Oh, I've loved you forever, but I can't wait forever. Time and time. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. The mics are picking y'all up. Please. What's up? I've loved you forever, but I can't wait for. You want to do the first one again before you move on? Yeah. Do you think that's it? Yeah, because it's not. I've loved you forever. I've loved you forever. I've loved. I I loved you. I've loved, I've loved you, you forever. I've loved you forever. I spent too much time on my mind on snooze. I had some drama a time ago, but never mind those fools. Oh wait. I I I, I loved you forever. I was, I was gonna lead in a little bit later. I I. I spent too much time on my mind on snooze. I had some drama a time ago, but never mind those fools. I, I, I loved you forever, but I can't wait forever. Yeah, what's his name? It's here. I spent too much time on my mind on snooze. I had some drama a time ago, but never mind those fools. I, I loved you forever. But I can't wait forever. Drama a time ago, but never mind those fools. I, I, I loved you. I, I loved you forever. But I can't wait forever. I, I loved you for. Let's see if do it again. Yeah, I don't okay. like the beginning. I, I, I. 
drama a type Move If you ain't on that type of I spent too much time with my mind on snooze I had some drama a time ago but never mind those fools I, I've loved you forever But I can't wait forever What you ain't gon' do is waste my time Drama a time ago but never mind those fools I, I've loved you forever but I can't wait forever What you ain't gonna do is waste my time I like that What you ain't gonna do is waste my time I, I've loved you forever But I can't wait forever What you ain't gonna do is waste my time Let me, I gotta get a little bit What you ain't gonna do is I, I've loved you forever but I can't wait forever What you ain't gonna do is waste my time No? Yeah? Let's hear it What you ain't gonna do is I thought I need to do that one line at a time Let me redo it, let me do it, let me do it, let me do it. What you ain't gonna do is waste my time I can do it better What you ain't gonna do Cut, I'm gonna do it like that What you ain't gonna do but I can't wait forever. What you ain't gonna do is no. What's that? No word. Waste my time. Waste my time. You want me to? Uh, can I try? Oh. Huh? Can I take a shot? Yeah, yeah. Just give me what. I, what okay, no. hold on. Oh, no, just no, let no, me okay. just finish completely, and then I'm gonna let you do whatever you want to do. Oh, for sure. Yeah, just give me. Just let me just dump everything out of my head, and then you can do whatever you want to do. Dump the dough. Huh? Just dump the dough. Dump the head. That's it. That's the only thing. I just. Let me dump it all out. If you want to change something, fix it. This is all good. Need the dough. Yeah, just give me a second. <laughs> I, I've loved you forever, but I can't wait forever. What you ain't gonna do is. Yeah, no. What you ain't gonna do. I feel like it's What you strong. ain't gonna do is. Keep it or no? Yeah, keep it. Do okay. the, you gotta do the rest. Okay. What you ain't gonna do. Waste my time. Let's go. What you ain't gonna do is waste my time. Thought you could do that better. Okay. What you ain't gonna do is waste my time. Time, time. What you ain't gonna do is. Was you gonna tell me how to do it? I didn't hear how you said it. What you ain't gonna do is waste my time. You're doing it right. Waste my time. Time. A time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What you ain't gonna do is waste my time. It ain't that. That's it. What you ain't gonna do is waste my time. What you ain't gonna do is waste my time. And loop that, loop that. Yeah, I'll yeah, that's all. Yeah, keep it simple. Keep it simple. Two for two on the loop. Two for two, two, for two on, on the uh, on the loop. Loop a fiasco. You understand? Right. And then watch this. Uh -huh. Watch this. My turn to cook. Now I'm even gonna risk. Right. I, I've loved you forever, but I can't wait forever. What you ain't gonna do is waste my time. I've loved you forever, but I can't wait forever. What you ain't gonna do is wait. And YDB, what do you think? If we have him take a crack at what I just did, should we just have him do what I just did and maybe blend both of our vocals together or separate them? Or should we just have him do something different? I think that would be dope, too. The way you just said. Yeah. Blend both of them together. Mm -hmm. That will give it a dope texture. I agree. I give it a dope agree. texture. Let me hear what you're going to do to my, <clears throat> to my vocals real quick. Yeah, I think there's still maybe some more meat on the bone after that, or what you think? Keep it there. 
I can't remember. I can't remember on the upbeat. We'll, is it we'll meat right or now. dog food? Mm-hmm. Is it meat or dog food? Find out next week on Morning Cup of Dough. When we eat or dog Morning food Cup of Nacho. Whoa. We're going to do a dog. We're going to do a taste test. Morning Cup of Dough. Da, 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 da. Morning Cup of Dog Food. You gotta get that good, expensive dog food too. That's right. You know, Not alpha. Don't bring no alpha around me. Then we can fly the hook again after all this too, right? So yeah, that's cool. We won't have to do much more after this. We can just have him double what I did in the middle of that shit. Okay, I want to. Uh, or do you want to, more? I'm trying know. to figure out what what's needed right now with the composition of it. We'll figure it out. Oh, that's okay. AKA me, shut the hell up. Mm, no, you're sure, you're sure. Right. I'm just trying to um, flesh out this idea that I had. <laughs> Some dumb shit. Mm-hmm. I know what he did. Some stupid uh, shit. Uh, what he did, man, it's gonna sound dope if it's what I think he did. Yeah, shoulder is out. <laughs> Nigga, you sampled his voice and put it in the beat? Is that what you just did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. crazy genius. Sure. I hear what's going on. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Mm-hmm.
What does that ooh? What does that sound like backwards? I'm not for sure yet. You see what that sounds like reversed? Mm -hmm. Just that little effect right there. Mm I just smoke some regular weed. That's crazy. What did that sound like? Crazy. Okay, so let's take it back to the beginning. Take it back to the very beginning and just play it up to where we stop. Me too. Fascinating is something I gotta do. Ain't got time to deal with lies, gotta rely on the truth. Ain't got time for liabilities, I need a wife when I move. If you ain't on that type of time to move, why you acting like either one of us got time to lose? I spent too much time with my mind on snooze. I had some drama a time ago, but never mind those fools. I, I love you forever, but I can't wait forever. What you ain't gonna do is waste my time. Like four, take me back like four. 
I was hoping I got to rap over there. Check, check. You still got the, the tune ski on me? Mm -hmm. But you ain't. I've loved you forever. But I can't wait forever. What you ain't gonna do is waste like my time. But at the same perfect. time, you the perfect version of you. And I get that. I wasn't recording my vibes. So. What you ain't gonna do is waste like my time. But at the perfect. same time, you the perfect version of you. And I respect that. At the perfect. same time, you the perfect version of you, and I respect that. And I'm the perfect version of me. Do you get that? Stuff. I'm you the perfect version of you, and I respect that. And I'm the perfect version of me. I know you get that. I like that. That's a, that's a great way to look at life. Because we're all just the perfect versions of ourselves. Like, you know what I'm saying? Up until now. <laughs> all right, here, let me hear it back from the top of the verse. You the perfect version of you, and I respect that. And I'm the perfect version of me. I know you get that. Let me hear back from like let me just let me just get back to just a couple of bars. What you ain't gonna do is waste my time. But at the perfect. same time, you the perfect version of you, and I respect that. And I'm the perfect version of me. I know you get that. And the time that we got, we never get back. I'm you the perfect version of you, and I respect that. And I'm the perfect version of me. I know you get that. And the time that we get, we never get back. I think that's a bar. You fuck with, oh, you didn't get it? I got it. You fuck with that? Get that. In the time that we get, we never get back. And I'm the perfect version of me. I know you get that. And you say all the time that we got, we never get back. You want to keep the party moving. Let's keep grooving, but I'm not going to change it. But yeah, the time that we have, we ain't going to get back. But you don't want to waste no more. Right, right, right. Time. I'm you the perfect version of you, and I respect that. And I'm the perfect version of me. I know you get that. The time that we get, we never get back. All the time that we got, we never get back. So we do it? Yeah. All the time that we got, we never get back. <clears throat> and I'm the perfect version of me. I know you get that. Oh, my bad. Too far. My bad. And you the perfect version of you, and I respect that. And I'm the perfect version of me. I know you get that. All the time that... Wait, how you say it again? All the time that we got, we never get back. How you say it again? All the time that we got, we never get All back. All the time that we got, we never get back. I'm you the perfect version of you, and I respect that. And I'm the perfect version of me. I know you get that. All the time that we get, we never get back. What? All the time that we got. All the time that we got, okay. we never get back. Right. <laughs> I'm you the perfect version of you, and I respect that. And I'm the perfect version of me. I know you get that. And all the time that we got, we never get back. Hear back from the top of the verse. Time. But at the perfect. same time, you the perfect version of you, and I respect that. And I'm the perfect version of me. I know you get that. And all the time that we got, we never get back. Almost done. I'm almost done. Time. 
But at the perfect. same time, you the perfect version of you And I respect that And I'm the perfect version of me I know you get that And all the time that we got, we never get back At the perfect. same time, you the perfect version of you, and I respect that. And I'm the perfect version of me, I know you get that. And all the time that we got, we never get back. What you ain't gonna do is waste my time. But at the perfect. same time, you the perfect version of you, and I respect that. And I'm the perfect version of me, I know you get that. And all the time that we got, we never get back. of you and I respect that and I'm the perfect version of me I know you get that and all the time that we got we never get back let me try that let me just try to smooth that out let me just try to you the perfect version of you and I respect that and I'm the perfect version of me I know you get that and all the time that we got we never get back so let's celebrate the time that we have Perfect version of you, and I respect that. And I'm the perfect version of me. I know you get that. And all the time that we got, we never get back. So let's celebrate the time that we have. The smiles look better on me. Ain't got time to be mad. The smiles, the smiles look better on me. Ain't got time to be mad. And all the time that we got, we never get back. So let's celebrate the time that we have. All right, all right, let me hear back. And all the time that we got, we never get back. So let's celebrate the time that we have. Smiles look better on me. The smiles look better on me. The smiles they look better on me. Ain't got time to be sad. Let's try. And all the time that we got, we never get back. So let's celebrate the time that we have. The smiles they look better. Oh, one more time. And all the time that we got, we never get back. So let's celebrate the time that we have. The smiles look better on me. Ain't got time to be mad. Yeah, yeah, we're or, almost or, there. Or your smile looks better on you. Ain't got time to be mad. Hold on a second. So let's celebrate the time that we have. The smiles look better on me. Ain't got time to be mad. I, I like it. I like it where it's at because I'm just I'm taking ownership of how I feel like I that feel inward view. Like you yeah, know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that because that's what I can control. Like you know what I mean? You're taking accountability for yourself. Yeah, 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 for real. Good time. 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 But at the same time, you the perfect version of you, and I respect that. And I'm the perfect version of me, I know you get that. And all the time that we got, we never get back. So let's celebrate the time that we have. The smiles look better on me, ain't got time to be mad. I'd rather shine in the jet. I'd rather shine in the jet. I'd rather shine in the jet. So let's celebrate the time that we have. The smiles look better on me. Ain't got time to be mad. I'd rather shine in the jack. Let's go. Ain't got time to be mad. I'd rather shine in the jack. Must look better on me. So let's celebrate the time that we have. The smiles look better on me. Ain't got time to be mad. I'd rather shine in the jack. The time flies in the past. Back. Let me get back on top of that after the, the bridge. I'm about to hand over the car to you in about two minutes. Oh, it's gonna be two minutes. That time flew from the past. Yeah. I like that. Uh, you the per so you the perfect version of you. But at the perfect. same time, you the perfect version of you. And I respect that. And I'm the perfect version of me. I know you get that. And all the time that we got, we never get back. 
So let's celebrate the time that we have. The smiles look better on me. Ain't got time to be mad. I'd rather shine in the jazz. The time flies in the past. At the same time, you the perfect version of you, and I respect that. And I'm the perfect version of me, I know you get that. And all the time that we got, we never get back. So let's celebrate the time that we have. The smiles look better on me, ain't got time to be mad. I'd rather shine in the jazz, the time flies in the past. I got another line. It's prime time to get past. Look better on me, ain't got time to be mad. I'd rather shine in the jazz. The time flies in the past. It's prime time to get past. Look better on me, ain't got time to be mad. I'd rather shine in the jazz. The time flies in the past. It's prime time to get past. Time to be mad, I'd rather shine in the jazz. The time flies in the past. It's prime time to get past. Must prime... look better on me. Ain't got time to be mad. I'd rather shine in the jazz. The time flies in the past. It's prime time to get past. Let me hear it again. Must look better on me. Ain't got time to be mad. I'd rather shine in the jazz. The time flies in the past. It's prime time to get past. Trauma and oh, see it. Must look better on me, ain't got time to be mad. I'd rather shine in the jazz. The time flies in the past. It's prime time to get past. Trauma and pain in the past. Let me hear it again. Must look better on me, ain't got time to be mad. I'd rather shine in the jazz. The time flies in the past. It's prime time to get past. Trauma and pain in the past. I want to see where you're going. Okay, I'm about to know. Yeah, I got to. Yeah, I know where I'm going to go into it. Let me hear it back from the top. Let me hear it back from the top of the song. I just, I'm still trying to encapsulate it so I can execute the landing. And then can I double all this stuff up? Not too much, but a little bit. Procrastinating is something I gotta do. Ain't got time to deal with lies, gotta rely on the truth. Ain't got time for liabilities. I need a wife when I move. Pause it for a second. If you ain't on that type of time to move. So, uh, Esau, mm -hmm. you told me that you have a, a distinct skill of being able to flip other people's stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So, do you think that if I just have you double everything I do, you can flip what I'm doing like in a different tone and melody and we blend that together? Yeah, I can flip that. Okay, so just have, start thinking about how you want to do that in your head. Play it again okay. in the beginning. I'm that's gonna do be it crazy. Like, I'm gonna do it just like you did. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm gonna flip it. Yeah, yeah. Oh. And that's gonna make it sound crazy. It's something I gotta do. Ain't got time to deal with lies, gotta rely on the truth. Ain't got time for liabilities, I need a wife when I move. If you ain't on that type of time to move. 
Why you acting like either one of us got time to lose? I spent too much time with my mind on snooze. I had some drama a time ago, but never mind those fools. I, I've loved you forever, but I can't wait forever. What you ain't gonna do is waste my time. I've loved you forever, but I can't wait forever. What you ain't gonna do is waste my time. But at the same time, you the perfect version of you, and I respect that. And I'm the perfect version of me, I know you get that. And all the time that we got, we never get back. So let's celebrate the time that we have. The smiles look better on me, ain't got time to be mad. I'd rather shine in the jazz. The time flies in the past. It's prime time to be past. Trauma and pain in the past. Time to be mad. I'd rather shine in the jazz. The time flies in the past. It's prime time to be past. Trauma and pain in the past. Hard times make hard people. No, this is this is the fucked up part. Pause, pause, pause. pause, pause, pause. It's the fucked up part about it. I got a dope ass line that I feel like I can't even deliver because I know niggas is gonna pause the hell out of it. But let me of tell you what the line of it is. I already know what it is. The line is this: <laughs> Hard times make hard people. But hard times don't last. No, that's what's wrong with that. That's a dope line. Yeah, I'm time to get past. Trauma and pain in the past. Hard times make hard people, but hard times don't last. I thought you was acceptable. Okay, here we go. Let's see it. Time to get past. Trauma and pain in the past. Hard times make hard people, but hard times don't last. I like that line. Let me hear it. And I'm going to just let him do all my ad-libs and doubles. I think that would give it a really unique flavor. Mm -hmm. And then if he wants to add more after that, he can. Let me hear it, though. But at the same time, you the perfect version of you, and I respect that. And I'm the perfect version of me. I know you get that. And all the time that we got, we never get back. So let's celebrate the time that we have. The smiles look better on me. Ain't got time to be mad. I'd rather shine in the jazz. The time flies in the past. It's prime time to get past. Trauma and pain in the past. Hard times make hard people, but hard times don't last. Let me hear it. Hold on. Let me tell you. Pause it. Let me hear what you're saying. Say it. Let me hear it. Let me hear what you're saying. Run it again. Play it. Time. But at the same time, you the perfect version of you, and I respect that. And I'm the perfect version of me. I know you get that. And all the time that we got, we never get back. So let's celebrate the time that we have. The smiles look better on me. Ain't got time to be mad. I'd rather shine in the jazz. The time flies in the past. It's prime time to get past. Trauma and pain in the past. Hard times make hard people, but hard times don't last. Like that. No, but see, because I've been lost in the speed of time. I got it, though. So, yeah, so, yeah, I, I, I like that, but what you're saying is, is if, it's, if it's a lateral, it's not. Well, yeah, 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 so yeah, I just like that. It's everything is time. Yeah, I felt like what I said was good. Let me hear one more time. And then I can just let him go over it and then see where we're at after that. Can we hear back from the beginning one more time? I know she said one day we should make a pause song. Uh, Play the pause song. Pause That's wild. This is cold. to let you know how I'm feeling about you. Been procrastinating, it's something I gotta do. Ain't got time to deal with lies, gotta rely on the truth. Ain't got time for liabilities, I need a wife when I move. If you ain't on that type of time to move, why you acting like either one of us got time to lose? I spent too much time with my mind on snooze. I had some drama a time ago, but never mind those fools. I, I've loved you forever, but I can't wait forever. What you ain't gonna do is waste my time. my time but at the 
at the same time, you the perfect version of you, and I respect that. And I'm the perfect version of me, I know you get that. And all the time that we got, we never get back. So let's celebrate the time that we have. The smiles look better on me, ain't got time to be mad. I'd rather shine in the jazz. The time flies in the past. It's prime time to get past. Trauma and pain in the past. Hard times make hard people, but hard times don't last. Go ahead, do what you want to do. Sense. What to go over it? Yeah, so I'm gonna go right. This beat is stupid. Uh, I wanna hit that in there. I do forever. I can't let Move. If you ain't on that type of. No, I'm not gonna record it yet. I just wanna hear that. I spent too much time with my mind on snooze I had some drama a time ago, but never mind those fools I, I loved you forever But I can't wait forever What you ain't gonna do is waste my time I loved you forever But I can't wait forever What you ain't gonna do is waste my time but at the same time, you the perfect version of you, and I respect okay. that, and I'm the perfect version of me. I know you. Get I love you forever, but I can't wait forever. But you ain't gonna. I, I love you forever, but I can't wait. But I can't wait forever. But you ain't gonna do it. But you ain't gonna do it forever. But I'm not gonna wait forever. You said what? In the second verse, the first one is I ain't gonna wait forever, and the second one, but I'm not gonna wait forever. Wait, let's say. I have loved you forever, but I can't wait forever. What you ain't gonna do is waste my time. I have loved you forever, but I can't wait forever. What it's the same thing, because right. he had just looped it. I have loved you forever, but I can't wait forever. What you ain't gonna do is waste my time. I spent too much time with my mind on snooze. I had some drama a time ago, but never mind those fools. I, I, I love you forever, but I can't wait forever. What you ain't gonna do is waste my time. I love you forever. That's the first one, but I kind of got mixed up in the middle one, so let me do it a few more times. But it's along that pace, but it's not that real. Whatever you want to do. You just take that one you want to keep that one or take it out? Keep it. Okay. Let's just keep it, but um, I want to do that again. Like it when that booty go. Oh, chat. We will be having some changes to the set coming next week. I can't give away too many uh, surprises, but just know some uh, upgrades to production is coming soon. The first one makes a noise. Hmm? I'll hear it. Drama a time ago, but never mind those fools. I, I love you forever, but I can't wait forever. Drama a time ago, but never mind those fools. I, I love you forever, but I can't wait forever. What you ain't gonna do is waste my time. Drama a time ago, but never mind those fools. I, I love you forever. But I can't wait forever. What you ain't gonna do is waste my time. Ooh, that's crazy. I like that. Uh -huh. Layer that up? Yeah. Yeah, let him layer that up. I, I've loved you forever. But I can't wait forever. I spent too much time with my mind on snooze. I had some drama a time ago, but never mind those fools. I, I love you forever, but I can't wait forever. What you ain't gonna do is waste my time. I love you forever, but I. I spent too much time with my mind on snooze. I had some drama a time ago, but never mind those fools. I, I loved you forever, but I can't wait forever. What you ain't gonna do is waste my time. I loved you forever, but I can't wait forever. What you ain't gonna do is waste my time.
waste my time. But at the same right. time, that's just gonna we'll sound crazy. Do. Wait till he put the You want to add some on it? Yeah. Okay, let me add like that's some on that. Let's keep adding it up. Like seven layer dip, you heard? YD Bitch, this is your greatest work, your magnum opus, if you will. You know what magnum opus is? It's a huge is that what condom. You call your dumps? It's a <laughs> horse condom. <laughs> Drama a time ago, but never mind those fools. I, I loved you forever, but I can't wait forever. What you ain't gonna do is waste my time. This is crazy. Drama a time ago, but never mind those. Drama a time ago, but never mind those fools. I, I loved you forever, but I can't wait forever. What you ain't gonna do is waste my time. Drama a time ago, but never my move. I, I loved you forever, but I can't wait forever. What you ain't gonna do is waste my time. I loved you forever, but I can't wait forever. What you ain't gonna do is waste my time. But at the Perfect. same time, I, I loved you forever, but I can't wait forever. At the same right. time. I spent too much time with my mind on snooze. I had some drama a time ago, but never mind those fools. I I loved you forever, but I can't wait forever. What you ain't gonna do is waste my time. I I loved you forever, but I can't wait forever. What you ain't gonna do. But at the Perfect. same time, drama a time ago, but never mind those fools. I, I loved you forever, but I. That was one of the reinforced Joe Boy's tone. Drama a time ago, but never mind those fools. I, I loved you forever. I can't wait forever. What you ain't gonna do is waste my time. I I loved you forever, but I can't wait forever. What you ain't gonna do is waste my time. But at the same time, can you drop segregate the one I just did so I can hear what it sounds like? Because that's a different vocal tone I want. Drama a time ago, but never mind those fools. I, I loved you forever, but I can't wait forever. Drama a time ago, but never mind those fools. I, I loved you forever, but I can't wait forever. You ain't gonna do this. Drama a time ago, but never mind those fools. I, I loved you Drama a time ago, but never mind those fools. I, I loved you forever. I can't wait forever. What you ain't gonna do is waste my time. Another one, yeah. You mean that one again? Yeah. Okay. I spent too much time with my mind on snooze. I had some drama a time ago, but never mind those fools. I, I can't wait. I spent too much time on my mind on snooze. I had some drama a time ago, but never mind those fools. I, I loved you forever, but I can't wait forever. What you ain't gonna do. Okay. I spent too much time on my mind on snooze. I had some drama a time ago, but never mind those fools. I, I loved you forever, but I can't wait. I spent too much time with my mind on snooze. I had some drama a time ago, but never mind those fools. I, 
I've loved you forever, but I can't wait forever. What you ain't gonna do is waste my time. I've loved you forever, but I can't wait forever. What you ain't gonna do is waste my time. But at the same time. At the same time, you the perfect version of you, and I respect that. And I'm the perfect version of me, I know you get that. And all the time that we got, we never get back. So let's celebrate the time that we have. The smiles look better on me, ain't got time to be mad. I'd rather shine in the jazz. The time flies in the past, it's prime time to get past. Trauma and pain in the past. Hard times make hard people, but hard times don't last. I want you to know just how I feel about you. Let me say something in the video, let me get that seat back. Yeah, Yo, boy! Porn stash! Oh, boy, we got another one. We got another one. Another my one. first one ever. Another one. Another one. Let's go, chat. Let us know what you think about this one. Jameson flow, right? Yes, sir. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a call and repeat in the beginning. So I'm gonna shout out Jameson and all of that. Johnny Stash. Hold on, 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 hold don't start, to, don't start talking to the beat drops. You know what I'm saying? Right there? Yeah. It's another one, and another one. Yeah. Look, you already know the way that it goes. I'm rolling with my dog. This is them Jameson flows. Me and Esau, Esau, Esau. Nice. That was hard. That was hard. Yeah. <laughs> nice. That tied it all in. Yeah. I needed that, Loki. Yeah. That just kind of gave it that cohesiveness. They gave it that. Secret sauce. Yeah. Secret sauce. It's all about the sauce. It's all about the sauce. This is what, nigga, we just create vibes, bro. And you know, you welcome anytime, nigga. You, you, you honorary unk on the show, bro. You can pull up whenever you want, bro. Come talk past shit, nigga. You already know. You family around this motherfucker. I'm, yep, I'm your you, auntie boyfriend. Come on, man. You know the vibe. I'm your nigga. auntie boyfriend. Okay. That's bro right there. Hey, hey, your auntie boyfriend. Put it in the chat if y'all want. He's another to come one. Back. And another one. Yeah. Look. You already know the way that it goes. I'm rolling with my dog. This is them Jameson flows. Me and Esau. 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 It's another one, and another one. You see how I even changed my modulation on the It's second? another one, and another one. It's another one, and another one. Did you hear what I did, or you didn't care? I heard what you did. It wasn't that impressive to you? I just wasn't, I, I'm in the zone. Like, oh, this is why I should leave you alone. It's another one, and another one. Yeah. Shit by far. Uh -huh. 
we're gonna figure out a way to make these uh, streams shorter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we just be cooking. I don't care. Shit. Fuck we'll it. Get there. I'd rather have too much than not enough. That is the rule of cooking. You know? True. Except for last night when I made that pasta, it was way too much garlic. They want. You know, of course, you put too much garlic in the pasta. You're they, the type. They want Auntie's boyfriend back. And another for one. For sure. Yeah. Look, you already know the way that it goes. I'm rolling with my dog. This is the Jameson that flows. Me and Esau. 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 It's another one. And another one. I think that's the one. This the one for real. And we're gonna shoot a video to this too. Yeah. Talking about the effects. I know. I, I got it. I got it. Yeah, I got that it. Was, that yeah, was that was it. it. That was it. That was mm -hmm. the pocket. I was trying to get that filter. Yeah. In the pocket. See, I was. I was seeing what you were doing. Clue be producing in the back. <laughs> Pause. Whoa. <laughs> this is crazy. Let's go. Way. We're going to panini bread after this nigga. Pizza. 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 on me. Slice on me. Uh, snap. That was funny. That nigga's getting excited about pizza. Right. <laughs> Ooh, and I'm getting my slice too. Pepperoni, sausage, bacon, wow. Wow. pineapple, jalapeno. Damn fool! Yeah, fool. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. I, wonder, I wonder if we should just get like half a piece of that and half cheese. Uh, I don't give a damn. Hey, bro. Man, that might you, know be you know what they got at Del Taco? What they got at Del. Oh, them two forty uh, forty cent tacos. No. What? I got the app. That taco burger. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I want to try that. It looks good. It's fire, bro. Is it fire? It, it looks, looks like fire. Mexican it's Mexican sloppy joe. Mexican sloppy joe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's That's fire. Wild. Let me hear this shit again. Hold on, hold on. Jeff likes your pizza order. You almost ready with the artwork? The artwork's ready. You want to uh, premiere? You, you premier? uh, yeah, you want me to post on. it? Hold on. I'm almost done, man. So he's about to have the artwork for us in a second, too. Oh, is, James this, is Jameson still in the chat? It's just a little No, uh, but uh, we're going to hit her with the, uh, with the link. Okay. She said she had to go. Well, she left her email address or something? Uh, she sent you a DM. Oh, okay. Yeah. I want you to know about me. Nigga, that hook is that might be the best hook that's been laid in the history of Morning Cup of Dub. <clears throat> by far. I don't even know if it's close. You wanna argue with me, YDB? Mm -mm. I'd rather you argue with me so I can win. We can put up a poll. Put up a poll. Oh, is we... this the best hook yet? Because okay. what's the best? What's I the mean, other one? Thinking of your mom. Okay. No, what's the what's the other ones? Then? What's the Thinking top What's the top three hooks, and we'll put those in the in the chat. Notc. Notc is hard. Notc is a good hook. Let's let's just pick three. Pick uh, three. Uh, sad in the club. Sad in the clubs are sad real good. So those so, are three. Those three. That's like top three for those me. Those three. Those three. So sad, sad in the club. club. But leveling up is hard too, though. <clears throat> mm, leveling up. Damn, you're right. We're gonna have to listen to all these after this yeah. and decide what this. I mean, we might as hooks, well. Man. We might as well just go far. Um, you don't have should to be we, compelled to stay, but we're going to probably run. Sh should we reveal the... Uh, artwork? Yeah. It's no, no, not even the artwork. Uh, since we're on, on the polls, we never revealed yesterday's polls. We said we'll do that today. Oh, go ahead. Do it right now, motherfucker. Should we do that? I think I know you son of a bitch. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> nah, actually, it's a lot closer than you believe. I know, I know, but I know I Pete. lost. Go ahead. Me and CP, who won? CP won by a hair, bro. Right, 46 see. to 54 percent right. votes out of 144 votes. So that's very, very close. It's almost 50-50. That's, that's a good... Uh, that, that, 
says it's a really good track can off you, top can you play if, real quick? if it if it's that close. Can you play so he can hear real quick and see what hold he, on, who on. he would have voted? Hold on. Who for me? Yeah, I wanna see who you would Okay. You know you you know C P. Yeah. Uh, he was here yesterday. My bad. I'm I'm still routing and just give me a second to route on the I'll route you, nigga. <laughs> Type shit. I'm route that shit. mustache. I'm on shit, nigga. Route that mustache yeah, to a barber shop. Like, I'm gonna put you back on a paper route. <laughs> <laughs> And you know what? Uh, I had a paper route. I did too. Where was your paper route at? In Lamb Park. I was telling these niggas, tell me if I'm lying. Did they not used to fucking have crystal delivery service where they used to deliver milk and yeah. juice? <laughs> Nigga, I told niggas I used to steal niggas' milk. Yeah, a different type of you crystal delivery service. Absolutely. Right. I, I, right there. I, I'm telling you, nigga, Yo, I wasn't lying. They had milk, eggs, and orange juice. I'm telling you, nigga, I used to I, steal I, I, niggas' shit. And did, you, I used to bring wait, did, did you do this when you used to have a paper route? When they used to have the coupons, did you used to steal the coupons? No. I did. I was a thief. <laughs> Come on, man! Don't make me look bad. You don't have to steal them. I did. You didn't have to steal them. We don't have extra papers left. I wanted more. <laughs> I need fifty-four. You know me and my symphony bar. They say, say McGraw washed me on this with God damn. Hey, hey. hey Where do you hey, see hey, that? I got a hey, pin there. Me and my brother. Uh, oh, I was no. I'm paperboy and you parkway. Nigga, that's dangerous. You had to ride with the semi in the bag. I didn't even know, but I was harassing two-time felons for uh, they, for the Sacramento Bee. <laughs> no, that I, was avoiding me. No, let me tell you the paper boy. Let me tell you what my career trajectory. Like see me coming on my bike. They closed the blinds. They the, peep peep this. the door. Let me tell you what my career trajectory was in Sacramento. I was a paper boy for like four years. Then I worked at the Sacramento <laughs> Bee in the in the in the uh, in the actual factory. Like putting the, the the papers together and yeah. bundling that shit. I was going like try to be an executive. Me one and my day. brother, man, we was talking about. We was just thinking back. It's like because we, we had the manager for a paper route. Uh huh. He was like thirty. Uh huh. He got me. My, my brother was. I was. I was like eleven, and my brother was twelve. Mm -hmm. Right. He's thirty, but he he managing kids. Mm -hmm. He bullying us and talking shit. Uh -huh. And I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking back on it as a man, and I was like, this mother. Be just ridiculous. I need to go get. I need when they invent time travel. I'm gonna take me a trip <laughs> as a grown man to find Barry and beat his ass. <laughs> can we can we hear that while like like you do this, this or no? As I throw you off. Yes. No. No. I, I, I'm good now. I'm good now. Right, so listen to this and tell me who. Put up the artwork real quick. This is just you can just be honest because niggas made it a competition, so it's friendly competition. But tell me who you think is better. Here we go. In three. That two. was hide and seek, right? No. No. Detroit, Detroit though. Detroit, though. Oh, Detroit though. Okay. So that was two shows ago. All right, you ready? Yep. In three, two, one. Yeah, y'all yeah, niggas wanted that Detroit experience. Fuck, now nah, look at it. Nigga, we on the mile, nigga. Nigga, racing down the avenue, shootout shit. Nobody in the crew got hit, you knew that shit. The girl be lying when she tell you she don't do that shit. Cause she do it for the crew, cause the crew that shit. See, we don't do that shit, nigga, we move that shit. Off of every 20 fiends, maybe two got sick. Babies is raising they self, how they grew that quick. All it take is one body, maybe two, that's it. Little niggas getting paid cause they do that shit. Check your shirt, I see blood, nigga, who got hit? That ain't us, that was Gus, that shit flew back shit. You know I recognize them niggas off that school craft shit. This nigga bumped me when he asked me if I knew that bitch I said that bitch got a little caboose, that's it This bitch was too rad shit, a little too rad bitch But if you see that bitch with me, that means he choosing, that's uh, it And I spend your whole go. block, I don't care who got hit Don't pull that gun out unless you really finna shoot that shit You pussy niggas talking, I'm a type to do that shit I'm not impressed, but I don't threat, you gotta prove that shit Put silencers on all the guns, we gotta f*** that shit If the hoe get out of pocket, I'ma boot that bitch Wanna go to war with me, you finna lose that shit Leave your hoe around me and you gon' lose that bitch Man, that's some true ass shit On some what you finna do ass shit Nothing you bluffing, homie I'll put something through your shit Have you go from one beef to one who saw shit I'll leave the witnesses alive I don't care who saw shit A hundred bands and blew through that shit I can make a hundred times that I keep doing that shit I got a vision I can't let these niggas ruin that shit More than a cup of dough The product and I'm moving that shit uh, Better have your Glock when you ride with me Say you wanna ride, we gon' ride to the D Better have your Glock when you ride with me Say you wanna ride, we gon' ride to the D Better have your Glock when you ride with me Say you wanna ride, we gon' ride to the D Better have your Glock when you ride with me Say you wanna ride, we gon' ride to the D Better have your Glock when you ride with me Say you wanna ride, we gon' ride to the D Better have your Glock when you ride with me so you wanna ride with me? So I'm saying this was just the whole song. Okay, so what would we judge? The rap. Just the rap. Who had the better verse? Right, so pause it, pause it. So who had the better rapping verse? Mm. Not the hook at all. And it's okay. Hook don't it's count. 
It's okay if you say it's him. 54% well, I, I, of people think I, I, it's him. I want to say, but I'm not just going to say, I'm going to say why. Okay. So what? Who though? Is it Smarl? Who Pizza? though? It, it, it who? He saw who? A piece in there. Did you see me get my eye boogers out? Now I'm up. Okay. You ever yeah, notice that? You be yeah. tired, and then when you wipe them crumbs out your eyes, you be up. You be yeah. like, whoa, what's in that turkey meat? Listen. <laughs> so, the world. Just because of this one part, I think CP might have edged you out. What did he say? When the part when he was talking about who got hit, oh that's Gus. When the when the blood it's the flew same back, shit that motherfucking conclusion. When said. he said that blood flew back, shout out conclusion. You ain't right. I was like, <laughs> and he put that in that, he put that in that group right there. I was just, like, I'm letting him land. I was just like, ugh. Yeah. Yeah, I because it's like it's because like he walking forward, then it was like he reversed the he reversed the joint and then kept the move and then bounced it back forward. I was just like, oh. He threw it. It's like that ain't that, good. That, that was good. That was good. Yeah. yeah that wow. that was like that was like that. that and when you're in the dunk contest, that self lob off the backboard to yourself. That's what that was. Mm-hmm. But what about what I said? Yours was dope. <laughs> Put all the good touch and on all the guns. We gotta flip this shit. But it was it was it was, it was, it was dope. It was predictable though. And, I know. It's not even it, that it was, was predictable. That, it was it's that wrinkle like, that he put in there to me that just just, just tipped the scale. It's like it's like it was the difference. that wrinkle right there that just made you that 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 put a little spank look on your face. It's the difference you. between someone doing like, like like making the chick disappear on stage, what you did like your bar, what you're talking about, and the difference between someone like changing the card right in front of you in your hand. You know what I mean? Like you got a card in your hand and they don't even touch it, and then it, the card changes. You're like, what the fuck? It's that type of you know what I'm saying? Both masterful, both. It's just different type of stage trick. That's all good. In uh, the... Go ahead, finish, finish the mix. <laughs> no boy, is your ego hurt? Huh? <laughs> no, no, this no is boy, fun like, to me. It's all good. No, this is fun to me. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun to Fuck me. y'all, so. Yeah, no boy's like, like, fuck y'all on his head. I'm doing every episode. I don't even get to take episodes uh, off, for real. Uh, this is my favorite shit, man. This shit hard. That YDB did the best on this track. Appreciate that, Jeff Life. Uh, perfect. Finally get to let you know how I'm feeling about you. Been procrastinating, it's something I gotta do. Ain't got time to deal with lies, gotta rely on the truth. Ain't got time for liabilities, I need a wife when I move. If you ain't on that type of time to move. Why you acting like either one of us got time to lose? I spent too much time on my mind on snooze. I had some drama a time ago, but never mind those fools. I, I loved you forever, but I can't wait forever. What you ain't gon' do is waste my time. I loved you forever, but I can't wait forever. What you ain't gon' do is waste my time. But at the same time, you the perfect version of you and i respect that and i'm the perfect version of me i know you get that and all the time that we got we never get back so let's celebrate the time that we have the smiles look better on me ain't got time to be mad i'd rather shine in the jazz the time flies in the past it's prime time to get past trauma and pain in the past hard times make hard people but hard times don't last So yo, doe. So wait a minute, YDB. My bad. I'm just. Uh, just to give doe his flowers now, cause we mess with doe. Let's do that. Let's do that. Yeah, yeah. We mess with doe. Of course. You know what I mean? Everyone want to mess with him. Like, oh, someone got you in your own room, in your own home, doe. <laughs> they got you in your. And it's funny, you know. But in all reality, you're winning because ain't there, someone might come one day and do something dope one day. Right. We might wait for them to come back. Facts. You're putting up these shots every single day, and you ain't missed yet. Facts. Big facts. Big facts. Feel me? So, 
No matter what, I don't know nobody else who's cutting a record every single day, cutting a podcast every single day, okay. and you know what I mean, and, and bringing your whole team together along for the ride. So, he wants to do. He wants to do another layer. No, not a layer of that one. Of what? Just on that beat. Of what? What are we doing? Yeah, right. Oh, we want to do it in a different day. No, what do you want to do? What are we talking about? I just want to sing a different song on that beat. On the same beat? Yeah. Well, hold on. We got oh, we can do that. that. That can be something completely. Yeah, that's yeah. Oh, yeah. Totally yeah. Okay, okay. My bad. Remix. I misinterpreted what you said. Yeah, 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 yeah. My bad, my bad, my they bad, said, my bad. Uh, <laughs> Steph Curry with that shot, boy. But yeah, straight up. So, Flowers Dope. You've been killing it, my guy. Thank you, brother. I really appreciate it. No, boy. How long has it been yeah. in the making? Huh? First joint. How long has it been in the making? What? The, what, what Since what before you moved to L.A.? What? We were talking about doing a mixtape? Oh, man. Probably 15 years at this point. Because I came out here, out, out here in 09. So, yeah. it's been a minute. But it's, it's, we can get it done now. That's right. We're going to be releasing all these songs. Like this song that we just mm -hmm. did, we're going to be releasing it commercially, bro. Like oh, every dope. song that we do is going up. So, it's like, you know, we're going to be... Can you help me with this, YDB, please? It's my bad. Just, I want to hear that hook, too. The way you guys layered it together. Yeah. Oh, no, we're going to mix the whole song. Yeah. We gotta remember, even Gilbert Arenas put up like 50 on Kobe. Kobe was putting up them shots all the time, yo. I'm changing this delay back to the one that. Exactly. That's exactly what I was just saying, too. See, they said Doe got that Mamba mentality in 2024. Rest in peace to the GOAT. Yeah, I think I'm going to just do it like this. Let me see. Delay. Space echo. Give me the echo. Give me the space. Let me know when uh, you're ready to play the song, like, mixed, so that way I can drop the artwork. All right. Give me, like, five. For sure. And I got another one roll for What's, the occasion. That's right. What's the, Go ahead, that, spark that now. It's Won't not you? that. I want they this, work, This beat is crazy. <clears throat> this beat is wild. Matter of fact, what I do is this. Shout out Johnny Stash. He said this is one of his favorite podcasts now. That's right. Appreciate you, Mr. Stash. From one stash <laughs> to another. Stash. <laughs> uh, stash talk. Stash talk. <laughs> I know, that's, that's a good name hey, for a podcast. That is stash a funny talk. name for a podcast. That's hilarious. Stash talk. You stash talk. Starring you and Jack. Mm -hmm. Right. It's me and Jack. It's called, mm -hmm. it's called Studio 26? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Studio 26 Productions. Uh, oh. It's gonna sound shitty. Give me a second. I'm gonna make it sound better. Just give me a second. Give me a second. I was just the uh, volume is what I was tweaking. Off. Time to move. 
Why you acting like either one of us got time to lose? I spent too much time on my mind on snooze. I had some drama a time ago, but never mind those fools. What? What was that? What was that? What was that? The chair making a noise. Uh-huh. All right. We good? So you ready? I think I think we're I think we're smooth. Yeah, okay, let's, we, let's queue up the artwork. Can, we, uh, can I listen to the? Because we stopped it right at the hood. My bad. What do you want to listen to? No, we're gonna play. We're gonna play. We're gonna play. Oh, okay. We're gonna play with the artwork. artwork. Oh, okay, so let's get this. So, can we get a round of applause for YDB? I can't YD- wait to see this artwork. Can we get a round of applause for YDB with the beat and the production and the mix and Esau with the verse? Esau's first studio session ever. Nice. For real? Oh, dope. Oh shit. That's another first. Okay, time first. For the show. That's right. Here we go. In three, two, one. Let's go. Wow. <laughs> uh, nah, computer said, all right, dog. Let's run that back. Yeah, computer said, all right, bro. Enough effects. Like, you got like 30 of them bitches on there. <laughs> That's cool, though. It kept up Chill for a while. With the I'm, on the, I'm on the hook. On I, the hook. I love the cover, too. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, can you change it to Jameson Flows with an S on the end? Okay. Thank you. Gotcha. Man, what's going on? Why I keep stopping? It's just... Is it tweaking? Yeah, just tweaking. It, it's just because I'm doing a lot. All right. Just give it a second. Let me, uh... <coughs> you want to bounce it Puppy's and then play it? Yeah, I could do that. Is yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me do that. That's what I was actually going to do right fast. The name of the album is Puppy's Ass and Roses? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. no. So what we do is we... Is this is a daily podcast that we do. Oh, no. So we, we just drop a weekly EP. You know what I'm saying? So every week we drop out of, you know what I'm saying, all the songs that we record and we, you know, put them out together. So while uh, the track's breaking, should I do the breakdown of the... Uh... Yes, Please, please sir, <clears throat> do the breakdown of the other All right, so obviously we started with Jameson, who was the dog. Mm-hmm. So off of her picture and, and her telling me what dog, what type of dog it was, I dug through, found a picture of the dog that looked just like her dog, but as a puppy. Nice. Um, obviously, I had you guys already pre-take a picture in a certain pose for this dog and the rose to be in your hands. Mm-hmm. Um, since you guys were talking about loving a girl, and love, or possibly, I threw two females behind you, one for each of you. <laughs> uh and then um, I put you in Venice Beach because to me, I don't know, it sounded like like the vibe was real dope. It sounded like the uh, beach vibe to me, like you could cruise down the, the boardwalk and, and listen to that. So I'm like, OK, boardwalk vibes, muscle beach, girls on the uh, rollerblades. Damn, I know gave me? this fool the nostalgic vibe with the beat. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah. That's right. The beat is cold. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I was like, OK, let's run there with it. Um, so, yeah, that's that's how we uh, cooked that up. Shout Ro- out round of to, applause uh, for Jameson. yourself. Round of applause for yourself. Let me just audition it real fast. I started over. Awesome. All right, we're going to run it back. Can we bring that oh, weed in here? Uh, what? You said what? Let me send the version with the flows. Alright, I'm about to. Okay, here we go. Hi. Right. 
We're good. We're about to be wrapped up. I want to thank you for coming out and rocking with this squadron, man, boy. Peaches and puppies. Peaches <laughs> and puppies. Cakes go with everything. <laughs> That's right. Mm-hmm. The breakdown of the cakes, please. Well, see, I mean, yeah. Like Jay Moore said, cakes, cakes kind of go with everything. And, mm-hmm. you know, we're selling a visual, and those are nice visuals. So it just kind of works. Best believe it. We're going to play it two more times, and we're going to get up out of here. Actually, we can just play it one more time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bouncing. Niggas, be, niggas be acting like we ain't been on here for five and a half hours. Like, shit, you know, do shit. Facts. Pizza, 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 mm. pizza. Shout out to everybody uh, that tunes Cheats. in every single day with us. That, uh, you know what I mean? Sit through the episode, whether it's three hours, five hours, six hours. We definitely have those that stick with us and we see you guys every single day. So shout outs to you guys for tuning in. Shout out to these edibles that made this creative process possible how did that uh how'd that guys go how'd that go for you guys I I felt... got good, keep, 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 keep. <laughs> how did that go for you guys how'd you feel though i'm good i mean I'm sorry, i felt good. one solid wave where i was like oh yeah but then i was like that was it like i thought Should they were we gonna tell hit... them what we're gonna do next friday or just no 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 we'll we'll uh we'll leave it as a surprise. next friday some shit going down too so it's going down we're gonna do real drugs. Real drugs. Real drugs. What's that mustache? I'm talking about real drugs. Mustache. We're gonna do uh mustache bumps. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everybody's whoa, just gonna whoa, whoa. inhale the fumes coming off a mustache. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jesus. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sounds poisonous. Only only if you don't have a a, a neuro immunity <laughs> to People born with. All right, before we get up out of here, Esau, you got anything you want to plug? Any shows you got coming anywhere that they can find you? Uh, I'm gonna be at the I'm gonna be at the comedy store in the belly room on Saturday. Okay. Uh, tomorrow night, um, and I will be in uh, Chicago. Anybody in Chicago? I'll be in Chicago um, on uh, on the 23rd, and I will be uh, um, in St. Louis on the 3rd of April. There it is. Make sure you check the homie out. I want to thank you for coming through to Morning Cup of Dough. Shout out to Conclusion. Shout out to YDB. I have been your host of the Morning Cup of Dough morning show. Go ahead, cue up that artwork. You ready for one last time to play this? What's up? I'm trying to find it. I want to give it a second. Okay. Here we go. One last time. We'll check you guys out Monday morning, same time, same place, 12 o'clock. Oh, hey. What's up? I'm going to be back anyways, but I'm uh, uh, Memorial Day weekend. I'm in Sacramento. Sacramento Memorial Day weekend. He will be in the city, so pull up on the boy. With Drew Burks. There we go. The homie Drew Burks. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Last time we're going to play this, and we're going to get up out of here. Cue up the artwork. Let's go. Jameson Flows. Let's go. Produced by YDB. Let's get out of here. Make sure you guys go follow Esau McGraw. His Instagram's posted. Type of time to move. Why you acting like either one of us got time to lose? I spent too much time with my mind on snooze. I had some drama a time ago, but never mind those fools. I, I loved you forever, but I can't wait forever. What you ain't gonna do is waste my time. I loved you forever, but I can't wait forever. What you ain't gonna do is waste my time. But at the same time, you the perfect version of you And I respect that And I'm the perfect version of me I know you get that 
And all the time that we got, we never get back So let's celebrate the time that we have The smiles look better on me, ain't got time to be mad I'd rather shine in the jazz The time flies in the past It's prime time to get past Trauma and pain in the past Hard times make hard people, but hard times don't last I want to run this back one more time, so, so keep it going. We're going to run it back one more time. Run it back, run it back. You know how it goes, this song will be released in an hour. Time to move. Why you acting like either one of us got time to lose? I spent too much time on my mind on snooze. I had some drama a time ago, but never mind those fools. I, I love you forever, but I can't wait forever. What you ain't gonna do is waste my time. I love you forever, but I can't wait forever. What you ain't gonna do is waste my time. But at the perfect. same time, you the perfect version of you And I respect that And I'm the perfect version of me I know you get that And all the time that we got, we never get back So let's celebrate the time that we have The smiles look better on me, ain't got time to be mad I'd rather shine in the jazz The time flies in the past It's prime time to get past Trauma and pain in the past Hard times make hard people, but hard times don't last Run it back one more time, run it back one more time For the three factors, with three factors Time to move. Why you acting like either one of us got time to lose? I spent too much time on my mind on snooze. I had some drama a time ago, but never mind those fools. I, I loved you forever, but I can't wait forever. What you ain't gonna do is waste my time. I loved you forever, but I can't wait forever. What you ain't gonna do is waste my time. But at the perfect. same time, you the perfect version of you, and I respect that. And I'm the perfect version of me, I know you get that. And all the time that we got, we never get back. So let's celebrate the time that we have. The smiles look better on me, ain't got time to be mad. I'd rather shine in the jazz. The time flies in the past, it's prime time to get past. Trauma and pain in the past. Hard times make hard people, but hard times don't last. I don't know you, you know just how I feel about you.
Perfect. Same time next time. Same time, same place. See you next oh. time. Bye. Let me know.